Oh, hey guys. Ow. Hello? Hello? What a great game. Now you see me? Now you see me. Yeah, indefinitely trapped in a block of ice. Pause. Genius. Ah, crappers and cheese. I said crappers and cheese. The only thing fun is bouncing in the air. That rocket, that rocket, who put that there? What the shit is this doing in Mario Kart? Fuck! Fuck! Now you listen here, you little scoundrels. When I find you, I'm gonna give you both wedgies so hard, you'll both be crying for the rest of your lives. Damn this damn floating beluga whale shit and goes to see me down the damn beaver dam. What did he say? Greg Rabbit? What did he say? Now that's a sonic boom. We? What do you mean, we? Now a pig and a human. When will the madness end? Eggman's robots are taking control of everything! Fuck leprechauns! Okay, why is everything now green? And why is everything now blue? Is Spyro in a fucking rainbow? Other way, you mini fuck! Stop humanizing the insects, dammit! Look how long it takes for the Royals to come! Ah, hurry up! Finally! Look how long it takes for the Warios to come! Hurry up! Finally! Now, like all games, Brawl is not perfect. Look how long it takes for the Warios to come! Hurry up! Finally! Yoshi, you ignoramus! Ah, uh, Junior Boy, you ignorant anus! So you're Junior Boy, Pink Boy, Junior Boy, Rabbit Boy! Look at this. This.
They had the Rock beat up Cody Rhodes out in a out in a parking lot, and he like bashed his head into a uh, into into like one of the trucks out there. And uh, the only reason I, the only reason it came across my dashboard is because of the dumbass shit the Rock said, where he leaned into him and he he said, "This is what happens when you try to fight the final boss," <laughs> and then slammed his head into the oh fucking god. truck. Oh my god! Did you know I was in Rampage, <laughs> the movie Rampage by Uwe Boll? Fucking kill me! Yes, Dwayne, very cool. <laughs> uh, Juan Rock for two bucks, Lolly. What the fuck's this 99 cent AVGN ass spewage? Nice song. <laughs> nice song, nice song. Nice song, nice song. Hey. That's okay. attempted murder. Uh, what, watching, watching the Rampage movie? Let me make sure that we're caught up down here. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's it. Wrong Rampage. Was it, though? Was it, Was though? it? Uh, I'm sorry, he was in the... Oh god damn it! I can't remember the name of the movie now. It was literally Rampage, the one with the no, giant no, 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 monsters. no, the, the other one that's about the earthquakes. Oh, uh, I think they called that San Andreas. San Andreas, yeah. He was, he, he was in fault. the critically uh, critically acclaimed San Andreas chat. 
Uh, Major Void for our wire commie so always aggressively retarded. See, uh, seeing you argue with the DE fans was hilarious and painful. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of proof that like as much as they go, why do you like hill divers is making fun of you? They also couldn't spot when a game is making fun of them, and then when told, hey, that game's making fun of you, they go, no, 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 but it's it's nice, you know, they mean it, you know, they're they're they actually believe in what they say, and and you know, you just don't get it because you're not mm -hmm. one of us, like. It's making fun of you. Only communists know how to make fun of communists. Yeah, My Brother in Christ, you clearly don't know how to take a joke. Yeah. It's literally saying you think you can grow crops with your mind. Well, if you read the novel, the novel's dog shit. <laughs> the novel's dog shit and non-canon. Uh, let's see, AF retards are mad at Babylon B. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, fucking, oh, God. Listen, okay, Babylon, guy, Babylon yeah. B hasn't had a good fucking uh, title in forever, yeah. but I love the inbred white dude one. Yeah. Like, I saw no, that, that I funny. chuckled, I didn't read it, I just chuckled, and I moved on, and then I yeah. saw people fucking absolutely coping and seething, yeah. and I was like, God, I want to see the black folder on your PC. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Seth is a Leocon, good for him. Good oh, for you him. disgust me. 30 hours in the Dragon's Log 2, I've been loving it. Yeah, good game. Good very game. good game, very good game. So it doesn't look too good for Grimdark half off. Yeah, poor motherfucker. He he was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Fucking sad, sad shit. It's fucking sad. Fuckers can't take a joke. Nobody can take any joke anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say no one can take any joke anymore. And if you can if you can take a joke, odds are so odds are someone's gonna get offended on your behalf. Yeah. Pe people will look you dead in the eye and say, "Oh, you don't. You're not upset about that. You are sold out." And it's like, motherfucker, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Motherfucker, I'm I'm busy trying to enjoy things. Uh, comments are too stupid to boil water. Makes them think they're capable of pro uh, making proper self-deprecating humor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who do you think is likely will get as a uh, guest character in Tekken Eight? My hope is Morgan, Wesker, Bayonetta, and Kenshiro. Uh, it's probably not gonna be any of those. Probably um, gonna be. No, no, probably not. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna be. Most of them are going to be, if not all of them, are going to be. Uh, Tekken characters. Yeah. Um, I would like... Oh, God, what's the Mexican guy's name? Uh, it wasn't Claudio. Started with an M, I want to say. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, the the final character... I, I'm i sorry. I, I'm projecting chat. I hope they add the, the chick that they... Uh, yeah. uh, Lydia Sobieski or whatever. Yeah. I hope they add her because she was cool. Uh, uh, Miguel. Miguel, maybe. Uh, we already know the first guy. He's the Capoeira guy. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it'll be nice to have Capoeira. Uh, fuck everyone. I demand Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe, come back. Yeah. Uh, it's over GG. It's over GG's creators just now admitted that they may strive as a way to destroy in this case. Uh, make a game that is the opposite of Zerd. Dice really sold out. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was the intent. Then it blew up in their face, and they're scrambling to win people back. The one thing that has people interested is the fucking, uh, what was it, Ava DLC? Mm-mm. It's, uh... It's Abba. Well, it, it's, yeah. it's any fighting game. It's every time a new yeah. character releases, you're gonna see a bunch of a bunch of activity yeah. for it. Uh, no one, no one plays Strive seriously other than trannies. Yeah. I I got a I, I got a, I got one of my alts on Twitter banned because I, I saw the thing that came up and it's yeah. like it's like oh my it's like what is it with Strive because the top eight was all was all yeah. trans people because uh, Strive if you don't know at, at all Strive uh, Strive events they the people who um uh, who play the game. Uh, normally they put your, your country's, uh, country of origin flag there. Uh, everyone there just do their fucking, like, if you're yeah. a tranny, you just yeah, put tranny trans instead of your country. Shit, yeah. Uh, and, and they're like, what, what is it with trans people and, and Guilty Gear? And someone was like, yeah, tr trans people are just like the, you know, it's, it, it, Guilty Gear is to them what Tekken is to black people. And I was like, I don't know, man. I just think, uh, I just think trannies and, uh, the FGC have a lot in common. They both like kids. And I get max reported. I was like, fair. Fair enough. Fair. fair. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Get Mercury for two bucks. Hopefully, Baki's in Tekken 8 DLC. I will unironically not buy Tekken 8 if Baki's in it. I am very Good. tired of Baki. I uh, am extremely we're tired of Baki. getting a Kingdom Ashura Baki uh, crossover, and we're fucking watching it. Yeah. You read pre stream <laughs> chat? We keep an eye on it. Let's try. People are getting mad at a panty mod. Yeah, it's like. Oh, yeah. It, it's like, oh my god. Uh, is why I'm migrating to KOF. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I've got no faith in, in the new KOF. Uh, mainly because they didn't address my concern of I don't like the Buster Knuckle effects. It's too much. Tone it down. So Diddy left it, uh, left the country and Ridley Scott couldn't go to his house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A uh, whole bunch of weird shit's going on with P. Diddy. People calling him the Black Epstein. Very, very interesting shit. Really weird to know that uh, uh, Ridley Scott lives in proximity to P. Diddy. Yeah, right? 
Also, oh, Babylon B made the basic joke that rednecks are inbred and in AF retards took it personally. Yeah, yeah uh, it's a thing of it has nothing to do with the politics. This is why I keep saying over and over again: politics ain't got shit, uh, ain't got shit to do with what with what makes a person who they are. The the exact same motherfuckers who are freaking out at the Babylon B are the exact same motherfuckers on the opposite end of the spectrum that are freaking out because my tranny my, my tranny GG game of like yeah. I, I love my I love Guilty Gear because it, it appealed to me personally because tranny. tranny. It's literally the exact same personality. Lydia needs to come back. I love I love the Polish Prime Minister. Yeah. That's a Microsoft Town game dev. Stop making highly proportioned female characters. There was a whistleblower that flat out said yeah. they do this because trannies. I told you guys, chat. Yeah. This was like fucking two months back. Why don't you ever trust Big Brother Shota, chat? He tells you how it is. Strive, Strive was too dumbed down. Yeah, so outside of the character stuff, from like a basic gameplay gameplay uh, point of view, Strive fucking sucks dick. It is, yep. a, it is a bad fighting game. I do not like playing it. I think it is dog shit. Well, you want to play a good fighting game chat? All right, get the Ed DLC for Street Fighter Six and put up Street yeah. Fighter Six. See what happened to Keybridge? Yeah, the ship lost power and slammed straight into it. Yep, yep. It's pretty big shit. Pretty big deal. Yeah. Uh, it was a whole it was a whole cargo tanker. Apparently, uh, it looks like the engine went out while it was while it was going there, and uh, they got it back up, but they they didn't get back up in time to uh, avert it from crashing into the bridge. Yeah. Well, yeah. When they were caught in the current, there was really nothing they could do. They were riding the current. Yeah. Yeah. From what I understand, that's kind of what caused it. As they're looking at the fact Babylon B riders were losing their shit over the Crisis King, people calling them out for it. It was a joke. Yeah. If they wanted to call people out, they could have gotten a hell of a lot more mean. Right. Yeah, Niji Sanji Ma tried to slander Suse from Hollow Alive, and people looked into the guy and found out he was just weird hate boner towards Hollow Alive. Mm hmm. Because he was in discount Hollow Alive. He was in Niji Sanji. <laughs> There's a game more fight orders. Uh, so, quite on set, and damn, a lot of things are making sense. Drake Bell still sucks and is a predator, but that's a uh, rough way to win through. Still punk. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that documentary. I feel like the, the first part of it really kind of focused too much on the petty shit, <laughs> where, where it's like, uh, oh, Dan made you feel worthless if you're a woman in the office. And I'm like, okay, listen, uh, th I get it. This is all me too shit. You, though? Yeah, it's like this is all me too shit. You know, trying to paint him as like the the Weinstein kid shows, whatever. Uh, what about the fucking pedophile shit? And the later episodes talked about that. Uh, call per time with twenty bucks. So you mentioned the boys show is bad. Uh, however, I'm not hundred percent sure we meant by the boys themselves turned into a bunch of hypocritical incompetence. Not disagreeing, just not recalling what in the show resulted in that. When they first introduced the concept of V, they tried to make it into a moral argument of well, what if we're just as bad as them? Uh, because of that, they get their ass kicked multiple times. Uh, they're also hypocritical as fuck because the female is already exposed to V, already yeah. has powers, and already kills people. So they're trying to make them these, like, hyper-moralistic, like, no, we can't be as bad as them. Meanwhile, in the comic, they didn't give a fuck. They knew yeah, exactly uh, who they say, were. The, the very first mission they take Huey out on, they're already fucking, they're already V'd out. Yeah, because they specifically yeah. say, if you don't take this, you're going to die. Yeah. Uh, also, ReZero had a few of his characters censored for a third season when the staff yeah. already admitted it's because of the global standards, i.e. Californian yep. standards. Yeah, some bullshit. Some bullshit. I guarantee you, there's going to be a Blu-ray that uncensors everything, because mm -hmm. they know. They know. I think it's a Mothman near that bridge. <laughs> uh, sorry, arguing with people about CV Universe uh, ripoff, what was that about? It wasn't even arguing, it was just pointing out that that show existed. It was the one where it's like the, the tranny dude uh, who gets HIV from his boyfriend, that shit. Excuse me. Uh, Jesus, poor guy. Uh, poor guy that was controlling the ship. I, I feel guilty even if the ship fell. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know about the the ship people, but I know there's a lot of casualties. Yeah. A lot of injuries as well. Uh, apparently, the ship was entirely uh, manned by Hindis. Yeah. I also didn't know how like small the crew for those ships are because those ships are fucking massive. Yeah, apparently, there's only 22 people on that fucking thing. Yeah, it's nuts. Turning down women to appeal to trains was brought up when Last of Us 2 came out. Some people called it a conspiracy back then. I was on the fence until recently. Last day, there was a whistleblower, I think, for Microsoft that flat out said, yeah, we do that because of this. Uh, uh, what is the whole? What is with Zoomers and the whole thinking video games that have attractive women pe uh, are porn? Uh, Zoomers are very mentally unwell. Zoomers are fucking stupid. They are just stupid. You I'm talk not... down to them like a fucking retard. You have to, because they do not know... You don't treat them like people. You, they, they do not understand that the world is not Twitter. Mm -hmm. Have they declared a terror attack yet? No, they got the audio of it in the... Yeah, it's uh, not a terror attack. I was gonna say, yeah. It's not a terror attack. You can, you can hear the guy on the, on the fucking radio trying to, to get shit going and uh, yeah. telling people to brace. It wasn't yeah. one. Yeah. What Russia did to the terrorists who attacked Moscow? No. Yeah. The, uh... 
So, uh, Russia got him, and, um, I forget the first thing that they did, but they, I think they cut off a guy's ear is what it was, um, but on top of that, they, uh, they did the James Bond thing where they attach electrodes to their balls, and they shock their fucking balls. You know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> and people were like, I don't give a fuck what happened to the terrorists, fuck them, and I'm like, yeah, um, yeah. Did you hear about the, how Brother Zelensky, leader of the Islamic Emirate of Ukraine, declared Ukraine. jihad against the fellow Russia? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, he's saying that the terrorist attack is Zelensky, uh, with the ISIS, the ISIS's peoples. Uh, I saw that fucking, what was it, the, uh, oh god, what, what was the ones that we were trying to kill there for a bit? Uh, the Taliban, there we go. Yeah. Uh, the Taliban were like, we, we strongly condemn this terror attack yeah. against Russia. Back to a British video SES named Monty Xander, System Shock Remake is Macapolism Bad, Story Thoughts. Uh, yes, basic, 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 basic elementary school fucking story analysis mm -hmm. capitalism bad because megacorp ignoring megacorp. literally every single thing else that happens in mm -hmm. the story yeah uh the joker break payment out of jail yet no no and the crazy the ship only had a crew of 22 and edmund fitzgerald had at least 29 for uh, a great lakes freighter like 50 years ago right yeah well a lot of that shit's automated so they probably don't need as many people to do that many different jobs mm -hmm. uh joke is that ukraine is a long state run by isis I don't believe that. <laughs> the Review Tech USA versus Editor drama has been a fun watch. Good to have old school type drama and not involve any sort of pedophilia like most drama now. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Yeah, I was going to say... Uh, Day's not over yet. Day's not over. Day's not over yet. Also, uh, Review Tech isn't a person chat. Get get it right. He is an amorphous slime blob. He shocked his nuts with a field telephone. Oh, God. His you know balls. What, you know what's uh, over with Seth Rogen of all people directing animated Venom film? Yeah, I... R-rated animated Venom film, mm -hmm. and it, and it's it's something where people are going, why the fuck is Sony so goddamn stupid? Why is it every fucking time they have a good idea, there's some fucking massive problem they don't address? Yeah. Arthur Jones, ten bucks, bros. Ninja Kamu uh, Kanuya is a wild anime. Have you checked it out so far? Uh, have you checked it out yet? DD two has been some fun so far. I don't know what Ninja Kanuya is. I assume uh, you meant Kamui. Kamui, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Until it got to the CG. The CGI, <laughs> uh, oof. Uh, 1 800 tickets of L's for 10 bucks. Uh, Lolly, seeing, seeing my fellow Zoomers fail to get basic media analysis down is fucking terrifying, considering they'll be uh, they'll be in power someday. Also, good shit on Starship Troopers, man. Yeah, yeah, good shit. I just imagine that by the time the Zoomers are, are like in their 40s, America's fallen. <laughs> I'll be dead by then, hopefully. Apparently, McDonald's going to be selling Krispy Kreme donuts starting in 2026. They already are. Like, they already are. I said it'll be 2026. No, 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 not. Krispy Kreme branded, just glazed. You'll have to wait till yeah. 2026 to get the good shit. <laughs> so Microsoft's wrong dev not to make... Yeah, we talked about that. The, yeah. the sexy female characters thing. That that got exposed... Well, not even exposed. A, they've been doing this a lot longer than, than people want to mm -hmm. fucking talk about. Like, I mean, the, the whole thing of, oh, Microsoft's telling people, it's like, you couldn't fucking tell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you couldn't fucking tell? It's like, uh, no, there was a whistleblower that came out and said they're doing this explicitly because trainees get their fucking panties in a bunch, and they're the ones working on all the fucking offices. Have you ever played Dragon's Dogma 1? Many times. Uh, picked up Paprika and Millennium Actress still books uh, with a friend yesterday. Nice. Yeah. So they're the same Zoomers who say everyone else has no media literacy or the irony. Yeah, people are dumb. P people are just fucking retarded. Yeah. They, they, they are just fucking retarded. Uh, what's the news with Snake Eater Delta? I haven't seen any, anything besides the uh, in-engine trailer. Uh, we have the main menu. That's it. Yeah. Uh, which opinion on X Men '97? I've been hearing good things about it. Uh, I've got no plan to watch that. Yeah, no, I don't really want to. Nah. Uh, okay. Uh, Mark Nine Nine for two bucks. Hey guys, today gonna be wild. Dragon's Dogma Two having a weird launch. The bridge collapse. Just wow. Well, how are you guys? Drink some water. Dragon's Dogma Two is really good. No, Dragon's Dragon's Dogma Two is fantastic. We're actually gonna go into that a bit later about uh some yeah. some shit that's been spreading around that's just objectively fucking fake. Yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 just has this, this effect on people. Yeah. Brings yeah. the worst out of folks. I, I legitimately believe it's it's people feeling like a rivalry with Elden Ring, which I think is like <laughs> the dumbest fucking thing the, ever. The Gene Park thing was literally that. Yeah. Because he's, he's like, uh, he essentially just said, yeah, I like Dragon's Dogma 2 more than more than uh, yeah. uh, Elden Ring. And people were like, oh, yeah, well, what about your DUI? And he's like, we're talking about video games. <laughs> yeah, it's like, who the fuck cares? Uh, did you hear that ContraPoints might confirm the philosophy tube is a rapist? Yeah, I did it, and once yeah. again, the most backhanded say, fucking high school politics way ever. Well, okay, well, people had figured out it was philosophy tube, like, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, from, I, from before the, the time that, uh, Contra made the yeah. 
fucking uh, I could out like a very prominent figure in the whatever the fuck yeah. sphere uh, from before that. And I saw the goddamn graph they put together, and it's like eighty pieces of evidence. Like yeah, yeah. so it's it's philosophy too. Yeah, it's philosophy too, hundred percent. Uh, Marquise Square Day for, uh, for five dollars. Uh, friends are too in deep with college mindset. Uh, they tried to say the dumbest media takes the uh, the. The exercise being Anglo-American fears, ignoring it's Catholic. Yeah, right. Or exorcist, I imagine. Uh, I was at Walmart and got Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 1. Pretty good so far. Hmm. Uh, no, no, for a dollar. Uh, there was a big leftist did a video calling all gamers racist, and then said that FGC was Black Oasis and Gamerdom, and all I could think is, why do you want to be connected to your group to pedos? Right. Yeah, right. Big Puss Pinch Pure for Dollar Guilty Gear, more like Guilty Queer. In any case, Lolly, my sweet baby, would you ever consider doing a review of Alpha Protocol? I'm on my second playthrough, and already a lot of stuff is different from my first. Yeah, Alpha Protocol is great. A very, very good game. Very good game. They just, uh. Was it Alpha? Yeah, it was Alpha Protocol. Uh, they just got it up on GOG. It's yeah. working just fine now. You can actually buy the game again. Yeah, right. Crashman the Coop for 10 bucks. Starship Troopers video was great. You covered a lot of aspects of the novel. I was hoping you would. Fun fact, Starship Troopers is on... Oh, SD is on recommended reading list uh, for U.S. Navy officers. Do you recommend any of the sequels or animated films? Uh, is Roughnecks ain't good? No. No. <laughs> no. Animated movies are okay. Every sequel after the first movie is fucking terrible. Three is only marginally okay because Rico's back. Uh, Spaz Space for the art. Disco Elysium Kami uh, Retard on Twitter was said the game was about a company's owners being the worst people on earth and trying to kill their workers. And then he started asking basic questions like who uh, who was killed. I posted my time and he's making excuses. Well, yeah, it's like I saw one guy who was like, oh well, the the first you know the first uh, p person you meet that's like a liberal hires a fascist death squad to kill all the workers. And then I quote, "What do you mean him, liberal?" <laughs> yeah, he's talking about Joyce. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, you know, well, Joyce does that, and I just went, Everard hired Measurehead. Uh, I was going to say, I thought you were talking about fucking uh, Everard. I was like, what the fuck do you mean, liberal? <laughs> yeah, no, he was talking about Joyce, okay. and that's when I pointed out, Everard fucking did, Everard fucking did the same shit. Yeah. Like, it, it is actually kind of hilarious, because uh, there, there was kind of that blow-up among, like, Disco Elysium fans, where, where people are kind of real looking at them and realizing... Holy shit, as much as people give shit to, like, Helldivers fans for not getting at satire, mm -hmm. they genuinely do not get the game is making fun of them. Well, you, you saw it when, when it first came out. Uh, no one ever likes to have their ideology poked at, period. Yeah. Because whenever the game first came first, uh, first came out, uh, people from any 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 uh, political background that wasn't fucking straight up communism yeah. were, were just so fucking butthurt that anyone could ever take issue with their way of thinking, period. Yeah. Uh, so it's not just a them thing, but god damn, do they love to, to spin it as a, no, but we're the only ones that know how to make fun of yeah. ourselves. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 we can make fun of ourselves, and you just don't get it. Subtextually, it's saying a good thing. It's like, no, it's saying you're a fucking idiot! <laughs> yeah. It's saying if you it's, it's saying that if you take your fucking ideology to this political extreme, you're a dumbass with no future. Like you, you literally start saying you can grow crops with your mind, and then some guy was like, "Well, prove that you can." It's like, start a farm, motherfucker. <laughs> Kunoism is the way. Yeah. And it's hilarious because they'll, they'll go back and forth between like, oh no, well in the lore of the game, you know, you can actually do that because you have the pale, and in the book, if you have a magpie, it does grow more. It's like, it's referencing Lysenkoism, which in reality uh -huh. killed millions. <sighs> Read the latest chapter of Chainsaw Man? No, but I saw the leaks. What do you think of the newest JoJo chapter? It's pretty good so far. I'm liking yeah. it. I'm liking it a lot. Iraqi's try Iraqi is as progressive as any anyone could ever hope for a Japanese man. Yeah. Well, ever also used the Tsar to kill people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like just this absolute lack of understanding that dude, you are the bad guy. In in this game, you are the bad guy. Yeah. Uh March March for two bucks. Day uh daydreaming of making a, a Saki Sonobashi anime right now. <laughs> Uh, Starship Troopers Invasion first anime movie is free on YouTube and I'll go tell people to go watch it it's okay don't watch it it's bad <laughs> Hell Divers 2 is about non-specific patriotism Disco Elysium fans are trying to claim Karl Marx was psychic <laughs> yeah a little bit a little bit <laughs> I stay, they will never stop shilling that terrible fucking book no not at all I fucking hate that book that book is fucking retarded mm -mm. Especially if you do play it in context of the game, where it's like the game is outright saying the book's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, Goosey for 10 fake mice. Uh, but about making a star uh, faithful Starship Troopers movie, will they show all the lectures Rico has for more than half the book? Most of the cool shit came from the movie, whether you like Verhoeven or not. Well, the the thing is that the book and the movie are two entirely separate entities. Yeah, they, they are completely different. Like, it, it, 
trying to do the hell divers starship troopers the movie style with the book doesn't work because the book is sincere yeah it's like trying to make a a sarcastic star trek episode mm -hmm. you can do that but it's not going to be star trek people mm. are literally uh, automation posting yeah uh, imagine working on a bridge in the middle of the night when the uh, when the distinct smell of curry fills the air followed by disaster. Yeah. The smell of disaster, chat. Isn't this go lazy and made by commies? It was back and forth. You, you had, like, avowed commies on staff, but there were a lot of guys who were probably just European leftists. Yeah. The the big one that took all the all the credit was the, the lead developer, and uh, yeah. he got out of this basically doing literally nothing at all. Yeah. You know, come the final cut, which... Add the political quest, which is what the shit everyone fucking quotes and goes, mm -hmm. oh, but it loves us so much. It's like, yeah, he didn't work on any of that. Right. Uh, Bear Evans of Boomer, but he gave us some of the best core squibs in action movie history. That is true. Oh, yeah. Well, like, most of Verhoeven's movies are just really good, and the ones that aren't yeah. the best are, like, mid. Still watchable. Yeah. I think it's a thing where, can we stop fucking treating every goddamn movie like a political analysis? Yeah. Can we just watch something for the sake of it? No. All right. I love the political analysis of Showgirls. Fuck yourself. <laughs> P. Diddy. <laughs> P. No. <laughs> Zen the desk for five dollars. Should we get the fat elect uh, electrician to play Disco Elysium just uh, to see him go off on a tangent on two college commies in their book club? The fat who? Yeah. Who the fuck is the fat electrician? Yeah. Right, I don't know. What about Showgirls? What? What do you mean? What about Showgirls? Chat. It's a work of art. Also, Tenma Mekuno recently, she got rape charges pressed on the main guy, Rip Roll. <laughs> Just punch him. Just punch him. Just punch. A kid starts mouthing off, you beat his ass, chat. The Disco Elysium, the, the devs knew. Mm hmm. Do you think I ever reviewed a Disco Elysium book? I fucking no, hate that book. Not. No, it's a piece of shit. It's a fucking whiny ass, pretentious dreck that was made by some fucking mentally unstable commie dude just jerking himself mm -hmm. off. It's also non canon. Yeah, it's completely non-canon. I, I don't want to fucking touch that piece of shit. It's the equivalent of uh, it's the equivalent of a uh, fucking uh, Twilight. It's just yeah. fanfic. It's just fanfic made for a very specific audience. I'll love it just for what it is. Uh, any Batman recommendations after finishing the uh, finishing the animated series? Uh Long Halloween movie was pretty good. Yeah, uh, I'm talking I about like, animated stuff. Yeah, Long Halloween, Under the Red Hood, uh, uh, Death in the Family. Yeah. Um, uh, most of the movies are, are okay to, yeah. to good. Uh, generally stoked for $5. Corey in the House is a matchful political satire of the Bush era White House. So true, chat. I guarantee you there's someone out there who's made a 12 hour essay <laughs> exactly saying that. Um, Say the book came out first. It did. Mm -hmm. The book sucks because it's just Kervitz jerking himself off. Yeah. The game had other people involved, other writers who were going. Much better writers. Yeah. Who are going, hey, dude, let's not just jerk off communism. Because the game actually fucking uh, specifically counters stuff that's in the book. Yeah, aggressively. Uh, Big Puss Pinch Pure for a dollar. Honestly, I used to go with the ultra liberal just because, uh, despite it being insane on the nose, it's the one I agree with the most. Uh, but now I do that playthrough despite the comics didn't work on the final <laughs> cut. Yeah, right. Uh, Killing Joke was cuck revisionism of the comic. Bruce never fucked Barbara. Uh, uh, someone might be able to, to correct me on this, but did Paul Dini work? On the fucking Killing Joke movie, because if that's the case, you know why Bruce is fucking Barbara. Because that that is Paul Dini and uh, the other one I forget his name. Um, that is their fucking head canon, Is that that Bruce uh, shacks up with Barbara for for some amount of time, which is incredibly weird, and I don't yeah. like it. But that is that is what they want. I think he actually did. Mm -hmm. It's Bruce Tim. Bruce Tim, yeah, uh, Bruce Tim and Paul Dini. Uh, but yeah, hey, there you go, Chad. That's all you need. Uh. No, 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 no. Yes, chat. You got, you got everything you need. Uh, I recently bought uh, No Man's Sky and the Batman Arkham Collection. I haven't had a chance to play them yet, but I was wondering if you played them and so thoughts. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. No, Man's no Man's Sky, Sky is okay. okay. I was going to say, No Man's Sky is okay at best. It's a it's a survival crafty sim, so if you like that, it's in space. Yeah, but the Arkham games are great. Yeah. Uh, why does Bruce Tim want Batman to cook his son? I, I don't, don't know. know. He's just... It, Bruce Tim and fucking Paul Dini just love the idea of Batman and Batgirl getting together. I will never understand why. Can't stand the Raptors attempts to destroy Batman and Bruce Wayne by modern, modern modern entertainment. That's not modern entertainment. They did the fucking uh, the animated show. They they worked on that. They uh, they know like they know what they're doing. It is just their fucking headcanon that Bruce fucks Barbara. 
If you watch the animated series, they had fucking teases for it. Yeah, they, they were setting it up. They just wouldn't let him get away with it. Uh, Dini did not write Killing Joke movie. Yeah, it was Bruce Tim that was on it. It was a producer. Yeah. It doesn't matter who writes it. Your producer can tell you to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Bruce Tim self inserts as Bruce Wayne. Chad, it's, it's all adding up. It's all adding up. I hate the fact Bruce impregnated Barb in the comic. It was fucking dumb, that whole thing. And especially since, like, yeah, she got impregnated, and if I think, if I remember right, she was still fighting crime, and then, like, had a miscarriage because of it, and it's like, what was the, what was the point of any of this? I don't know, but those were, those did tie in, I... I think the canonicity of those are, are iffy, but they yeah. were written by Bruce Tim and Paul Dini, I want to say. Yeah. Barbara admits in Batman Beyond. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Oh, fuck yeah. Fat electrician is a mil uh, military history is a uh, comedic spin. He also rightfully hates communism. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, so he's a guy. Okay. Okay. Remember you mentioned the Chinese room in the Disco Elysium review when it comes to devs and Oracle and communism being the Chinese room. What's that about? Chinese room are, are a game dev studio, and they make the most on-the-nose pretentious walking simulators you ever... You have ever seen. Didn't they do a uh, machine for pigs? Yes. Yeah, that's actually go. something that Mandalore there Gaming is, is about to cover. Uh, I'm sorry for his loss. Yeah, even he was outright like, I hate this. It, it's bad. Like I, I don't like I don't like the, the I don't like Amnesia or uh what is it, Dark Descent? Uh, or whatever the fuck it's called, the sequel to Amnesia. Yeah. Uh, I don't like either of those very much. They're just not my style of horror game. But fucking a machine for pigs is dog shit. Yeah. Even by even by my I don't like the series standards. Yeah. We're playing P5R or Merciless on a flash playthrough. Uh, actually having fun. Gonna continue later after dinner. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Very good shit. Do uh, you think Conan Barbarian parody and Disco is out of respect or spite for the character? I don't know. Probably a coin flip. Mm -hmm. As stated, the people involved were fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, some skills for dollars. My image of you is Quentin Reviews Miami Gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Any YouTube recommendations? Go check out Grimdark Half Off. He recently got diagnosed. He's dying. He, he recently got diagnosed with stomach cancer, so help the man. Please so, help the band. Like long form stuff. Go fucking watch Grimbeard. Yeah. Uh, who's best grown full metal alchemist and why is it Siren? I don't fucking remember who Siren was. I was going to say that means they're not good. <laughs> but I saw Doom Part 2. Pretty good. Haven't read the book. I uh, can't believe they did the joke from Life of Brian. <laughs> uh. We're about to kick stuff in the animations. Uh, JLU ruins Hawkman Hawk Girl 2 with, uh, with that black uh, Green Lantern. Uh, I don't know. I, I never liked Hawkman anyway, so let the Green Lantern have one. Yeah. If I remember right, they they, they made them pretty consistent throughout the whole show. Mm -hmm. So it's a thing of like, you know, Hawkgirl and Green Lantern just kind of clicked. Yeah. Uh, new Smiling Friends. Yeah, they announced a new Smiling Friends to air on, uh, uh, on April Fool's, so... Yeah. Tamp your expectations, chat. It's probably going to be another anti-comedy thing, kind of like uh, the Smiling the Friends Brazil. goes to Brazil, yeah. It's entirely possible. John yeah. Stewart's stay winning, baby. Speaking of bad character signs, you see that the characters looked in Netflix Gundam? Yeah, it looks... Yeah, yeah it looks dog shit. Yeah. It looks dog shit, which, I, if you had any faith in uh, in Netflix Gundam, you were a fool. Yeah. She went down as her lane. They announced a new character called HMS Anson. The community lost their shit when they showed the design. They postponed the character completely. Twitter has just actively made it to where nobody can fucking do anything. Oh, yeah. Like, everyone is just yelling at each other all the fucking time. Good. No one can be happy. Fuck them. Smiling Friends going to Brazil was funny, though. Well, what I mean by anti-comedy is they tease something in front of you and then give you something played extremely straight mm -hmm. and intentionally trying to be boring. Uh, that was the whole thing with them going to Brazil where it's about them not being able to get to a hotel. There wasn't, like... Any in-your-face joke beyond the, you know, are you a tourist, are you a tourist guy? Are you a tourist? Are you, are you a tourist? Yeah. It, it, when I use anti-comedy, I, I mean it very literally. Is the doggo next to your avatar a real dog? Yes. Yeah, that's Iggy. Iggy. More like Icky. Got him. Uh, Twitter's basically everyone's just doing high-intensity competition, see who gets the stress and do stroke yeah. first. Yeah, basically. What are your guys' thoughts on the Dragon's Dogma 2? Good game. Very good game. Very, Very good, good game. game. Uh, the manga cut behind Rhino Girlfriend is now apparently using AI art. Yeah, but I think he's just doing it to like, make shit for himself. As far as, but when, whenever I see people accusing each other of using AI art now, I'm genuinely at a point of nobody can even fucking tell. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I, I, I don't care anymore. Yeah. I just I don't care because the anti-AI AI art people uh, took their angle in such a terrible way that I just yeah. roll my eyes and go, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I, I don't, just, get, I don't, don't give a shit. You, you don't shut the fuck up, I don't care. Uh, Atlas for two fake minds wasn't anti-comedy nor McDonald's whole shtick. Sorta. 
Never gonna have Winston to the stream background. I plan to. I plan to. I'm eventually gonna have this updated. I do. I do like it a lot, but I gotta get in contact with the guy who made it and be when, like, "Yeah, let's do another one." Winston. Winston doesn't get added to the background until he wins a fucking competition. Yeah. And right now he didn't win. Yeah. Back of the bus. Uh, do you ever? Do you ever wonder if new viewers get into the Doctor Girlfriend mindset of what a strange voice, but their avatar is a woman? So. <laughs> This year, either covering Seven Deadly Sins or Apocalypse Now. Next, uh, I was wondering why do you want to cover either of them? There were requests. I'm going through, like, long-awaited requests that I've been trying to get through. And I have to literally decide them by coin flip because there's a lot in the background. And the the thing is, people kind of do... Uh, basically, the best way to describe it is they want to do, like, the Quentin Reviews thing where they want me to make, like, a seven-hour-long video essay uh -huh. on something, like iCarly. And it's a thing of like, dude. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta actually give a shit about stuff like that. Either give a shit, or you gotta like the sound of your own voice so much yeah. that you can just spew nonsense, literal nonsense. Well, it's a thing of like, I'm willing to cover longer form shit, but it's a thing where I, I tell people right out the gate, it's like, yeah, if it's longer, you have to be prepared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a while for it because there's a lot of other shit I gotta talk about. So, because the specifically one that was requested and people have been wanting it uh, left and right is the Ruby one, the Ruby video. And they don't, they don't even want me to just talk about Ruby the show. They want me to talk about all the fucking studio drama, to which I'm going yeah. like, dude, that is a lot to get through. Yeah. It's like, you you have to be fully prepared. That's going to take a while because it's, A, actively still ongoing with the Rooster shit, and B, it's just a lot to get through. So it's a thing of like, yeah, I need to, I need to specifically plan chunks of time mm -hmm. to do that. 20-hour iCarly review win. No. So BBC Journal says she wants to purge gamers against uh, those consultation firms like Sweet Baby and Black Gamer Girl. Yeah. She's getting beat up in the comments. Hey, yo, they, they whooping your ass in the quote retweets. In multiple languages. I think that one's Brazil. Yeah. I just wanted to show more people the anime request because it's underrated. Oh, yeah, no. I'm just saying, like, there's absolutely people who, who want to have a much larger video done, and I get that, but it's a thing of, like, yeah, prepare, mm -hmm. prepare to wait for that because... It's a lot. It's a lot. Slime Skeleton for $2. Uh, we watched Loli so he doesn't do video essays heat. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's just one of those things. I, I, I'm one man. I'm one man tackling the world. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to do Ruby. I'm still going to because it's a thing of like, I want to tackle it from the perspective of I have no fucking clue what any of this shit is. I have never known anything about Ruby. I never gave a single flying fuck about Ruby. I didn't like it when Rooster Teeth wanted to be discount anime. I wanted my dumbass jokey skits like when I was a kid and I was watching the big goofballs and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And they were collabing with Mega64 and it was great. Man, everyone in that sentence fell super hard, bro. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, big push pinch for dollar. Uh, your cancer talks remind me of Paul Harrell. F and chat for uh, for gun tube legend boys. Right? Too many people are getting cancer. Too many. Say, is he dead yet, or is he uh, still kicking? I think he's still kicking. Okay. Perverse blue rip. Yeah, right. Be fair, he did spoil people with the berserk and channel awesome vids. I know, I know. Just a thing of like, you know, be prepared to wait. Where's my mortgage, chat? Yeah, Where's be, my fucking mortgage? Be prepared to wait. And that's obviously not every not every request. A lot of people are just like, mm -hmm. "Hey, you cover the show." It's like, "Okay." Veggie bad for five dollars. Would you want to watch a movie about the channel awesome drama if it were made by your favorite directors? No. <laughs> How in God's name could you do it right? <laughs> no. Uh, that's on Judas by Ken Levine, also written by the Little Platoon, who's on Critical Drinkers podcast. A lot in pretty based thoughts. I don't know anything about it. Uh, mm. The most I know is people are calling it Bioshock in space, and I'm hitting uh. my fucking head against the wall. Going, yeah. that's literally System Shock. I saw the trailer for it, yeah. It, uh... It, the, yeah, Plasmids, whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, It'll be out when it's out, guys. Have you ever had multiple people request the same thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. That's, the, that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm willing to cover shit, because a lot of people usually ask, and, and I get it. They're going out of their way to, to drop money down to request shit. Mm -hmm. So it's the thing I'm like, I'm willing to. I'm willing to. The Rock made Cody Rhodes bleed and told him that this is what happens when you fuck with the final boss. Yeah. yeah. They brought back swearing and blood. The audiences are, like, nowhere to be seen. Yeah. If you cover Apocalypse now, be sure to pair it with Aguari, the Wrath of God, AP is spiritual successor to it. Uh, I need to watch it. Hmm. Well, Platoon is pretty cool. He has much better analysis than most EFAP hangarons. Okay. A lot, more, a lot more people play Bioshock than System Shock. I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I don't care. Get your fucking references right. I'm going to fucking... Well, actually, you. Because I played System Shock. Yeah. If you're running Power Rangers, I don't watch Power Rangers. Power Rangers is a... 
after my time, I think. Uh, so on a scale of fifty dollars, I know all the uh, I know I know all the female. I never watch an episode. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I, I don't know either. I don't know either. He is out of his fucking. He's gone. Board. He's gone. He's having a stroke right now. Chat, chat, send the cops to his house, please, please save him. Yeah. They read Aquaman comics, fifteen issues in New Fifty Two, and I think it's pretty good. Uh, I've read some Aquaman. I don't. I'm pretty sure I didn't read New Fifty Two because I, I fucking despise New Fifty Two. Yeah. New 52 happened, I said, wow, this is dog shit, and then I literally waited for them to reboot again. Uh, stop playing your gay games and play Wasteland 3, no. Oh, the even gayer game, chat? Why don't you, why don't you just put on some fucking nipple tassels and dance for a bunch of grown men, chat? Grow the fuck up. Fuck you, Sims Shock is a bad game. There's a reason why Life Sims don't sell well. What the fuck do you mean, Life Sim, chat? Yeah. Are you playing The Sims? Are you playing your porno Sims? You downloaded the wrong game. Uh, do you have like those poorly cropped gifts of black guys fucking white women in your in your fucking porno life sims? He probably does. Or did you come into our chat and I, admit I that he, you play porno life sims? I bet he downloaded the the mod that changes the rearview mirror from Sister Shock One, and it just plays a, a fucking live live video feed of some dude fucking his wife. You disgust me. Fucking animals. Fucking fucking disgusting. Sim Dust by five bucks. Speaking of Rivers Blue, there's a Halo Three Machine Mode series called Crash. There's a new episode that was just released today. Very funny. Oh my god, that's a fucking blast from the past. Halo Three. Oh, fuck, how fucking old is Halo 3, chat? You played the original System Shock with that janky-ass interface? Respect. I played it once or twice. I played a lot more of two. Yeah. Ever seen a movie called Shock Collar? It's prison drama. No. Mm, no. No, no. Yeah, I've not seen it. I think you actually asked that earlier, and I was like, no, I haven't seen it. I know about it, but I haven't seen it. Raiden, turn off the porn games now. No. Sorry, Twitter posting the Netflix show Dead End. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jim Lee is the same age as Ed Boon in Mortal Kombat. Really? I think Ed aged way better than Jim Lee did. And Jim Lee's Asian. Yeah. Hearing a lot of projection from y'all. <laughs> chat, chat, open up his open up his taxes folder. Look, look, you can see it right there. Live footage, chat. Live footage. He's running it on tour, chat. <laughs> it's 16 years old. Damn, dude. That's on Wasp, the band? Yeah, it's a pretty good band. Good. I like them a lot. So I'm down in uh, Nashville. It's good shit. Very good show. I'm thinking Life from Rooster Teeth was Fun House, and they were established as in, uh, Inside Gaming with uh, Machinima before they left and joined Rooster Teeth. Uh, but everyone started leaving a few years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, Rooster Teeth was really starting to implode uh, towards the end. I say towards the end, but it was imploding even before then, where... A lot of the old guard were gone. I mean, if you go and watch early Red vs. Blue, you had that you had that cast. You had uh, you had Joel, you had Bernie, you had Matt, you had you know that list of guys you knew about and you recognized. They would show up in skits together, do all the shit, and it's like, oh yeah, I know those guys. Over the years, they just petered out one after another, and they were replaced by guys who were just they were fucking lame. Mm -hmm. I think I think Ray is the only one that got out unscathed because he got out before everything started going to shit. Ray, Joel. I don't think Joel got out unscathed. No, he did. He he was one of the first to get the fuck out. Chat, chat, pull up some bad bad shit on Joel right now. <laughs> uh, it was Wasp with two W's. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know that. Had an argument with some guys in uh, SBI controversy that were blowing that they didn't do much but give a different perspective. Also, I think curator's breaking the rule. Yeah, that's dumb. That That's dumb. It's like, no. The CEO flat out admitted they, they scare marketing teams to get what they want. Yeah, uh... I Literally. guarantee that. I guarantee that's what's going on right now in Japan with the ReZero thing, where someone's like, "Well, do you want articles talking about how you're a bunch of pedophiles on the internet?" It means it, it's just classic intimidation tactics. Uh, Joe got fired. He Holy was shit! Stabbed in the back. Holy shit! Look at them. They flocked to his defense. You disgust me, Jet. I want more spicy. I want more spicy shit. Like how the yeah. the. Uh, the fucking president of Rooster, Rooster Teeth beat his wife and held her at gunpoint. I want shit like that, chat. What did Joel do? <laughs> they fired Joel because they thought he didn't vote Democrat. Oh, my God. <laughs> was Donut Operator ever in Rivers Blue? I think he was. No, he wasn't. Uh, no, probably not. Yeah, none of before his time. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, around 1313 for $2, Joel was fired because he was a conservative. <laughs> was he even a conservative? Or probably did they not. just think he was? Well, you know what? To be fair, they were, they were based in Texas. They so. were, yeah. But that makes it weirder. I was gonna say that the in, the likelihood of him being a conservative does go up astronomically. Was wait was Joel the dude who voiced Caboose? Yeah, uh, he was genuinely pretty funny. He was okay. Okay. 
Today's cure stream was wild. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I started watching. I I, I went down and watched. Uh, I, I I sat down and watched a bunch of uh, uh, movies today. I watched Here for Blood, which is a fun little movie. Um, I do not know why everyone calls it a tribute to '90s horror. It is very obviously a tribute to Evil Dead, which is like '80s. I, I don't get it. Uh, very goofy movie. It's about a bunch of cultists breaking into a house where a professional wrestler is watching a kid. It is dumb as fuck. It is funny as hell. Uh, the the wrestler is a nice guy, but he's stupid. So, like, a running gag is he thinks it's like a gang of sex perverts. <laughs> and he just straight up calls them sex perverts. Yeah. It, it's fucking funny. Uh, every single room in the house, there's, like, a, a conveniently placed set of knives that he can grab to. <laughs> and, and I was laughing at that when I finally noticed it. It's like, wait, why is that knife set there? And it's because it's just been there like over and over again that there's been knives they can get to. Beautiful. What movie is this called? Here for Blood. It is goofy as fuck. It is goofy as fuck. I also started watching uh, The Gentleman, the actual Netflix show of it. Uh, also very, very good. Uh, that is a lot more refined and is more of a... I mean, it was directly... Directed by Guy Ritchie. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if it takes place a significant chunk of time after the movie. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like it's setting up a kind of twist or reveal with a certain character. Where I'm like, alright, you look like one of the actors from the movie. You are younger than them. And you are specifically involved with the business in a way that I'm kind of thinking, alright, I think she might be the daughter of somebody. Okay. But very, very good show. Very good show. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, should I buy uh, a PS5 for Dragon's Dogma 2 and System Shock Remake, even though there's not exclusives? I want a, phys I want a physical copy. Uh, I don't know. If you got a PC that can run them, I'd say just get them on PC. Because uh, the exclusives are literally the only reason to get consoles. And uh, Xbox ain't got them, and all the PlayStation 1s are coming to PC eventually. Okay. Uh, trust me, there was an old RT uh, podcast episode where they mentioned that Joel listened to a lot of Alex Jones. This was back around 2011. Joel was staunchly right wing. Good for him. Well, someone said Joel uh, celebrated when John McCain died. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That's pretty awesome. I didn't know John McCain died. Yeah, he did. He, he's been dead for a bit. The fuck here's watching? I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I didn't turn into that. I was busy with other yeah, shit. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, I want to I want to install the height unlimited mod so I can make a tiny gremlin. Yeah, the the modding community for Dragon's Dogma Two seems to be really yeah. healthy, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, Recessory five dollars a bit off topic, but which Metal Gear game has your favorite story and why? Favorite story? I love three. Uh, MGS one. MGS one's got my favorite story. MGS one's really good. Yeah. Uh, and Metal Gear Solid Four is my favorite Metal Gear. Yeah. Joe Hyman was fired for being a right libertarian. Actively called RT a cult when he left, saying they've been isolating him for years, but they fired him. Mm -hmm. Oof. That's sad. Uh, Mr. Bug for Dollar, uh, I just want Lolly to do a video on that live action Zero series from Amazon that popped up off a few months ago. Even if it's like two seconds, because I think they'd be fun to talk about swords and pulp heroes. Uh, apparently, people are actually really liking that. That's why I'm hearing that the, the Amazon Zoro show is genuinely fun. Yeah. Yeah. If you like Zoro stuff, chat, check out Sean Gordon Murphy's Zoro series. <laughs> I'm going to keep shilling that motherfucker. Yeah. He will come on stream one day. Here's just molding over how artists are unprofessional and never do her comms. Then comes the realization that any woman artist she hires never finishes the work while men do. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll invite Sean Gordon Murphy onto the mattress. Hmm? To the Yeah, he, he can have the pistachio air mattress. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, he's a cool dude. Apparently, He did a book signing, not a, like a comic signing in, um, I think it was Brazil here recently. But it was one of the really cool ones where yeah. you, you buy a blank, uh, blank comic and then he would he would just draw you your own personal cover for your comic and sign it. Okay, and I was that's like, cool. God, I wish I was there for that. It's so cool. That's really fucking cool. Yeah. Only reason I wanted to review Ruby is because you seem more honest compared to other people to talk about, it, especially the Arch Bammer guy. Well, that's the, I'm going into it with the whole thing of, I don't know what the fuck any of this is. Right. I never liked Ruby because when I heard the premise, which is a bunch of girls are in an academy to learn how to fight monsters, I'm like, I can name 50 different animes that do yeah, that. Right, right. I've seen Taps, 1981 Taps. Yeah. No. No, I don't yeah. think so. That's the one where Bill Murray and uh, Harold oh, Ramis joined the military. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They joined the military. Uh, Blinded Journeyman for $2. Uh, would you play SS2 on stream sometime? It's a uh, fun stream. I did before. Yeah. I actually played System Shock on stream before. It yeah. was pretty fun. I mean, came Bato Chan Charge. I got a plan for her. You guys are not going to like it, but I've got a plan. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen Pedro Pascal finish filming Last of Us Season 2. Uh, I wonder why. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Like, I'm not even going to do a thing of, like, all right, I'll watch for review. It's just like, no, it's adapted from yeah. Last of Us 2. I don't want to watch that. Uh, no, that's Stripes. Was it? I thought that was Taps. 
Which one was Taps then? I don't know. If it's if it's a if it's a Murray film, then I've seen all of them. Especially the bad ones. I've seen all the bad ones multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Fuck. What's the? Uh, God damn it. What's the? Uh, what's the one where he his dad's a clown and dies and he's in charge of an elephant? Because I watched that one the other day. Oh fuck. Uh. <laughs> fuck. Uh. That's the one with the bridge, right? That's good. Uh, uh. God, I don't remember. It's uh. He inherits an elephant. Uh. I mean, yeah, that's basically it. He inherits an elephant, yeah. yeah there you go. What path are you taking System Shock 2? I uh, took technology explosive routes. Hacking and guns, it's the bread and butter one. Yeah. That's by a bunch of JRTC students taking over a military academy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dun- uh, Operation Dumbo Drop. Operation Dumbo Drop. Dumbo Hump. Yeah. Larger than life. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Aliens is getting a new prequel movie. Yeah, it's made by the dude who did uh, yeah. the Evil Dead remake, which could be cool. Yeah. At least he's getting to do other stuff, um, even though I didn't like it. Uh, what was it? Um, Ridley Scott saw it and said he liked it. Uh, what was the other one? James Cameron. James Cameron yeah. said he saw it and he liked it. Yeah. Uh, which doesn't really mean much, because Hollywood types will just say whatever the fuck. Yeah, I mean, you slip on check to be like, I loved it. Uh, I think Rage Fist has an FGS2 has comic politics in it. He's just being a contrarian. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a contrarian. I doubt he even likes Metal Gear, period. He doesn't. He outright says he doesn't. Yeah, good to see. Been buying CDs, uh, long since been meaning to, and catching up on bands on. Uh, between the price of some and scarcity of others, I need to take a few hours to shop at a used local. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing there's zero Berserk references in DD2. Uh, there's nothing, there are... there's nothing the equivalent of, like, having the armors in there, but yeah. they, they ported over some of the armors that are very, he- very heavily referenced... Uh, re- very heavily referenced Berserk. And he can still make guts very easily. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The character creator will let you make anybody. Yeah. Well, except when inspired by alien isolation. Yeah, it's all about, like, a space station with an alien mm-hmm. on it. Uh, could be pretty cool. It it's looks good. like, from from what I saw of the mm-hmm. trailer, maybe I'm going crazy and I missed something, it looks like they're going back to one alien. Mm-hmm. Which, I, I say going back, but that was Covenant, too. Yeah. Well, Covenant also had multiple. I say, yeah, Covenant. Covenant was weird. Yeah. Uh, and they say if they go back to to a singular alien, I'd be I'd be pretty happy with that. Just keep yeah. it keep it functioning as a slasher movie at least until the very end. Yeah. Uh, Quiet Rider for up for five dollars. Lolly, I've come to say that your watching review has inspired me for my mech story. Also, Ben Shapiro glows in the dark. Yeah. Everyone glows. Yes. Everyone glows. We all glow. We're bioluminescent creatures. Yeah. Uh, just the Twin Snakes is better than MGS One. A factually incorrect chat. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, the gameplay's better because it's just MGS2. MGS2, yeah. Uh, Barry Eastwood directed a movie that isn't a Western. Oh, fuck. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of like that one where he was the old man working for the drug cartel. I kind of like that one. Uh, ca- the Mule? Yeah, it, it, Mule. I like that yeah. one. Is that the same one where he's in the basement with like the, the chubby Mexican kid and he's just like being racist? No, no. That was, uh, I think that was Gran Torino. Gran Torino, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Gran Torino's pretty fucking good. Gran Torino's pretty good. Uh, Osama Ben Kenny for Seven Fake Minds. Could you explain to your viewers why is Rick and Morty a shameless ripoff again? Thomas, show your work. Show your work. Because it's shit. Because it's it, dog it's shit. It's a terrible cartoon, that's why. I like racist Clint. Sometimes, sometimes uh, whenever he goes off script, they just keep yeah. the cameras rolling and they get gold. Yeah. There's some Iwo Jima, Flags of Our Fathers. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Dirty Harry. Iwo Jima's really good. Dirty Harry. He did not direct Dirty Harry. It's specifically ones he directed. Yeah. Your Berserk video got my wife to come back with the kids. I was happy without her, so fuck you for that. Yeah. Uh, on the note of remakes, hot damn, that Crow remake looks like shit. The problem stems from the studio execs' uh, attempt to court modern audiences. Yeah. They're remaking what? Oh, Crow. Okay. Yeah, the Crow. I thought, I, thought, I thought you said Clover. I was like, like, like the fucking found footage uh, kaiju movie? Yeah. Listen, okay. I think, I think Clover was ahead of its time. I think now is the time for Clover to rise up, chat! In Baltimore. In Baltimore, please. Dear God, <laughs> please. We'll spend for $5. Uh, hey guys, can't stay long because I got work tomorrow. Uh, just saw Immaculate. It was a movie. Sydney Sweeney's, Sydney Sweeney's tits were nice. Uh, best part of the movie. Yeah. Well, uh, people were bitching. They're like, oh man, like they, as soon as they saw conservatives attaching themselves to Sydney Sweeney, they couldn't, they couldn't uh, wait to cast her in like an anti-religion movie. And people were like, uh, she actually funded that movie herself. Yeah. I'm sorry, chat, but your weird, your weird obsession with, uh, like, neoconservative wannabe women is it's not a good one, chat. It's not gonna end anywhere good. 
Uh, CLW, five bucks. South Park Snow Day sucks as badly as the top of all <laughs> movie. Maybe even worse. Yeah, I don't know who thought a, a fucking uh, online competitive shooter with uh, South Park characters would be a good idea, but uh, yeah, bad. Big Puss Bench Crew for dollar. Fuck, I used to watch Funhouse all the time. I still watch uh, compilations from when they were good. Recently, I felt like nobody had any chemistry. Also, Alana Pierce uh, lied on behalf of uh, Nissa and Idubs to smear Froggy Fresh. Fuck her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, uh, that, what was it? That, uh, the Funhouse. No, what was it about Froggy Fresh? I don't give a fuck about, about Funhouse. Uh, Lana Pierce helped uh, with... Fuck uh, Lana fuck Pierce, dumb, yeah. dumb whore. Yeah, fuck. Uh, she fucking helped uh, Idubs and What's-Her-Face lie about Froggy Fresh. She has big nipples. <laughs> Chat. Uh, Son of the D for 1500 fake monies. Uh, they also said you didn't know about the After Love EP situation missing the context CEO video uh, since the clip is 10 seconds, even though it's, it still doesn't look good for her. No context makes it good. Mm -mm. No no context will ever make it good because it's like, how do you excuse, circumvent the developers and go to the marketing team and tell them about the potential of a cancel oh, yeah. mob? That's literal intimidation tactics. That's give me what I want or something bad will happen to you. Yep. And use on the MGS3 remake. Uh, we have the menu screen chat. Not, no, yeah. not other than that. Uh, what's your favorite type of mecha? I like EVA units and flesh mechas of AOT. The bottoms are also kind of cool. I like Gundams. Gundams yeah, just and, dedicated Gundams are fun. Yeah, Pacific Rim. They were pretty cool. Uh -huh. uh, favorite thing is about the bridge is Biden instantly giving money but drag his feet for Ohio. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Like <laughs> The federal government said they were going to pay off every single thing that happened with the bridge. It's insured, motherfucker. And the insurance going, company will do that. And people are going like, why? Oh. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I forgot PS5 is stupid. Like, there, there's quite literally no fucking reason for the federal government to, to pay off the fucking bridge. Like, none. <laughs> oh, Big O. I take it back, Big O. Yeah, Big O is pretty cool, too. Steampunk mechs. Yeah, I fucking love O. They're great. All right. <laughs> No. I like that this doesn't stop at all. Uh, may as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's just for pawns. Who has big nipple Sydney Sweeney? Man, I looked at her and I was like, what the fuck is the, like, what's the hype of it's this It's literally just her breast. They're not even that good. Yeah, they're big, sort of. That, that's literally all it is. Her, her breasts aren't, aren't liberal. I mean, it's like, they're not even that good. They look fake. Yeah. They look fake like any other fucking hussy in Hollywood. This don't look like Rise of the Ronin chat. I'm not buying Rise of the Ronin until I'm done with Dark... Uh, Dagon Thor's Souls. It is good, but not as good as, as this. Uh, Dark Home Side for Tealers. Uh, do you review movies, games, or anime and manga? Uh, I review all, fucking all anything. Above. I review anything except books. I'm not good at books. Like, he can't read chat. He's fucking illiterate. Yeah. People have requested books, and it's like, I'll talk about them, but be aware, I'm not a book critic. You want you want uh you want book critique? Go to like Crimson Rogue. He does books. <laughs> Ow! To subscribe to the idea of needs in the many outweigh the needs of the few is an evil thought. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Shocker! Everything in life revolves around context and nuance. So true. So oh, true. Yes. Lend me your... her, uh, her and Ginny Ortega are overrated to me. Long. I think Ginny Ortega was just there because she shopping. like people did really good edits of her. Yeah. To guide her. Keep blood and radiator on swatting you. When the movie comes out. <laughs> In 30 years. Yeah. Uh, we'll spend five bucks. Problem with the uh, movie is it tries to be anti-religion when the main villain performed the most anti-Christian act, playing God. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I never watched it. I was going to say, the movie movie literally just came out. I've got no interest in watching it either. But I'm not one of those people that sees Sidney Sweeney and goes, Whoa. Yeah, it's like, once again, I, I, I never bought into the hype with her. I was going to say, it's just another... I didn't another, even know there was hype with her. Just another whore in Hollywood. I don't give a shit. Her fucking legs, uh, her legs are as wide as the Grand Canyon, chat. There you go, behind the scenes. There you go. That's all you need to know. See the Bad Boys trailer? Fuck off. They ain't making another one, chat. Fuck off. That's in the new Marvel game, Captain America and Black Panther is being made by Amy Henning and Skydance. I've got no faith in Amy Henning. None. I will wait to see some clips, because I do like Amy Henning and she does good shit, but it's just another case of she is hamstrung. 
Because that seems to be kind of her big problem right now. Every She's constantly Amy, tied to hamstrung shit. Every time Amy fucks up, it's not her fault. But when she makes a banger, she makes a banger. It you can't keep covering for her! It quite literally wasn't for first spoken. She was just the fucking lore director. She just wrote the lore. All that dog shit lore. <laughs> Get it right! Uh, Xander Dawson, five bucks. I think I softlocked myself in DE. I tried talking to the union boss, but I don't have morale, heal items, and lost gun caused me to get a game over. Uh, you can look around. There's always a way yeah. to get more. There's always a way. By the dragon, as it's a reminder, you have like eight days to get shit done. You don't, you're, you're not stretched for time at all. If you need to go take a nap and wait for some new events to happen, go do it. Go do it. It's fine. She's listed as the director in 1943. All right, we may have something good. We may have something good. Sydney Sweeney? We may have something good, and in and, and that same breath, it's probably going to be canceled. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 never mind. Uh... Yeah, producer and writer in 1943. Okay, okay, so producer, writer, and director, all right. So when it's dog shit, I'm going to laugh. She didn't do anything for Spoken Show. She just consulted, and they almost used her name to shield that game. Yeah. See, chat, you keep coping. She's dead, chat. Amy Hinning, you know, is dead. All of her, all of her potentially good games got canceled. <laughs> Dan or take her from home, she's just a chill person who's getting success good for her, but I just know someone's gonna fuck her over. Uh, Sweeney, uh, Sweeney is hot, but Margot Robbie's still hotter. Chat. Chat. They're all whores. Do I look for $2? Anti-religion movies are heathen cringe on GP. On GA. I like Power Rangers, uh, Power Rangers mechs, uh, just people in big bulky plastic suits. Yeah, those are fun. Old, old tokusatsu shit. That, that's mm -hmm. always fun. They're all bitches and hoes. Chat, reference the, the Bo Burnham song. Uh, Y'all see the shit with Niantic changing character models in Pokemon Go? Even writers are mad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I saw that whenever they, fir they first did it, and I was like, why would you deliberately make your characters ugly when like part of your, your sub-economy is getting outfits for, for trainers? Yeah. Like, that makes no sense. Uh, JP, JPVO and DD2 is pretty good. Leap sync was ass, regardless of what you go with. Uh, yeah, I kind of... That was that the same thing in the first game, so fuck it. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna say, lip sync shit no matter what you go on. No Mazinger's still the best. I've yeah, 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 yeah. Mazinger's good. Come on, step forward. My holes already didn't look good. Yeah. Uh -huh. and we're going for the My preset, because why, 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 why not? Yeah, why why would you ever pick a default guy? You know, it's like why would you ever? All right, so we're we are using yeah yeah I am gonna, chat. I am gonna I'm gonna fuck with him a little bit. Giga though. chat. I'm gonna fuck with him a little bit though. Uh. Game is this? This is Dragon's Dogma Two. I'll oh, take the beard off. He looks too much like Nero. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> what a lad. There we go. <laughs> hey, look, he's better Dante from yeah. from the hit title DMC Devil May Cry. Lyle McDouchebag. I love the I love the thing that video games do where where uh, short hair, like short facial hair or head hair, is just like the most fucking scuffed shit in existence. Yeah, right. There we go. He's Omni Man. <laughs> I was thinking about making an actual Omni Man, and I was like, "Oh, what are the odds I'm gonna fucking play through the game as Omni Man?" <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. There you go. There you go. Uh. What was Omni Man's name? Uh fuck. Um. Uh. 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 Not Mark. Uh. What's no. Uh, no. No one. Yeah. yeah no one. We'll spend five bucks. Funny enough, I didn't know it's in these uh, movie. My friend just wanted to see a horror movie and picked it because poster wasn't that scary. No, uh, a movie I just watched recently on top of the, the fucking uh, here for Blood one is I sat down and watched Stop Motion. Yeah, I watched that too. Stop Motion's fantastic. It was really good. It's, it's one of the better... Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 999. <laughs> yeah, he's a real Viltrumite hours, baby. Yeah, real Viltrumite hours. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, one of the better horror movies in recent memory. It was, yeah, it was I liked it a lot. Its gimmick was awesome, too. One up for two bucks. Damn, boy, he thick. That's a thick-ass boy. Damn. Thick-ass boy. Damn, boy. That motion is peak. It was really good. Yeah. What pissed me off is I was watching it, and then my dad uh, came in halfway through and just started bitching where it's like, 
Uh, it, it was the scene where she kills the two people. It's like, man, that's so fucking dumb. Of course, the 108 pound woman. I just turned to him and said, if you're fucking freaked out by it, just fucking admit it. Shut up. Yeah. If you're scared, stop being a pussy. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. It's like, I'm watching the fucking movie. 90 minutes of fucking build up for this. You know, just fuck off. Don't bring in this whole, like, well, actually. It's like, no, it's a fucking horror movie. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think I think I made him like six foot two, and I forgot that back in ye old times, everyone was a fucking midget. Yeah. Not even in ye old times. When the when the fuck was Carter president? Uh, fuck. <laughs> My bad, G. I forgot. That's that's on me. That's on me. Chat. What was Jimmy Carter president? Hey, then guts. It's entrails. It's entrails. His organ, chat. The seventies. Yeah, even even just go back to the seventies, motherfuckers are midgets. It looks like the gay guy from Generation Killbo with a mustache. <laughs> Fruity, Rudy. Wait till you see him run. Eighties, eighteen ninety. Chat. Wrong one. Wrong one. Chat. Jimmy was in a wheelchair. That doesn't count. A midget's a midget. Chat. Doesn't matter if his fucking legs work. Why are you complaining about your dad more? I think I have an Oedipus complex. What the fuck made you jump to that? Chad, Oedipus is the wrong, the wrong one. I feel most men don't want to, uh, don't want to believe a small woman could kill them, but they absolutely can. It's not hard if you know you know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, it's it's the fact of the entire movie is very surreal and psychological and. Oh yeah. No shit, it's not realistic. It's a fucking horror movie. No horror movie's realistic. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my favorite thing was uh, was going to the re-release of Alien in the theater, and then I had to kill a man because he kept complaining about the alien not being realistic. Pray. This is no place for one of your ilk. What the fuck? What was that? Don't worry about it, chat. Even we pawns of you ought not anger the overseer. Chat projecting their gay again. It really does. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> Lolly complains about his dad. Chat, do you want to fuck your mom? Jog, 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 jog. Yeah. <laughs> I love his tiny little legs. The taller your character is, the faster your movement speed is. So, chat, make the tallest fucking character you can. It's in your benefit. I outright, out, I outright outrun pawns unless the pawns are bringing me to a location because they get like a dumbass huge yeah. speed buff. So, Jim Sterling's getting dog walked on Twitter right now. Rightfully so. He flat out lied about shit. Yeah, he he just fucking hates Dragon's Dogma because his Dragon's Dogma two review is just a, a regurgitation of his Dragon's Dogma one review. Uh, only he, he just fucking sat there and, and, uh, added the microtransaction shit on top of it. Uh, so A, people are shitting on him because his review's dog shit. And then on top of that, he lied, he, he's one of the people that took the Cole posting shit where they just blatantly lied about, uh, the microtransactions in the game. And he just, he just took that at face value. So people are shitting on him for that. Yeah. I, I, I love it. The, the, the best response I saw was from, to, to Snake Herer. Uh, cause he, 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 uh, Jim made a post on Twitter where he's like, no, but just bring it up to Rook, you sick fuck. You sick fuck. I need every no. single rock. I need to get my gains. Uh, or he, he complained, he's like, he's like, oh, you, you give me one person who says they like, uh, going, retreading the same, uh, the same area 20 times in a row and I'll, I'll, I'll show you a fucking liar. And uh, to Snake Hero was like, guy who makes the same... He didn't say guy. He didn't say guy. Uh, guy who makes the same video uh, for a living repeatedly uh, is, is calling out something being... Uh, uh, repetition, repetition, yeah. Repetition, yeah. I, I love that one. It was great. The only kind of Dragon's Dogma 2 is the game stealing my Rook kill. He's my kill game. You can find him in the in the Nexus. He's one of the specialty yep. pawns. So if you look up... Well, you have to you have to go through there and look. All right, we're almost, we're almost done with our work. Mm-hmm. Uh, not gonna not gonna make any direct connections, but it's interesting how the main villain of Ratchet and Clank One is a greedy bu business bug man uh, that plans to go from planet to planet and drain them of the resources. Initially veiled as a, my, a migration from a polluted hellscape, only for it to be revealed he ruined his old his old home to begin with. Chat that just sounds like Canadians. That's remarkably savage for Snake. Everyone's dunking on Jim Sterling. Yeah, oh right yeah, now. Pat Pat was shitting on him too. Yeah. Uh, like everyone's like, oh man, so you're just saying that like all of the Resident Evil games are dog shit. Because at the end of the day, it's it's Jim doesn't like playing video games and does not want it to be his job, but the motherfucker can't actually contribute to society in any way, shape, and or form. He cannot wrestle for shit. Nobody likes him. He is he has got an actual fetish for just annoying people, uh, and nobody wants to be around him. So the only thing he can be is a games journalist. Yeah, this isn't even speculation. This is shit people have directly pointed out to him, where where it's like uh, he does his fucking backyard wrestling shit. Almost gets people fucking hurt because he doesn't know how to do moves properly. Yeah. Uh, so they don't let him actually do anything. Uh, 
Anytime he shows up on a podcast now, he makes it all about himself and has to bring up every fucking fetish he has under the fucking sun. Mm -hmm. The the Yahtzee one where he talks about being pregnant is probably the most, probably the 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 most obvious one. It's like yeah, everyone's fucking sick of Jim. He has long since outstayed his welcome, and his welcome yeah. wasn't even that impressive. How much of this game is Dragon's Dogma 1 remake, and is that a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. And uh, aside from the area, the, the core gameplay mechanic, if if you see what people are talking about, uh, you know, gameplay-wise, uh, you can literally just pick up Dragon's Dogma 1. If, you're, if your computer can't handle Dragon's Dogma 2, you can pick up the first game and, and play that. Because uh, mechanically, this is the same fucking game. Yeah. Uh, it's just prettier. Uh, what are pawns and dragons dogma? They're they're your allies. Interdimensional slaves. Yeah. As far as gameplay is concerned, they're just your allies. Oh, so there's a, a Medusa. Yeah. I still haven't run into one of these. And all right, they're probably like later. Because mm -hmm. this is in a completely different chunk of the map. I ran into a roided up, uh, roided up, um, fucking uh, Minotaur. Yeah. Mandar's are fucking fun. He, he just kept spamming the, the get down attack. It, it was awful. Compatible people are shitting on you. You know you fucked up. Oh, yeah. An update will be coming for you to turn off ray tracing. Yeah. So, uh, the for consoles, well, for everything, uh, there's going to be an a, a update upcoming to help improve performance. Uh, on consoles, the real big thing about it is uh, you're going to be able to turn off ray tracing because it's on by default. Uh, you're gonna be able to turn off motion blur, and they're gonna add a cap for 30 frames, so that you can have a, st a steadier experience. Uh, my thing is, what sick fuck turned ray tracing on by default uh, on fucking consoles? Uh, with that also being said, I was looking at the differences uh, on on PC. I was looking at the differences with ray tracing on and off, and I will say, Dragon's Dogma 2 has the only uh, ray tracing I could like tell a significant difference on with when it's on and off. So I'll, I will give it that. I will give it that. However, fuck you! Disable yeah. NPC physics. No. Never. Absolutely not. I refuse. I actively refuse. I was gonna say, that is, that is core to the fucking game. You cannot, you cannot disable physics of anything. Is your Risen just, uh, Futa? With an Omni-Man mustache? Sir? Sir? That's really out in themselves. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Why do you what is with the Freudian slip about Fuda, bro? What? Grab her boobs. Chat, don't. She's a snake. Uh -huh. She'll hurt you. That didn't work. Physics is gameplay. Oh, yeah. Disable NPC jiggle physics. Never. Bubba Never. Boo. Nobody says a lot of people on the Xbox don't, uh, don't invest in their pawns. I imagine so. No one really invests in their pawns. That's just kind of how normal normal gamers are. Yeah. Selfish little cunts. And then they wonder why there's difficulty spikes. It's like, because you're you're supposed to treat your pawns as basically your second yeah. player. You it's actually not that hard to optimize them either. Yeah. Chat on some gay shit today. I know. <laughs> why did Chad think Lolly fucks his mom? Yeah, right? It's mm -hmm. like... They're trying to cancel Pan, my favorite pianist. Uh, I've never, I've never, uh, never heard of a pianist named Pan. Same fan arts of guts with facial hair. You know he kind of rocks it. <laughs> yeah, get the Nolan mustache. Yeah, you got it, guts. I don't know if these niggas like Fuda. <laughs> Jarvis, enable mill in PC jiggle physics. I want to see them balls rumble. <laughs> Who the fuck turned on vocal commands? Uh, March March for Dillars, uh, main character looks like his name's Gustavo Lopez the Sixth. <laughs> You get back here. Guts Mercury. <laughs> uh, Mark $99 for dollars. So be honest with me, is this game worth seventy bucks? No game is worth seventy. No game is worth seventy bucks. Uh, but yes, the game is great, fantastic, peak. Uh, Wally, 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 run, move forward. No. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> My peaceful protest. Yeah, uh, your peaceful protest. Get fucked. My peaceful protest. Rock. Uh, Rock. Dante has jiggle physics in DMC5. He has hair physics. Uh, the RE engine is a fantastic engine, and I can't wait to see what the RE engine 2 is like. Eat shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, Zodiac for dollars? Wait, where's the penguin? Where's the penguin? He's we're stuck in fucking prison because I softlocked the game. We're on a quest to free the penguin from jail. Uh, where about $2? Does Jim, does Jim wrestle women or men? Have a good day. Uh, both. I was going to say, I don't know. I don't watch uh, his dumbass wrestling. 
Uh, big push pinch. Pure for other Sydney Sweeney doesn't just have large brushes. He has large brushes and is willing to do nude scenes. Oh no. They're not even that impressive! Like. Chat, uh, there's this thing called porn. Yeah. Like, it's, it's unironically a thing of like. She's mid! She is mid! It's not even an insult. The man I saw her, it's like, that's who people are fucking simping over? Yeah. Mexican guts is the bane of OSHA. <laughs> Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Boy can fight as long as they're smaller than women. As long as they're smaller than women. I love DD2 main character John Dogma. John Dogma. Government approved horny. <laughs> My only complaint is sadly romance is a woman did a quest line uh, which had a revelation at the end and then dipped and is gone very sad. <laughs> yeah, just like a, just like a Mercedes in the first game. Yeah. How do you feel about the resource basically making Penguin replace Falcone? I mean that kinda is how Penguin ends up in the end. Yeah. Like he becomes a mob boss. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm interested to see how uh, all the rat Matt Reeves universe movies turn out. Yeah. Because of the Batman was just good. Yeah, that was a good movie. Uh, did you see who they might have as Two Face? Uh, I did. I can't remember his name, but he's the blonde dude. Uh, Boyd Holbrook. Yeah. He. Uh, you know what? He he fits good enough. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty good. Uh, I'd like to see him. I think he matches that like pretty boy uh, aesthetic that I imagine Two Face would have pre scarring. Yeah. yeah. And that kind of raises the question of. Are they going to cover Harvey being disfigured in the movie they're going to introduce him in? Because, I mean, they could. I imagine it'll probably be, yeah. uh, well, I imagine it'll probably be in the movie after the Penguin or in the Penguin. Yeah. Because the Penguin is regarding the, the court case of the guy that throws acid on Two-Face's face. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, Maroney? Uh, it's not, I don't think it's Maroney. He's just a good guy in the long Halloween. He's a good guy. Yeah, that, that kind of a, that's, that's kind of another interesting thing is like they kind of already did Long Halloween with the first Batman movie, so are they just gonna do it again? Are they gonna actually introduce Holiday? Like, how are they gonna do that? Yeah, well, there's a there's a lot of stuff that they can introduce from the the Long Halloween. That is true. Uh, they took more from um, uh, there's a was it uh Batman Year One? I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they took a lot from Batman Year One. Yeah, which makes sense because it was early Batman story. Yeah. Like, in-universe, it was early Batman. He was, like, what, two years? I was going to say, he's, like, in his first or second year, yeah. You see that one guy tried to cancel the Bow Bow Twins on Twitter asking for art, Bow Bow. Uh, and when Nerissa came in to defend them, dude, he immediately backed out? Yeah. Yeah, they, the people don't realize the shit they're talking until they get uh, they get yeah. pushed back. Calder Man, let's fucking go. You know what? That would be cool. If they actually I, introduce be, Calder Man. Say, it has to be the, the really fucking, like, hardcore Calder Man. Like, the pretty boy, like, white powder makeup Calder Man. Yeah, yeah, the the absolute fucking lunatic Calder Man. Uh, you need to get someone who can do a, a convincing per a performance that is just completely devoid of life. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't really know who, who you could get to, to do that good. <sighs> Fuck, that is hard to think about. Um, How do you like my character, chat? Freddie Mercury, man, fuck you! <laughs> I was trying to make Omni Man, he made Freddie Mercury. <laughs> no, Rook, we can get him from the from the gate. Was it you then? The one who was riding That's lame. I want my 60s calendar man. No one likes 60s calendar man. He fucking sucked. Yeah. Same with like Condiment King and all that shit. They got no place in the world now, chat. Like calendar man's a legitimately interesting idea for a serial killer. Yeah. A dude who bases all his murders uh, on the fucking count, uh, seasons, days of the week. Yeah. Holidays. Anything. Anything calendar related. What happened to Danny? Who's this character? We're saving Danny. Yeah. It, it, it is our character, Chad Thundercott's main goal in life to rescue his, his older brother, Danny. It's okay, Danny. I'm going to save you, Danny. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save you, Danny. It, it fucks me up saying Danny because every time I do I have I have Leo's voice from Manhunt 2 <laughs> say Danny in the back of my head and I think that's a sign of psychosis and it's been happening since my fucking Danny DeVito stream come on Danny they're goblins come on Danny no one's gonna miss them go ahead and slaughter them let loose <laughs> guys the voice is telling me to do bad things again Danny it's a manhunt 
<laughs> it's a veritable manhunt. Go ahead and pig out. No one gets those references. Shut up. Arisen, are you okay? Shut up. Get out of my head. Polka dot man. He died. Showed us slowly becoming schizophrenic. Ch chat, look up Leo from Manhunt 2 saying Danny. And every fucking time you hear Danny said on this stream, it will echo in the back of your skull. That's how good that voice actor is. It's so good. It's so good. Danny wants to hang, hang out with Calendar Man. No! He did the penguin, chat. He's the small little guy. He's the funny little guy. Uh, Linkara, we must compete. Uh, compete, compete the history of Batman Part Three. Oh no! Ye Stand back, Mercedes. I'm going to manhunt too. Oh, nice, Danny. Nice. That's on Toru Adachi. Uh, Toru PFPs have no rights, chat. You deleted Dragon's Talk, but two penguins showed up. Chat, he okay. A, I got the character bank, so I didn't. Uh, B, motherfucker, I soft locked the game twice actually. In one stream, I soft locked that fucking shit. I'm just imagining Shane Gills and Manhunt 2 saying, Where you get that chi, Danny? <laughs> Danny Scanton, <laughs> this baby doll a serial killer, she killed people, yes. If, from Twisted Metal, it depends on the games, but most versions, yeah. Uh, if you're in, if you're in the Twisted Metal tournament, you're a fucking murderer. Yeah. Danny Bonaducci. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? Omni Man's twin brother, Penguin. Come this way. Charlie, how many hours do you have in Dragon's Dogma Two so far? Uh, let me see. Ten for my stream. Like the hour beforehand, I did the prep it, so that's eleven. <gasps> Uh, and then probably, let's see, two days, uh, I probably got like 26, 27 hours in it so far. Yeah. I got more than a handful. Yeah. Uh, man, Nero really began hitting the steroids after DMC5. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to make him Nero, but like, really hard not yeah. to see Nero. Oh, retards having fun arguing with the voices in y'all heads. <laughs> Chat, when you're when you're a simple man, it's so easy to have fun. You just argue with the voice in your head. Danny. <laughs> yes. Alright. Yeah. Move on. We got your stola. Move on. Let's go. Let's go. We'll wrap it up. Yeah. Wait, did, could you fuck with her ears? Hmm? I could. Okay. They're yeah. covered up. I'm not fucking with them. Yeah, we we could, and at the same time you can't give them cat ears. I'm making say, them that stupid say, beast you can't race. Give them, you can't give them cat ears, so. Yeah. You stola, my love. Where's the ass? Oh, don't worry, Chet. She's got cake. You're a horrible bird's class. Nomads. We wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception. Don't talk to and me like that. Don't sass me. Will doubtless be. It is my privilege to accompany you. Dummy, mommy. Friend. Sir, she's and a twink. She's got no muscle mass, oh, chat. She's dude. a fucking caster. Let me put all the that was there during the early 2000s of Toonami. I can't remember... I can remember a male character slowly merging with his mech, and the mech eats a wild deer. Help, I don't fucking have any idea what you're talking about. Should have vaguely disguised fetish. Chat, that is that is Yostola, chat? She got bread, but is she the whole baker? How did DD2 CC actually look good when uh, Street Fighter 6 is abhorred? Because Street Fighter 6 is art style in general looks really bad. Uh, it's the difference between having a, a game that's entirely based around making your own character and a game where making your own character was just a fun little addition. He stands like a hero, chat! Look, look into his longing yeah. eyes, chat. He's got the thousand yard stare. He's thinking. I do like the little detail that your character is like holding on to the sword. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's actually really cool. Yeah, fighters, fighters hold on to the sword when they're doing runs. No, it's cool. Yeah. Joe, so, did you play Sandline? I played the demo. The actual game's not out till like uh, May or something. Yeah. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. 
Uh, Street Fighter's Armiko was top design. There were rumors that Armiko was being added in the, the next season pass, but I, I doubt it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that guy got outed as, as um, not being the actual leaker that he claimed to be. I call Cap, showed it. Or anger in Final Fantasy XIV is a caster, and he gets squall. He also watched his childhood friend die in front of him. Yeah. Misinput. It was a misinput. Calm down. You calm the fuck down. Wouldn't say that since Xenoblade X and Code Vein have character creators, but also good character designs. Well, I stayed like Street Fighter. What was 6 the last is... time you saw you saw uh, Xenoblade X talked about? It's like Street Fighter Six's character, like art style in general, is just bad. Like it's, I'm not saying stylized character creators are bad. I'm saying Street Fighter Six is bad. Like it just looks ugly. You gotta put a, you gotta put a lot of effort into making a good looking character. Woman. Woman. Do I disappoint you, master? No. Good woman. Well, what does kind of annoy me is I don't think there's any shots here that let you actually buy anything. Uh, yeah, there's two. There's a guy standing out here with a, a backpack, and then, uh, there's a... That lady right there, next to the, the grindstone. Where's the guy with the backpack? I never saw him before. Uh, right there. Talking to that guy. Oh, yeah. well, fair enough. I never saw him before. I, I went almost the entire first act using just the minor shit, because I... Uh, I couldn't find anything to buy. <laughs> uh, so he carries uh, hmm. just like pretty general stuff. Ah, fuck, was you so you start it. off with no cash. Yeah, we got no cash. Okay. If you're a broke boy, just say so. We're gonna figure shit out. We're gonna figure shit out. Uh, so what's so on Mercedes from one? Mercedes peak. Uh, if I had the, I didn't want to dedicate as much time into making Mercedes from from Dragon's Dogma one. <laughs> you got you got to sleep. Yeah. Seem rather unwell. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go. Shut the fuck up, George. Just finished wins a winner, you fat fuck. <laughs> George is never gonna finish anything, you stupid right. fuck. And actually, before we sleep, may as well get some more pawns. Yeah. Let's see what we have available. Uh, go here. I'm gonna show you how to get the 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 good pawns, okay? The the good pawns, all right? So in the branch, he's got the dragon clap. No. All right. Uh, hold. Press circle. All right. Uh, go to view unique pawns. Yeah, a view official pawns. And wait for it. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, there, there's Max. Maximilian. Uh, I refuse. Do... Oh, shit. I don't know how to sort this one. Uh, we need Wooly. We're going to get Wooly. Uh... Oh, R uh, hit uh, R1, R1, R1. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Name. So Capcom is, is, of course, Capcom created pawns. Right. Uh, this is the problem. Uh, top one, top one. Yeah. So it's Maximilian. If it has an Maximilian. online, if it's if it has an online ID, it's made by it's made by the actual people. Okay. So you just go and find the actual people. Wooly right. is on here. His name is Wooly. Okay. So we're gonna He's a fighter like as well. Uh. Get Alice. Susie. I don't even know if Susie. Uh, I know Susie's in the game. I just don't know where the fuck she is. Alice for two bucks. Anyone explain the bar I barely knew her joke? You're autistic. You're autistic. Okay. Uh. You keep on, you, David, Ashen, Rosie, Corzin. Prudence, Egbert, Merlin, Dob, Elodia, Mimi, Nick. Use Asmin to test the water. Was Asmin in here as a, as a, as a character chat? Uh. Uh, what's his face? Should be level two. Well, let me see here. I'm trying to see if... Wins Marvel. Well, now let me, like, type it in, or do we have to do it like this? Uh, no. Uh, you have to do... In order to get specific... Pawns, you have to type in the pawn ID. Okay, okay. So and I don't know their pawn ID off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, you can uh, press circle. You can go to the other one that it, I should also be in the official one. You forgot the cookies? No. Pawn badge, specialization, weapon skill, type. Let's do it like this because maybe maybe it'll be I don't know. Well, his, his name is just straight up uh, Wooly on here. Yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to find. So just press circle. All right. All right. Uh, go to monthly rankings. Yeah. Okay. I went to cookie. You disgust me. Uh. Are pawns integral to playing DD2? You can play them without them, but it's not very fun. Yeah. The whole idea is your pawns are your party. Pick Max and throw him in the water for his bad Final Fantasy takes. Uh... 
Wooly's character is literally just Wooly. I'm starting to think they might do a thing where each day of the week they swap out their like mm. their YouTuber because uh, I had Wooly whenever I started up a new game, All but right. I couldn't find anyone else. All right, we can kill. We now can we kill have Maximilian. Max. Yeah, now we have Max, but no one else. Are you at Max? Yeah, we'll kill Max. Uh, so we have a mage. There he, he is. Yeah, there's Maximilian. Hey, Max. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer yeah, we'll hire you. Together. You're free. Wooly you know, is, Wool is a Steam version exclusive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you have two fighters, a mage. We need an archer. Stella Kaiser's PS5 Where the hell exclusive. Is everybody? Who the fuck is Stella Kaiser? Uh, Shub Nigareth for two dollars. Human or Beastrin beloved or half breed? Chad, I'm not fucking a cat. Have you seen the fucking Beastrin? They're terrifying. Maximilian's the only motherfucker in here. Oh, uh, that's because you you specifically summoned him, so you oh, gotta okay, go okay. here and yeah. All right, let's search for a pawn. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Well, what? Who? What? Which famous YouTuber do you want, Lolly? I don't want any. Which famous YouTuber do you want? I don't want any. They're awful. Uh. Dork Smith, five bucks. Did uh, Lolly ever beat Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen? I beat him multiple times. Not on stream, but I beat him multiple times. So um, I, I beat mine. I beat mine on stream. Okay. We have Asuka. Asuka. Uh, oh, Susie Q. Oh. Yeah. No. Uh, I was gonna say that's not that's not Susie. That's that was an Asian. Uh, Debo, Ada, Main Pawn, Knight. <laughs> Able line. Why are they all fucking mages? Uh, you don't have very many options to start. They're, they're the mages game with. or they're fucking here. Main here. pawn. Yo, he expensive. Oh, that is true. That is true. Why are you so overpriced? Oh, he's level nine. That might explain it. This guy's only two levels lower, and he's like half the price. Oh my god. Uh, go to the riftstone and sort by sort by uh, thief. Female beast run a cute. They are cats, chat. Don't fuck actual living animals, you sick fuck. HP Lovecraft moment. That's an Asian. Oh, it's not the one I was looking for, chat. The one I'm looking for, I think, is white. Right. So we're stuck with Maximilian for right now. Uh, this one's free. Hi, cat. This, this is what I mean by the beast turns are fucking terrifying. I don't like them. They're just cheetah people. And we don't right. treat cheetah people like folks. So we have four. We can leave. Yeah. That's for Final Fantasy VII, you fuck. That's for your Tifa takes, you son of a bitch. Get back up here. I want to do that again. Are you adding males to your harem? Are you gay? Where are Neko? Well, they aren't Neko people. They're disgusting mutants. Boy there. My pa always used to she looks like she banned. <laughs> you should stop by the inn in Melv if you get I see you also have a super cool manly scar above your eyebrow. Nice one, bro. I got mine while shaving. We're Scar Bros. A moment long awaited. Dong, dong. I knew Feed him to the brine. No. There we go. Oh, we have a little bit of gold. Yeah, you get some for completing that quote unquote quiz. Yeah. Too bad we don't have anything to spend it on. You can buy weapons over there. That lady right there. Does she sell weapons? Other than your, I thought she only sold potions. Nah, uh, you're yeah. just a broke bitch. Yeah, okay, we're gonna rob. Uh, you her. can sell the copper wars though, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rob her real quick. Perish not a thought for the muty. All right, give me my shit. Fancy a gander? I find. Bye. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, press. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, you don't. You know what? Don't even. Don't even get any of this shit. Press circle. Press circle. Uh, go pleasure. back to the. Go back to the guy in the tent. Go talk to him. Not dying. That's just mm. as well. You're not strong enough for my Please potions. This guy. Yeah, talk to him. Okay. I've bets to spare if you're looking for. Uh, organized storage. And if you'd like to oh, draw. yeah, yeah. The the fucking DLC I mean, shit. Yeah. I got the I got the fucking uh, deluxe edition shit. Okay. Uh. E. There we go. And you can give the staff to, to Yashtola. There we go. Uh, boost defense and match defense. We're going to need that. Uh, yeah. And 
and yeah, it's pretty much. Okay, none of that's needed for anything. Yeah, pretty much. Uh. Anytime. Always a pleasure. Go home, Black Pillar. This is a White Pillar neighborhood. We don't want your kind around here. Goddamn right, Chat. Show them the door. She also sells armor, so you can get the armor there. Yeah, but right now we're we're kind of in the middle of. Making sure there we go. Okay. A framework mod for the RE engine that allows you to increase FOV and doesn't break the game, uh, make the game play so much better. Oh, you're talking about mods? Uh, yeah. You don't. You uh. You don't actually need the DLL that comes with the RE framework shit. Uh, if, as a matter of fact, if you download that, it will increase your crashes. Uh, the only time I ever crashed was when I downloaded the the DLL. I'm gonna need to equip that. Uh, yeah. but right now, get some armor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, we can do the Wanderer's Hood. <laughs> I like it. So disgusting. Uh, we'll do the coif. No, 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 no! Don't, don't do coif. Don't do coif. Don't do it. Don't do it. You disgust me. <laughs> there you go. You need, you need to because you need to get the chainmail. Yeah, we need the we need the chainmail. Well, even if even if we didn't uh, get the coif, it would have been enough. Okay, Fucking poor bitch. Armor. Uh, it should be... Uh, sure, all these dragons are going more like high or dark fantasy. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's more dark. It, it leans into dark more than once. At least the first game did. Uh, why does Wooly never That's hang nice. out with Matt anymore? <laughs> they call him the N-word? Is that why he's only hanging out with Pat? No, the best friends aren't friends anymore, chat. There we go. So now, we are ready for adventure. Adventure. You look like the type of guy that's going to get robbed two steps out the door. I'm the condom man. I'm the condom man. FBA increase alone has been worth it, but definitely be careful with mods. Uh, none of the mods I've downloaded have caused any issues. Uh, it's an expansion... Uh, it's an expansion name from the first game, Dark Arisen. Yes? I'm a little worried for him. What? Also, mods pull all the cash uh, shop stuff and vendor inventories and make their prices reasonable. Uh, I think their their prices are pre are plenty reasonable. Uh, I think the amount of money that drops is proportionate to what level you are. Because I noticed when I got to like level thirty and forty, uh, the game was fucking dropping thousands of, of gold yeah. every kill. Yeah, that that was the weird part with people going like, oh, well, they're super expensive in game because they wanted to buy microtransactions. Like, no, they're expensive in game because they're important items. I was gonna say you can't, uh, yeah, you can't. Uh, None of the microtransactions will get you any anything in the game fucking yeah. any faster. Like, you can't buy gold. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Half the time, if you need it for, like, a story quest, they'll just give it to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. I want to make sure. Like, the, the Rift Crystals uh, the Rift crystals don't give you enough to get anything in game. Yeah. So, like, it's literally pointless to buy it. Yeah, just grind them up. You know, just walk around looking for the fucking... You get it from killing enemies, so... Yeah, you get it from killing enemies, you get it from unlocking the little uh, waypoint stones. Not the, waypoint stones, but the little... The rift stones. Some, yeah, the little rift stones. Uh, and really, like, any... The, the price will only increase tantamount to how far away from your level the pawn is. Oh, yeah. So if you're pretty on the level with a pawn you want to summon, it's not going to be very expensive. At least that's what I noticed, because I was noticing it even with the, like level 10 and 20 pawns where it's like, eh, these are still pretty reasonable. It's like, yeah, because I'm not trying to summon one that's like level 40. Yeah, because they're, uh, it's just like the first game. It's, a, it's a, the mechanic is exactly how it, is, how it is in the first game. Zoomers want instant satisfaction. Very true. Well, uh, no, I, I think it's a thing where people were just flat out lied to and now they can't get the thought out of their head. Yeah. Also increases the amount of art of metamorphosis that are on sale, that sort of thing. Uh, so the base game has, like, three Art of Metamorphoses available, uh, but there's an item called, like, Ultimate Art of Metamorphosis or something like that that is literally just an infinite use one yeah. that you can get. So you don't even need more than three available in-game. Uh, do you think the DLC backlash will affect Capcom's DLC plans? Absolutely not. No, they don't no. care. They, they, they don't give a shit. Your, your time to complain was eight games ago. Yeah, you missed that. You missed that. And bus. That's being generous. Yeah, you missed that bus a long fucking time ago. They don't give a shit what you have to say. That's the funny part. People going like, "Well, you don't want this shit to become normalized." Like, what? What fucking industry are you looking at? Yeah, uh, it, it, it does. Um, someone else was was ruminating about it, and it, it had me thinking about it too. Where uh, Yoshi P had an interview 
where he uh, he talked about how he has no say in the in the Moogle shop whatsoever, yeah. and how he's actively afraid to talk to the team that that does the Moogle shop, so he doesn't. Yeah, he just doesn't interact with them at all. And I wonder if if like more game studios have like dedicated DLC teams that yeah. just are just fucking marketing teams. Yeah. It's it's like they're in charge of a small team of, of creators to, to like actually make the the DLC shit, uh, but all in all, it's just a majority of marketing people, and they're just fucking Patrick Bateman level disconnected from reality types. Yeah. Is that all of them? Uh, where do I get the infinite art of metamorph metamorphosis? I haven't found it in my playthrough yet, but you can. I assume the yeah. wiki's probably got it. Yeah. The, the 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 funny part about the whole microtransaction argument with Dragon's Dogma 2 is the whole game is built around you finding this stuff yourself. Yeah, you know, playing the game. Yeah, you you have to go out of your way to find all the stuff and figure out how it all works. That's what that's what makes a lot of the people whining about it so funny. Where it's like, dude, the entire point of the game is think outside the box and figure shit out. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd best be heading back. Uh, the question is, where and when do you get the infinite use metamorphosis? Uh, don't mistake me. I'm not complaining about the my microtransactions. I'm merely saying that what. Uh, that whatever benefit you could all get from microtransactions, you not only can get through normal normal progression, but mods uh, will let you cheat a minute if you're that autistic about it. Uh, I don't like I said, I don't know exactly where you get it. I just know that it exists. Uh, but if you if like a, you're making your character. So if you really want to if you really want to remake your character, you can just start the game over. Yeah. Like contrary to popular belief, and everyone's saying that like, you can't do that. You can. You can just delete your data. And people did it in Dragon's Dogma One. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's the same as it is in Dragon's Dogma One. Just delete your 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 data. Um, on top of that, the very first city you go to sells an art of metamorphosis. Yeah. Um, About like five hundred riftstones. I think it's like a thousand or something. It's not it's not like out of your price range, but yeah. Like it's early enough that they they very clearly expect you like if if you just fuck up on like, on creating your character, they expect you to just restart the game because yeah, like Hail it's that friends. short. <laughs> Many thanks for aiding a car. Uh, Cat Marker for two bucks. Good input on this game. Does it relate to juice? Oh. There's a new game button in Dragon's Dogma 1. There was, but you can also just d delete your data. Yeah. The new game button would just replace over your fucking save data. Yeah. Was a bit too That's early for him to be seeing actual combat. Uh, people were saying that, that screws, that screws well, you over with the Nuvo, though. Those people were outright lying, because guess what I did on the PC? Yeah. I deleted my data, I downloaded mods, I fucked with everything. Uh, the Nuvo hasn't activated at all. So those people were outright lying. Uh, and the people saying that they that uh, the Nuvo flagged them and they can only own like a certain amount of copies are also lying. Because a guy tested it out, and uh, he downloaded... Uh, he deleted a save file, I think it was ten times, he said. And then on top of that, he downloaded... Uh, Dragon's Dogma on multiple P multiple PCs, uh, and it never triggered De Nuvo De anti cheat. So I I'm inclined to believe those people are just fucking lying. Uh, and my favorite thing was after after he said like I don't know what's going on what these guys did to trigger this. The top fucking comment that I saw was people lying on the internet. Yeah right. My pawn super popular, seven struggle with rift crystals. That's another thing. Uh, people just flat out give you rift crystals if your oh, yeah. pawn is summoned. So yeah. it's like, it, it's encouraging people to, to actually use the systems and, and play with it. You know. Um, yeah. The uh, even if you want money, um, like the those badges that you saw that are on pawns. Uh, whenever you go to sleep for the like the second time in the city, uh, your pawn will come back and you can give your pawn a quest. And the the, yeah. the quest is for is how you get those badges, and you can give rewards. Um, a lot of people set the reward for their pawn for doing a quest at like twenty thousand. Emily, yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, for like twenty, uh, no, I think it's it's either ten thousand or twenty thousand gold. So you just go go find a pawn, see what their mission is, and yeah. their mission is like, oh, go kill a cyclops. You go kill one of the eight million cyclops on the map. Bam, twenty thousand gold. Yeah, there you go. Uh, most autistic romance option in the Persona series. Uh, the one where, uh, fucking, what's her name, I? Where she tries to throw herself off the roof and forth? Yeah, that was great. That one's yeah, great. Yeah, definitely. Fanatical selling this for 50 bucks. Should I wait for the patch drop or just before Maybe buying this? Uh, depends on how end your PC is. Yeah. I would say, like, the game's worth the price. Like, like, the game's worth 60 bucks to me. I bought the... I like the game so much, chat, I bought the game fucking twice. Granted, it wasn't full price both times. It was, uh... I think it was, like... 60 bucks for the deluxe edition on PlayStation and then I, I got it on Humble Bundle with uh, a $20 off on Humble Bundle and then all the, uh, the like gift cards I had saved up for like 
ended up paying, uh, I think it was 20 bucks out of pocket. But I still, I liked it enough, I bought the game twice. Uh, I'll give you that. It's kind of like the microtransactions, Hell Divers 2, you can ignore them and the game gives the items if you play the game. Yeah. Well, that's another, that, that's another that, that thing was that super that was, really, that was really fun, funny, because you just had the, the people shitting on Hell Divers, or people defending Hell Divers, uh, microtransactions, and then immediately after that, functionally the same thing yeah. happened. Uh, Fox McCloud, 1776, uh... The big complaint I have for this game's combat is there's no lock-on, but even then it's workable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I warn people about that because Itsuno uh, explicitly went out of his way to to say in an interview he wanted to take lock locking on the shit out of Devil May Cry. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, Itsuno, no, what are you doing? <laughs> is Dragon's Dogma 2 okay to buy on PC? Yeah, uh, I got it. I got it on PC. I got it through Humble Bundle. Uh, I I got it on Humble Bundle because I, I had um a twenty dollar off thing through Humble Bundle plus. Uh, gift cards there, but I think if you don't have that with Humble Bundle, I think you can get it on Green Man Gaming for like 50 bucks right now. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll just wait to play Dragon uh, DD2 and just buy and play Dark Arisen while they're fixing this one. Yeah, you can. If you're if you're not certain your computer can run it, it's it's just smart. Yeah. The that's the thing. There's not really much for them to actually fix. It's mainly just frame rate stuff, which is, say, it's, it's which is a result of the bottlenecking thing. And yeah. the bottlenecking thing, they know what's causing it, so they can fix it. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball 2 microtransactions don't have any gear behind them. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. If anything, people people are kind of convinced that the basically the microtransactions are a fucking joke. It's all, like, very mundane items you can get very cheap in the game. I was going to say, it's, it's literally Rift Stones, uh, Wake Stones, and a single Port Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, also, they're not repeated purchases. You can only buy them once, apparently. I don't oh, know. I don't know really? What, yeah. I don't know who the fuck would go out of their way to buy it and test it, but, yeah, you can only you can only buy each of them once. Holy shit, I might have to try that. Uh, how's the story? Uh, I'm liking it so far. It is interesting. Um, it's a nice spin on the first games. Yeah. I, uh... Like, so this game treats, this game, okay, the first city that you go to in this game treats the Arisen as, like, a, a huge deal. Yeah. But then you go to other cities in the game, and, like, you straight up meet other Arisen. Yeah. And, and, and they're like, they're like, oh, yeah, I fucked up. Like, whenever it was my turn, I fucked up. And yeah, I was like, it's oh. interesting. It's interesting. I like the, I like all the shit they do with the lore in this game where they, 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 they... attack. <laughs> Where, where they make the Arisen like this, like... First game, the Arisen was very mysterious, and nobody really knew anything about it. Yeah, the the two... I think there's only two. It's either two or three. The yeah. two Arisen you have access to are the um, the Dragon Dude yeah, uh, and the King. Yeah. Those are the two Arisen you have access to, and they're both fucking mysterious as shit. Yeah. Like, the King seems like a good guy until you beat the game, but the, the Dragon Arisen is just fucking, like, there. Yeah. Has a cult... Yeah. Meanwhile, this game does the opposite, where the Arisen are, like, so much more mundane. I mean, they're still a celebrated position, but they're much more... Everyone knows about them. Like, oh, pawns yeah. are a very common aspect of life. Yeah. Well, they're a, real, they're an, uh, a common aspect in the, in the first game, too. Uh, but, like, in my knowledge, there's no fucking pawn slave camps in, in, yeah. in Dragon's Dogma 1. Which, to be fair, it's like... <laughs> they literally won't complain. Yeah. Is that just Vitalis? This is just Vitalis. Uh, he's Gregory, chat. And you get you get fucking roasted. Oh yeah, I I, I love it. Just fucking melts your character's face. Uh, Big push bench for for dollar. Lolly says nigga, chat. I bet you like in your ass fucked by uh, ass fisted by black guys wearing in uh, red and blue, throwing up gang signs saying take this chocolate fist and you white nationalist boy pussy fucking faggot. <laughs> Playing on PS5, rent out my guts pun. I need I need to see criticism of their performance so I know what to fix. Uh, I don't have their pawn ID, so just use my PSN, which is the same as my YouTube. Uh, fucking, uh, your pawn will do what you do. So yeah, the main thing if you have a, a guts pawn, you're gonna make him a warrior. Uh, you need to get to like vocation level five with you, both yourself and your pawn. Uh, and you need to get the the ability that lets you change your chain your attack swings together and yeah. teach your pawn how to do that. That's your number one thing. Teach your pawn how to do that consistently. It's very important. Anything new Berserk chapters coming out? All they say is before the Elden Ring DLC. That's a lie and you know it. So becoming a Dark Arisen is just DD's equivalent to becoming a branded one? Well, 
Dark Arisen's a different concept. Yeah, the Dark Arisen's a different concept because the the uh, Arisen and um, the DLC was Sir, literally just a normal Arisen, and he was corrupted by the island. Yeah. Uh, and it's it, the idea is that uh, if you are an arisen and you get corrupted, you can turn into like a pseudo Gregory since you are tied to Gregory. So after this game comes from FromSoft fans, no, no, it's just no. That was just one specific guy. Yeah. Or like one specific incident, I guess. Yeah. It it's more the fact that like uh, people let themselves get caught up in, in uh, fucking cold posting, dude. Yeah. Well, it. But it, it basically did the exact same shit that Cyberpunk did, where people hyped themselves up to no end. Everyone was super excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. And then something went wrong with the launch, and everyone just immediately turned on it and started looking for any reason to hate it. Listen, uh, with, with Cyberpunk, it was the, the pre-release hate campaigns by the trannies. Yeah. As soon as they saw the, the dick poster, they literally congregated on Reset Era and yeah. started talking about how they were going yeah. to, to uh, mass flag the fucking game at release. Yeah. And with this one, it's just the cold posters. Yeah. Because they're spreading blatant lies. Well, you know, as I say, it, it's, it's the hype train kind of cycle where something goes wrong with the launch, and therefore, no, it sucks. If you like it, you're just a grifter. You are just doing this and that. Is that just a main, like, eh, it wasn't perfect, but they're going to fix it. Mm -hmm. Also, I do like the dialogue options. I I yeah, I do like them. Yeah. Is this Fear Hunter? No, uh, Fear Hunter's a pawn. No, Orica is just an actual character in the story. Yeah. I was in the Candace Owen rabbi debate about anti-Semitism and led to everyone saying Christ is king. I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit. I, don't, I could give less of a fuck about religion chat. I don't give a fuck about Candace Owen. I don't give a fuck about Daily Wire. They're the same fucking people. What's Free Sedera? Uh, don't worry about it, chat. You don't want to go there. Hive of pedophiles. Not even, not even a joke. Literally a hive of pedophiles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same thing as Cyberpunk 2077 or Resident Evil 8 Village. Village was even weirder. Because, like, that game came out and it was fine. Yeah. Is it fine for you? No. Pedro doesn't want you. Go home. You don't understand. I must free Mexico from the evil dragon. I will free my homeland. Gregory must... will not get away. I must save my brother. No, I must save my hermano, El Penguin. Chris is King Kong, yeah! Was anyway, it was just a normal game. 277 was broken as fuck. Cyberpunk yeah. at least had more legitimacy behind it because the, the launch was lo the launch yeah. was rough. They but people released have been it trying on consoles to... they just shouldn't have released it on. Yeah, but people have been trying to recapture that for fucking years. Uh, they were trying to do the same shit with Resident Evil 4 Remake, and that game was fine. Uh, they've been trying to do it with Resident Evil 8 Village. That game was fine. They tried doing it with this, and this game is fine. Mm -hmm. Like, once again, it's a thing where... It can't just be, oh, there are some problems with it. It has to be worst game ever made. It sucks. No one likes it. My carnal Danny. <laughs> yeah. So the Europe is essentially Don Quixote mixed with El Cid. <laughs> Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open... Uh, by the way, Dragon's Dog with two PC players, if you're... Uh... Having severe chug issues, nuke these settings until you see playable results, ray tracing, rendering mode, interlaced, shadow quality, resource and sensitive effects. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you're having issues, obviously turn off ray tracing. Yeah. Uh, the fact that's not in the console version that release is fucking insane to me. Be fair, RE4 make needs to integrate the paint better. I genuinely just do not yeah. give a fuck about the paint anymore. Your options are your options are either paint or Ashley functions as a pawn, as the pawn's doing this, and they fucking point out every ladder in the goddamn game. Yeah. Because uh, the game devs are not going to let you let you get away with just not having Someone something marked in yeah. some fashion. In this game, the pawns point out everything for you. Uh, in, in other games, it's yellow paint or something yeah. the equivalent of. I mean, the, the hilarious part was fucking F, uh, FF7 Rebirth. Mm -hmm. People are talking about the yellow paint and that. Then you actually play the game and, like, it's literally just on very specific ledges in very specific areas. Yeah, because Everything it's, else is the fucking mini-map. I was going to say, yeah, because it's just the stuff you can climb. Yeah. Sir, let me clear your yawn. No. Still, uh, very confusing to see how bad the PC port DD2, uh, uh, RE Engine and Capcom games have been usually great. Yeah, well, last day, it's a specific issue with this I, where it's I, I tied need to, to I need to clarify, do. I need to clarify. The performance is only bad in cities. Yeah. Uh, that's something that hasn't been getting point, pointed out. The performance outside of cities is great even on, like, mid-tier systems. Yeah. And as soon as you get into cities, because, uh, NPCs and the like are tied to your CPU... Most people aren't upgrading their CPU as much as they are the GPU or, like, any other part of their fucking computer. Yeah. So, it's you get into cities, and that's when you experience the stuttering, because it's it's loading all the NPCs in. Yeah. 
uh, a crowd density slider type thing would have also helped fix that too. Yeah, uh, that's why consoles have been able to kind of mitigate that because you just have NPCs pop in, kind of like the first mm -hmm. game did. I mean, it's 100% the thing with the NPCs being a problem, and everyone knows that's a problem. Capcom outright said that was the problem. Yeah. So that's probably going to be one of the first things they actually fix. You can combine materials, or you can just go buy it. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to appease the little girl, because her granddad gives you a steep discount. Yeah, but I think we have to... Yeah, we have to enter Burnworth first. No, uh, no, no. You just go uh, just go in that shop right there. Well, I'm talking about for her quest. You have to go to Burnworth. No, you just go into that shop right there. Hers is to deliver the fruit of Riverant. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I was trying to remember hers. It's like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, do Arisen else. Ladders. Oh, I'll fucking kill you. You want to see if he has anything better? Uh, Buy the fruit first, but yes. It's literally just all the same shit that was... Uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yay. Some fruit, do come again. You ought not tarry. What we uh, do they just think players are mentally retarded? I'm pretty sure people can figure oh, shit out if you give them a room and actually let them think for themselves. The thing is, uh, thousands, thousands upon thousands of dollars have been spent on proving you wrong. I don't know who... They, they get the normal person. They get the average person to fucking playtest games. Like, literal normal people. They have the, the QA testers are, are slightly different. Uh, those are people who have been testing games for a living. And they're, they're to find, like, holes in geometry and stuff like that. When it comes to, like just normal where to go you just have a normal player come in there and, and test the game and if they don't find it within a certain amount of time someone goes make it easier damn it they didn't kill him he's a strong man he really he's is strong. it must be all those fighting games those fight sticks man yeah, they really yeah, buff yeah. up your, your, your stamina that took out half my health <laughs> eat shit fuckwad there's a superior romance option dd2 i don't i don't have any fucking clue I'm not far enough in the game for that. I was gonna say I haven't found anybody I give a shit about in, in DD2. Goodbye. Whee! Get brined, idiot. Get brined. Get brined. Get brined. Yeah. Have you seen the the Black River Water yet? It's black as sin. No. Nope. Uh, I've seen the Fortanga plays videos uh, covering Dragon's Dogma 2 rough launch and PC uh, poor PC porting. No. I'm I'm avoiding all shit like that because I say that. When you have someone like Jim Sterling outright repeating shit that is proven false, I don't trust fucking anybody at the moment. Right. I, I just do not trust anybody. You call it like, oh, well, you don't want to hear things. Like, no, I don't know who actually is going to have their fucking shit right. Yeah, because uh, so far everyone's just outright been parroting lies for no reason. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing. What's your thoughts on steak? If you have steak sauce, you're fucking <laughs> Any cool glitches you discovered yet, Shota? Uh, no, um... I, I know the two big things from Dragon's Dogma 1 still work. Uh, the pawn duplication stuff still works. Um, and uh, get, getting any enemy in the brine still insta-kills them, including dragons. Yeah. So. Only matter of time for Nexus mod bans people trying to mod out the hand-holding because it disagrees with them. <laughs> I, for one, say if they're too retarded to play games, then fuck them, get smarter. Uh, chat, they make up more of the gaming market than you do. This game explicitly does that, and people are bitching. Yeah. This game explicitly gives you, like, one warning about the Dragon's Plague, and people are bitching about the Dragon's Plague. They've bitched about every single, every single unhandholdy thing in this game. How yeah. many times do game, do, do game devs need to be proven right before you dumbass gamers <laughs> understand they know best? <laughs> They always know best. <laughs> buy, buy the microtransactions. Buy the fucking microtransactions. <laughs> Most critical apparently crashed all playing on PC. That's not that surprising. Uh, if if performance gets bad enough, I can definitely see it lead into like. Crashes. Well, like I, I've been running mine. Mine's getting a uh, like a hundred frames, a hundred twenty frames per second on on my fucking laptop. So like I, I reach a point where I'm like. Do YouTubers, like, people who, who do YouTube for a living and play video games for a living not keep their fucking rigs up to date? Because that laptop's already, like, half a year old. Yeah, probably not. And when I bought it, it was already, like, a already like a full year old. Uh, I also think the gaming market's too big already, too. Less people playing the game is better. Yeah, that is true. Alright, need that. Chad, you've never been in a marketing room before. You don't want to fuck with those people. Don't ever say that. Uh, you know what? I don't want shield bash... You need true deflect. Apparently, it's really hard to get playtesters to look up. It is fucking impossible to get uh, playtesters yeah. to look up. That, that's why your fucking pawns point out every fucking ladder in the game, chat. Because it's impossible to get people to look up. 
Majority of gamers are really dumb. Ask people to play uh, test my pulse, and I had to nerf them like ten times. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. I was just wondering. Uh, that's all. But I get why you're avoiding about it, uh, like the plague, especially with people trying to make Dragon's Dogma two the next twenty seven seven watch. That's what I mean. Like that 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 is the shit that made me very cynical about it. Just the the fact that people were explicitly going, no no no, it's the worst launch ever. It's so bad. Capcom fallen, and it's like it's fine. Yeah. It's not great. It's fine. It's peak. Uh, good for you, Shota. Chat, Moist Critical is a fucking millionaire. Yeah. If he's not putting in the bare minimum worth of effort for his goddamn rig that he does his ed video editing on, among other shit, fuck him. Fuck him. Uh, I've heard about the PDA controversy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently he's the Black Epstein. That is yeah, unironically yeah. the phrase they're using. Yeah. It's like, oh boy. I just don't feel like spending more money on PC parts right now. Uh, second curved monitor is fucking expensive. Curved monitors are a fucking scam, man. Yeah, they are. Uh, every YouTuber rants about Dragon's Dogma 2 is wrong. There's crazy one is defending it. Uh, is one spurking out for people like that like it? You got fighting cowboy crying like a baby. Oh well, it's because people were were fucking lying, the, lying about crying, uh, not crying, uh, fighting cowboy. Like, uh, they're a they called him a shill, of course, because he he like was one of the people that got the game early to review. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, he's literally just been going around being like, yeah, what you're saying is literally lies. Yeah. And like, yeah, I'm going to point that out. Fuck you. I'm not going to let you fucking lie. Yeah. Last well, day, the Jim Sterling thing, thankfully, is having people go like, okay, wait a minute, what's being said here? Because I mean, it's like, yeah, when, when, you're, when you're saying shit's being sold as microtransactions, that's not being sold. That's a fucking big deal. Yeah. Uh, people have very strong feelings about microtransactions for very good reasons. Mm -hmm. So if they hear, oh yeah, this game will nickel and dime you, people are trying to compare it to like Mortal Kombat selling fatalities. Yeah, Mortal Kombat selling fatalities. Uh, people were comparing it to Korean MMOs, and I was like, do you know what the fuck you're talking about? Have you ever even seen a Korean MMO in your life? And the answer is no. Yeah, yeah the answer is no. Do you Have you heard of Maple Story? <laughs> no? Good. Your life's better for it. Just happened to go on a trip to the Caribbean hours for the feds raid his house. What a coincidence. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. On PC, you can get Dragon's Dog with two for, legit for $57. Yeah, Green Man Gaming has it on a good yeah. sale. Uh, Humble Bundle, if you're if you're if you got the Humble Bundle classic uh, subscription like I do, you just outright get 20 bucks off. On top of like anything else you got. So what's the look at my three 32-inch curved monitors? Chat, I think curved monitors are dog shit. And on top of that, they don't offer any advantage. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them. They look weird. Also, no more than two monitors, chat. Three monitor people are, are not people. They are not people, chat. Uh, Schroger, five bucks. All right, bring out the tester. Cut to the play test. Uh, team Willing and DSP <laughs> like Hannibal Lecter. Why am I toxic? Why am I toxic? <laughs> I, I really wish I like I wish people recorded playtesters because I, I would like to see Valve's playtesters. Yeah. Like the people that had them like completely redo that one area in, in Half Life because they kept going around in circles for like yeah. ten rotations and they're like, okay, we need to you you, know, you can't can't backtrack. Nope, can't yeah. have that. Uh, mentioned Dragon's Dogma. I'm curious about the combat. Is it any good? How does it feel? It is very, very impactful combat. It's a, it's a continuation of the first game's combat. There's yeah. slight improvements. Not as many improvements as I would like there to be. Uh, and some of the classes got reworked in ways that I don't like. But overall, I think it's a, a market improvement over the first game. Yeah. Uh, is there a lock on in the game? No. Soft lock on or hard lock? There is a soft lock on where the game will lock on for you. And I have not had any issues with it. It's very contextual. It's yeah. for, like, really big enemies. Small enemies like goblins, no. Yeah. Mages have lock-on... Uh, it's generally hard lock-on when you're casting a spell. Uh, and, like, uh, whenever you quick-fire abilities, it will always be soft lock-on to, like, whatever enemies yeah. nearest than you, nearest to you. The only uh, one I consider disastrous launch in games like Gotham Knights or Marvel Avengers. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's different. Uh, oh, yeah. Gotham Knights, Avengers, Suicide Squad... You know, games like that where yeah. they had rough fucking launches where people couldn't even play the goddamn game. Yeah. Well, Suicide Squad, the game beat itself for you. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's the kind of shit that you consider a bad launch. This one, the performance isn't great, but there's not anyone really complaining about shit like that. Yeah, fuck off. There, there's not anyone really complaining about shit like that. I mean, you have some bugs here and there. But it's mainly stuff like, oh yeah, it crashes sometimes, which at that yeah. point it's like, name one game that doesn't the, fucking crash the anymore. The problems are are all tied to like performance, oh, and yeah. the fact that uh, people with mid tier systems have poor performance, and likely where they're crashing, they're probably crashing in cities. You know, they're probably yeah. loading in whether they they're teleporting or waking up from from sleeping or something yeah. like that in the game, and it's loading in all the NPCs and they're crashing. 
So once they figure that out, I think the game will be good because I haven't yeah. had any like glitches or anything like that happen. Yeah, I haven't had the game crash once uh, while I'm on console. Uh, it, I had it crash once for me on PC, and that was that that was due to me. That was because I downloaded the the RE framework DLL file, uh, which caused the game to crash. Yeah. Uh, so I I had I just deleted that. Uh, there's a lot of people complaining about CPU usage problem. It's just a bit of a feedback loop exasperated by popular streamers hitting the main city and stopping to rage farm for a week. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that's what I mean. The People are going out of their way to clout chase for this, and it's in a way to where people are... It's kind of having a, a opposite reaction. People are going, no, you're fucking lying. Like, you, you are lying that this is a problem because I can boot up the game right now and tell you you're wrong. Yes. You know, that kind of shit. Where performance issues, like, it, it's hard to really even define a performance issue because everyone's rigs are different. People were complaining about Helldivers 2 having performance issues. I went through the game silky smooth. Uh, I was going to say, uh, yeah, Helldivers is, performs a fucking yeah. peak, peak beautiful. Uh, the problem the problem really, I think, stems from this. Yeah. Um, the, the, the average consumer's PC is not where the game the gaming market wants to move. I think the average PC probably isn't even up to, like, modern console standards, no. if I'm being honest. No, as much as everyone uh, brags about PC Master Race. I, yeah, I think the average one probably isn't, like, even up to, like, the PS5 or Xbox standards. Yeah. But the, P, uh, the gaming market wants to move past that. They want to yeah. keep moving forward. Uh, and they're probably not going to stop. Because we, we've no, seen it with every AAA launch. Uh, they release and they work good on what they would consider modern I mean, systems, uh, and then they have to go and patch, like back patch it, and, and add support for older yeah. shit. And I think that's I think that's what we're just seeing is it's it's the market's trying to move past the consumer base. Well, we we see it we we see it with like older games now where older games are getting more and more rickety because like technology is being pushed so far ahead without anyone really thinking about like. All right, but how how is this gonna work on like shit that's not top of the line? Please you know? never tie your physics to the FPS chat. I'm fucking begging you. Yeah, never do. If, that. if you're a game developer, please that, that helps future proof your fucking game. Uh, that's why I'm not big into PC. I know PC is considered the best, but it's hard to get the right part. And pre-build is a can of worms as well. Oh yeah, I mean if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. But that's the big thing if you know what you're doing, and yeah. a lot of people don't. They they go into it not having any clue what they're doing. Oh yeah. Uh, Rare's video was an alarm bell for what's going on in regards to DD2, especially since he said he refunded it before two hours. Oh yeah, well, well, Remy was uh, maybe one of the first people to outright lie about the game because his yeah. his initial post on Twitter was just literally nothing but lies. Yeah, like everything he said was just a fucking just outright lie. Yeah. Well, it's like okay, think about it like this: we've been we've been streaming what about uh, hour or so of the game. Mm -hmm. So if he if he refunded it. Before the two-hour mark, he didn't even get to the main city. He didn't even get to the main fucking city, Vernworth. Oh, yeah. PC is an expensive habit. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, gaming gaming is a luxury. It, it is a luxury, that's for sure. Uh, it's very much a CPU, CPU focused problem. Uh, this much uh, has been researched rather thoroughly by benchmarkers uh, who aren't just sensationalists. It's a problem born of the RE engine. Uh, it wasn't built with this kind of game in mind, and DD's AI being uh, as advanced as it is, what's more, uh, nuking it. Uh, they didn't really future proof it before scaling it up to the massive populated world. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I've been saying from the beginning. It's literally a CPU issue. Yeah. And that's going to be what they're working on, and they'll eventually uh, have it all fixed. Mm hmm. Uh, gaming rigs have always confused me on people don't seem uh, don't seem proof, uh, future proof. To, uh, to be fair, mine's about seven six years old and it still runs most things. But mine's a weird freaking Franken rig. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I think most like most yeah. consumer built PCs are are Franken yeah. rigs. Uh, the thing is, you'll get guys that go on endlessly about the GPU. Do not understand that unlike most modern games, TD2 is a CPU chugger, not a GPU chugger. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, also, chat. Um, I, I understand most people don't know this. Uh, whenever you boot up Dragon's Dogma 2, in order to help with CPU usage, open your task manager and set it CPU usage to high priority. Yeah. And, like, uh, if you are having issues, that should help alleviate a bunch of it. Yeah. Ooh, I need that. Yay. Golden Troll bills are very helpful. Yes. I love them. I love them, dude. I, I've got, like, 20 of them. I haven't, I haven't used any of them. They're just sitting in my inventory. I keep thinking eventually you're going to find a way to, like, combine them together and get bigger and bigger boosts. No. Uh, also, they, they brought back the um, the counterfeit. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I saw that you, guy. You can't, uh, you can't counterfeit certain items. So you can't counterfeit beetles. Yeah, I kind of Or you, can't, you can counterfeit them, but it doesn't do anything. I kind of expected that, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Yep. We got murked. But does the game have Denuvo or is that a lie? That's true. On PC it does. I said, yeah, on, on PC it has Denuvo. Um, it has not affected the gameplay. 
Uh, I will say that the, the issues you're seeing is not a Denuvo issue. It is like a just an actual game thing. Um, all the stuff people are saying about the game, like locking their Steam accounts or whatever the fuck, all that's lies. Just yeah. blatant fucking made up shit because it's been thoroughly tested. Yeah. Uh, that's something to where, if you really think about it, that doesn't even make sense in the first place. Tons of people delete their save files manually. Yeah, yeah. people delete their save files all the time. And, like, it's not just this game. Like, other RE Engine games, other Capcom games with Denuvo, yeah. people delete their saves all the time. There's no that your stamina will go up slower or faster, depending on if you're going up or downhill. Yep, you also move slower and faster, too. Yeah. Which, that's easier to tell. That and harpies in this game are are a bit more of a pain in the ass than they were in the original. They, There's they a stronger version of harpies later on. Oh boy! What the, instead of picking you up, they ram into you, and they knock you unconscious. Oh boy! And that's like a fucking eight second debuff, and they just keep ramming. So I, I ran into a situation where I would get up, get immediately knocked unconscious, and they just kept doing that, and I was like, I'm fucking begging you, put me out of my fucking misery. I think we can all agree that while the performance is kind of rubbish in MTX, debatable, it should have waited to come out in better shape. Not even waited. Uh, I was going to say, uh, I, I really don't think the, the stuff that we're seeing with issues, I don't think it's something that they would have fixed before it came out. I think it's something they had to see how it would uh, would affect the, the market Yeah. to know what they need to fix. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I really don't like is console. You can't turn off HDR and you can't turn off motion blur. Stuff like that yeah. where I'm kind of like, why? Oh, yeah. You can't turn Yeah, you can't turn off uh, fucking next screen space reflections. Fucking, yeah. whatchamacallit, ray tracing. Yeah, it's like, that. that's dumb. Yeah. Uh, you know, that kind of shit. It's like, no, let me let me turn that off. I, I'll always pick the performance mode over the, the graphics yeah, mode. Yeah, for every sure. Time. For sure. Uh, so it's a thing where, I, I think it's a thing where there there is some hiccup at launch because people are kind of getting hit with a this generation's version of the rig tester where it's like oh shit we now actually have to worry about this now mm -hmm. and everyone's trying to scramble to find an explanation for it when the truth is just how it is i guess it's like yeah uh motion blur is grody how do people uh, how do people like it i don't know dude i, I hate it I, I hate motion blur uh i don't like ray tracing 99 percent of the time uh, lens flares dog shit i'm not watching a fucking movie i'm playing a game get it the fuck out of my games yeah it's awful uh-uh uh, what is it? Specular mapping. Don't like it 90% of the time. I don't like my fucking characters having, like, gloss on their skin. Uh, I always have an Archer Punch just for Harpies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Of course, Fags lied about the game. The new grifting fuckwads, like, they all flash and quarter and go hard with 10 videos. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Say that, that's kind of why I don't like the, the cold posting phenomenon where people are just posting endless negativity about shit. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the time... People will just flat out make up details to to keep part of the train. You know? it's, it's the new age of like the the playground kids talking. Yeah, uh, and and it's something where they they know that people won't touch the game. Some people even brag about it. It's like, well, why would I play that? It's like, because you don't know if they're telling the truth. Yeah, you know, it's like it, at the very least, we fucking played Suicide Squad. You know, there are ways to get it. You know, without money, there's ways to look at the gameplay and all that shit. Like. You know, there's there's ways to like look it up at least on YouTube to see a, an unfiltered playthrough that's not edited to see if it looks like what they're talking about. You know that kind of shit. Well, like uh, the moment you start making shit up, literally everything that comes out of your mouth forevermore is completely disregarded. Yeah, because how, how I, do I don't they trust give a you? fuck what you ever say. Uh, Jim Sterling, not that he had much of it to begin with, has lost 100% of all credit he had as a fucking uh, game reviewer. Yeah. Everything he says from now on is a fucking lie coming out of his mouth, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Because how are people supposed to trust you? It's like, you did it before, why would, why would we think you're not going to do it again? Yeah. I don't want some motion blurs, okay, uh, but given the option, I still turn it off. I turn off most uh, post-processing effects. I just don't like them. They, they just look ugly. They get in the way. I think they look ugly. Uh, I really do. Uh, I do really wish the, the games had good uh, good enough graphics. No need to make uh, make it look awesome. Just make sure it's playable for real. Oh, yeah. Like, this game's way prettier than it, it really needs to be. Yeah. Uh, I, I, if they just made Dragon's Dogma 1 again, in, oh, yeah. in terms of graphics, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> I played the first Dragon's Dogma at 30 frames, I don't give a shit. Uh, baffling thing is all the other games running in this engine give you the option to toggle visual settings resolution on consoles. Why the hell didn't they do it this time around? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I, I think it was a matter of whenever they started talking about specs for consoles, they got pushback from fans, so yeah. they, I think they might have overcorrected. Because when people, people were like, oh, it's gonna be locked at 30 frames, because... You're not getting more than 30 frames in this fucking game. Yeah. Uh, 
the pushback they they got were was oh well that's dog shit I'm not gonna buy it uh, it's not running at, it's not running at sixty justifiably I, I wish every yeah. game ran at sixty at least um, so I think they overcorrected and said okay we're not gonna lock your frame rate at thirty it's gonna be an unlocked variable frame yeah. rate there you go uh, which has only exacerbated issues oh yeah. Uh, Devil's Advocate for this game's performance issues. Why is it considered acceptable? I'm like when Bethesda does it. Because they outright named what the problem is and they're gonna fix it. Yeah. Uh, Bethesda aggressively never does that shit. Yeah. Uh, they are well aware performance issues are there, but they rely on modders to fix it for them. Uh, Capcom, within the weekend this game came out, flat out said, yeah, it's an issue with the CPU, we're gonna have it fixed. Yeah. What the fuck is Ishola doing? Uh, she gets stuck sometimes. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, that's also negating the fact that, like, look at the fucking Starfield hype train that came out. Yeah. Whenever the game was coming out. And people, people uh, for months on end, defended the, the performance of that game whenever it first came out. You had to, you had to wait, like, two months post-release before people, like, uh, uh, Seth, like, were able to put out their fucking videos and be like, this game's a fucking disappointment. It's and a then joke. people were like, oh, yeah, it is pretty bad. It's yeah. Like, oh, my God. This is dark. Do we need to turn up the, the brightness check? I think they're talking about in concept because this game is very bright. It's very I was gonna, I was bright. Say, I feel, anyone I saying like this the game's is dark bright enough? If, if, if anyone saying this game is dark is like, guys, you might want to fix your your computer. Mm -hmm. uh, Fox Cloud for ten dollars. Uh, this could be paranoia, but if every game came with a playable demo before you paid money, what are the odds that devs would try and pull some tactic of hiding parts of the game that aren't in the demo? Uh, uh, they 100 percent did that back in the day. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this uh, if this game had a demo or not, but um, oh god damn it, uh, Stellar Blade's getting a demo coming out. Yeah, it had a demo that came out, and they took it off of, out of people's libraries for yeah. some reasons. There we go. Stabbed up his eye, so you know, he's pretty much almost dead. Uh, Starfield's fucking dead, by the way. I've not heard anyone bring that game up ever again since Seth's video. Yeah, because that state it was a bad fucking game. It was really funny to see like the YouTubers that were like getting ready to hedge their bets and make their like make their new their new YouTube career, fucking uh, 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 the, the Starfield, and then watch that watch that light fade from their yeah. fucking eyes and watch them have to drift to another game. That was funny. The, the funniest part was seeing Mark Kern just from the fucking title screen go. <laughs> this game's gonna be ass. Yeah. And everyone jumped down I, his I throat. Felt, I felt I felt bad because like I. I knew what he was trying to say, and I agreed with him entirely because he's yeah. like, he's like, this fucking title screen soulless, and people are like, oh, well, a title screen is just a, a, a utility, and it's like, I mean, sure, but there's a difference between uh, fucking essentially black background with an an ad banner on there, yeah. and like the fucking background that you have for Dragon's Dogma or Baldur's Gate three, where there's shit going on in the background and showing yeah. off the game world. At least somebody gave a shit. Yeah, you can tell it from the moment you boot the game up. Uh, so that's his video, then a patrician dropped his massive video on it that killed it. Well, yeah, I mean, not one video actually killed the game. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think well, what really killed it was the fact that people got their hands on it, they played it, and they were underwhelmed. It was fucking boring. And it was literally Fallout 4 in space. Yeah, there's no reason, even with mods, there's no reason to, like, talk to talk about it on, on you know, on YouTube. There's no reason to, to talk about it with your friends. It was just yes. a fucking game. Yeah. Another popcorn thing to, to fill the vein. It's not something you give a shit about talking about. You just play it. Yeah. Uh, saw like two Starfield lore videos and it all died. No one ever talks about it. <laughs> uh, I think it's just dark on your stream, TBH. It looks fine on the little video yeah, playback. It looks, it looks fine. Let me let me take a look at ours. It's like... Yeah. No, it looks fine. Yeah. You might want to fix the brightness on your computer. It could be it could be an issue with your monitor. I say... Well, that's not going to affect what the... the the stream seeing. No, I'm talking about him. Oh, okay. Because, like, no, we... This is fine. Mm -hmm. I think maybe just Delta would keep the small details like people being able to punch enemies in the liver uh, and it's a knockout. Uh, yeah. And it's... So far, it's keeping everything lovely. There's a bomb next to you. At least take off the fucking sword and hit it. <laughs> I did this first time, too, and I loved it. <laughs> well, I spent, like, almost the entire first st stream not knowing that, like... Because I was expecting the throw mechanic to be the same way it was in the first one. You had that yeah. tiny-ass arc. Yeah. And not be the entire, like, whole ass you're, throw, you're hauling a grenade type thing. Uh, so, it was funny to figure that out. Because I think I also punched it my first playthrough. Uh, FF16 also had crazy motion blur by default at first. Yeah, yeah it was really bad. Yeah. Uh, it had crazy motion blur. Uh, 16 settings-wise, 16 had a lot of stuff I didn't like. But you can't really fuck, fucking change that. Uh, I'll make my own way. But for your own sake. Might as well accompany them, though you can fucking fast travel. 
travel by ox cart might be worth Yeah, but at the same time, there's stuff on the road I want to pick up, and we can grind up a little bit. There's nothing to pick up. There's awful amounts of motion blur. Any amount of motion blur, chat. Okay. Because, yeah, see? We got a Ma's camping camp. You know? Uh, Starfield was uh, supposed to have DLC. Oh, you, you have to sit on it to, in order to do the fast forward shit. Uh, it doesn't automatically teleport you to it. Uh, Starfield is supposed to have DLC launching by now. They're just, uh, they've just now gotten to quality of life fixes. Truly yeah. Todd like. Ugh. Shark people bought Fallout 76. Seemed like a bad idea. Fallout 4 can maybe get, uh, despite the more you get into the story sucks balls. Mm -hmm. People were legitimately hyped for Fallout 4 because all people had for frame of reference was fucking uh, Fallout 3. Yeah, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. Uh, people people did legitimately expect Fallout 4 to just be a, a prettier version of New Vegas, which yeah. uh, those poor, poor people. Yeah. Apocalypse Forever for $5. I've been hearing criticism regarding enemy variety. Uh, is it as big of an issue as the subreddit is making it out to be? Oh, no. There's tons of enemies in this. Uh, yeah. There were tons of enemies in the first game, and a lot of those enemies are back. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, most of those enemies are back. Uh, there's a couple variations of each enemy type uh, of the, yeah. of the like, the regular enemies, and then you have the, the giant enemies. Yeah. Uh, be aware that a lot of people posting are still in the early hours of the game where no shit, there's not going to be a lot of enemies. It's like... You're, you're in the early areas of the game. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's there's enemies that come under very specific conditions. There's enemies who come under specific quests. Uh, I was walking around outside of the checkpoint town. Yes. And out of nowhere, in the middle of the graveyard, during the middle of the night, spawned a fucking lich. Yeah. And it was a it was a mini boss fight to fight a lich, and it was fucking great. Oh, and like my my white trash waifu Kate chat. Don't do it to yourself. Yeah, see, this is kind of what I wanted to, to walk on our own, because you can just kill all these goblins, and they are boatloads mm -hmm. of XP. We're, we're still very early, so our shit's not very good, but yeah. it is what it is. The Rattlers are fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, all the new enemy types are, are cool. Uh, the, the only, like, true issue I have with the, the enemy types is... Um, far too many enemies have a, a lunge attack that just fucking flies past the player. Yeah. And I ran whenever I streamed it. I, I ran into that being a problem because the like small enemies, big enemies didn't matter. They just fucking launched past the player. Uh, and if you get stuck in a cave and the game auto saves while you're there, uh, every time you load the auto save, you lose your max health. I'm sorry. Every time you get hit, you lose max health, but that subsists through auto saves. So I ran into a a, 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 a issue where I had the minimum health the game would allow, which is like a twelfth of your max health. Yeah. Uh, so I had like 141 HP, which is enough for literally anything in the game to, to one-shot you. And enemies were flying past me, so I couldn't I could not get past where I needed to be. Uh, there were so many goblins. Yeah. Uh, so that causes issues. Uh, I was a little misinformed about Dragon's Dogma 2 being spread anyways. Uh, it's just trying to uh, farm that new... Oh. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you got another healing oh. item. Uh, no, that doesn't heal, that doesn't where heal. Is it, where is it? Uh, fuck. Can you... Oh, yep, we don't have it. Yep, we're fucked. Okay. You're dead. It be, how would be... Yep. Yeah, I said we're very squishy early game. Yeah. So you probably, weren't, you probably weren't supposed to be there. Yeah, but that doesn't fix the problem of what was going on. Uh, like, no matter where you are in the game, you can't outrun enemies or, or anything like that. Like, uh, the base speed of an enemy's lunge outranges even, like, the tallest character's movement speed. Uh, so you can't get around that aspect of it. Uh, man, Dragon's Dogma 2, I feel, is a cyberpunk game that needs some ironing out. It's really not. Like, as no. stated, a lot of the problems people have been complaining about are actually just being proven as lies. Yeah. Like, it's not even a thing of, like, oh, it's all just lies. It's all lies. This game's perfect. It's like, no. People are actually being proven in threads to be lying. Yeah. Uh, Jim Sterling is explicitly being called out right now for fucking lying. Uh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Good stuff. I fucking love it. It's so good. So, so it's this thing of like, I'm not saying drop $70 and get the game and see for yourself, but do you understand that a lot of the shit people are complaining about is actually being proven as being uh, not true. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the cash shop, the biggest thing that people are freaking out about is explicitly one of them, where, where it's like, hey, that thing you're, you're telling me uh, is, is like such a big problem with the game, that's, yeah, that's not fucking true. You might as well just write up the games entirely, but there's a lot of issues with their games. Uh, yeah, fucking, um, their last two games have just been kind of dog shit. Uh, oh, you're not gonna make it out of this one, dog. 
Did you ever actually give that kid her item? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what? Uh, game gets a bit too easy later on. I wish there were some more difficulty options. Yeah, and apparently New Game Plus uh, doesn't actually increase the level of enemies. So you go into New Game Plus and you actually get new... Uh, you actually get extra okay. stuff in New Game Plus to be stronger, but they don't increase the difficulty of enemies. So that's a problem. Okay, game. I learned my lesson, so not just yet with these guys. I'll, I'll wait till we get to Vernworth, then I'll come back and kick ass. I think Dragon's Dogma's two biggest issue will, uh, in the long run will be, do you like Dragon's Dogma 1? Because it's more Dragon's Dogma 1. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which some people are perfectly happy with that, so it's like... That's yeah. all I want. Yeah. They can't fuck up a, a perfect formula. No joke. Like, no fucking joke. That is word for word what fucking Art Bro typed in the group chat about Dragon's Dogma 2. Mm -hmm. It is everything I wanted in a sequel. It's just more Dragon's Dogma. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. Uh, we reached the point where defending microtransaction gamers deserve the industry they have is what uh, I was told immediately when I said people were lying about them. Yeah, yeah it's like th that's the problem. All the all the emotional blackmail shit, and if you defend this, you are you are a bad person. Mm -hmm. It's like no, look past that shit and look at what the game is actually doing. Yeah, the people trying to emotionally manipulate you are outright lying to your fucking face. Yeah, so you fucking call them out. It's like. No, I I'm tending my fucking garden. I'm ripping the weed out. You're a lying sack of fucking shit. Every yeah. word out of your mouth means nothing to me. You are actively making the argument harder because next time when something actually egregious does fucking happen, people are going to go, oh, is this another case where people are lying about the cash shop? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, 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 bad sequel because it doesn't have marketable gimmick. No, it's a bad sequel because I can't do my fucking barrel clips, motherfucker. <laughs> they took the roll. The roll's not in the game. You can't combat roll no more. <laughs> It is actually pretty important. If you play a DD sequel, of course you expect more of it. Yeah, it's like, it's not a criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, not a fan of uh, DD1, kind of wanted some more meat to it, especially two, if 2 is going to launch at 70 bucks. You disgust me, chat. You should, you should have been fucking happy with Dragon's Dogma 1, you goddamn ingrate. I mean, yeah, if you didn't like the first game, then yeah, no shit. The yeah. se sequel is just more of the first game, so it's like, yeah, you're probably not going to like it that much. Yeah. Yeet. I do love that, yeah. yeah that Wait a minute, no, that was Maximilian. Fuck you! Yeet! Get that the fuck favorite. away! That was my favorite. Bad sequel, no elf feet. Chat, there are in fact elf feet. There is in fact elf feet. You have the you have the, the human faction, the beast the beast friend faction, you have the elf faction, and then you have the dwarves. I fucking hate the, the I fucking hate the elves so much. <laughs> Go to the mystic forest, dumbass. If you if you a broke boy, just say so, chat. I am a broke boy. I am a broke boy. I keep throwing Max off a cliff because goddamn fucking Final Fantasy takes. He's got terrible Final Fantasy takes, chat. I had to follow so many uh, people on Twitter since they spurred out and lied about DD2. Yeah, like yeah. we we kept saying over and over again that like, hey, call posters actively just try to lie and make you miserable and 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 bullshit their way to clout. And only now are people kind of going, huh? Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm not saying we're the one making people aware of that, like, no. But it's just the fact that you have a case like this where it is extremely obvious that what what's being presented to people is not what's going on. Yeah. Uh, should we know that even though Dragon's Dogma 2 itself is pretty good, the performance issues are kind of, are kind of unacceptable. Now, I have to, I have to, uh, I have to turn it and say, uh, the performance issues are, uh, a PC exclusive thing. Yeah. Uh, so... Two thirds of the consumer base, being being generous, two thirds of the consumer base are, like aren't experiencing those issues at all. Yeah. Uh, and then on top of that, the the extent of the issues uh, will hopefully be alleviated soon. Yeah, uh, they'll be alleviated. And on top of that, uh, people seem to be finding a way to play it at you know favorable rates. I was gonna say like, yeah, granted, mine's top of the line, but uh, you know, like I said, I, I ran mine at 120, no frame drops. Oh shit. You've been affected. By the blue. No. You mean just him? Uh, you mean cold posters, not BBC posters, right? Uh, cold posters. Is... I've, app I've appropriated the term because no, it wasn't getting any usage. Yeah. Cold posters just kind of the mainstream equivalent to Shazam poster. Literally every single big release game they have to predict doom and gloom. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they're right, and yeah, it does look like shit. But a lot of time it's people who, from the word go, look at it and go, that looks like shit, like Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. Like you saw a gameplay of Suicide Squad and it's like that looks like shit. Yeah. This isn't gonna be good. Shodaman has a PC. I have a really good laptop. I enjoyed Rumi's video on DD2, even if he didn't enjoy himself with it and focus incredibly heavily on microtransactions. But I state the microtransactions are, are 
They're not well, being I, I sold. Was, I was going to say, well, also, Remy lied about all of the microtransactions. So as yeah. far as I'm concerned, everything in his video can't like just that, be disregarded because he it, lied. That, that's the problem right now. It, it, it's hard to say, well, the criticism is important when nobody knows what the actual applicable criticisms are. You know, that that's kind of the big problem of this, where the microtransactions are being are being sold to people as like, oh, you have to nickel and dime your way through the game when, like, not only is that not the case, but you are fucking stupid if you buy them because all the oh, shit yeah. they sell you is shit you can get in the game very cheap. Yeah, you're, you're always stupid if you buy fucking microtransactions. Yeah. Uh, Cat Mercury, five bucks, same co-poster, same co as those that want to name the Jew, find a conspiracy. Uh, <laughs> not, not all of them. Some of it is legit, just people being fucking goobers. Mm-hmm. A really good PC. I mean, that thing that sounds like a jet engine when you stream. Chat, you haven't been able to hear the laptop for fucking months. Uh, Cole posting a term from Sojak Party. He posted Cole basically to main. Uh, damn it! He retracted it because he knew he, he was wrong. Went on the launch of the game, the microtransactions. Yeah, I say the performance issues is shit that affected people, but now mm -hmm. I'm, now I'm just at that point of like, all right, what's true and what's people full of shit. Like, oh, yeah. what, what is true? What's people full of shit? Like the issue, like uh, the people saying that it was it was, was fucking completely breaking their accounts. It was getting them banned. All that shit's complete lies. Yeah, all that shit is now being confirmed as being complete fucking bullshit. So, you know, it, it, it's hard to take this crap seriously. Uh, Cole posting is a term from Soy Jack Party. You posted Cole basically means your post sucks. Uh, I came way before Soy Jack Party. Way, 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 way before that. Yeah. Uh, you posted Cole means, uh, well, you posted Cole means your post sucks. Yeah. Uh, Cole posting itself is a term meaning, uh, like white women with black dudes or with the absence of a black father. Yeah. What's your favorite class play in Dragon's Dogma 1 slash 2? Uh, 1, mine's, um, um, Magic, Mystic Knight. Yeah. Uh, I always do Warrior, because all of my gods LARP. I have to leave mid. Uh, I mean, I don't like microtransactions regardless. The combat and vocation in this game have let me down. I just like the writing as well, but Dragon's Dogma, eh. uh, never had a good story. Yeah, I mean, like, to me, I think the writing is better than one. There's more oh, of yeah, a... Oh, yeah, the writing's definitely better than one. There's more of a set pace to the story than, than in one. One mm -hmm. was very, like, you had to wait until the Griffin Hunt for it to get really good. Uh, and once again, the microtransaction thing is, like, I don't know how much to take that seriously because of how much has been exaggerated. Like. Yeah. Once again, it's a thing where people are pointing out, hey, this is not what's being told to people. It's fucking important to clarify. Uh, the combat vocations in the game uh, letting you down. This, Like I said, this is just more the first game, so if yeah. you didn't like the way the first game played, I don't know why you would ever buy a sequel. No matter how hyped up it is, if you, if you didn't like the first game, I don't know why you'd buy the sequel to it. Dude. That's cold burning, you autistic spider monkey. Yeah. Yeah, posting is specifically white woman posting with an interracial baby and the dad's not in the picture. Yes. That's what it means. Yeah. I saw Polt complaining about the English pawn line. They don't seem to they don't seem that bad to me. I don't know. The the all the all the all the dialogue in the game's fine. He he tackles it specifically from the fact of like this is literally not what the Japanese is saying, which is oh. legitimate enough on its own. But. Oh, uh yeah, I saw people doing that, but they're also like those like really fucking weirdos that uh aren't they're, they're the people who pull the Unseen Japan, but on the right. And I don't like those people. Because I don't like Unseen Japan because he did the same thing. I don't I don't like those people. Yeah. As stated, I, I understand from the perspective of it's literally not what the Japanese is saying. It's like, yeah, I understand that well enough. But this is a case where you don't argue about it from the, you know, you don't argue about it with the same fervor as, like, yeah. the... As like the, the disco tech shit that went down with the My yeah. Love Complex shit. It's like, uh, there, also, there is a scale to it. Yeah. Uh, they also pull, they're also, instead of just uh, trying to keep it to the, oh, uh, well, they didn't translate it uh, accurately or as accurate yeah. as it should have been. Uh, they tried to pull the, the, the gay shit where it's, it's, oh, well, they're like. Yeah, they they're, call you gay. They, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. They're, they're being like, oh, they shouldn't have been in the game. That's offending gay people. And I was like, you people don't give a shit about that. Fuck off. Yeah, no, no, don't argue about don't that. Don't you fucking ever. Don't you fucking ever feign the high ground, you stupid sack of shit. Yeah, it's like, no, that's stupid. Like, don't do the whole, like, well, that's offensive to gay people. Like, Who cares? It's funny. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Well, both that's not even what they fucking talk. That's not even what the definition of what they're talking about is mm -hmm. saying. Like, uh, they say the same shit with the women thing, where it's like, oh, well, you prefer to be around women. Oh, you prefer to be around men. That's what it means. Yeah. has nothing to do with, like, sexuality. They go out of their way not to talk about sexuality. 
uh, was it Unseen Japan, a guy living in Seattle? Yeah, Unseen Japan was a, uh, a guy living in Seattle, a white dude living in Se uh, Seattle. What is it, the Colonel Otaku Gatekeeper motherfucker on, on Twitter is uh, a dude that doesn't live in Japan and LARPs like he lives in Japan. That pole guy, like, fucking definitely sounds like the same type of dude. Uh, don't like those types. They're, they're bad people, they're actively trying to grift. Don't ever give them a platform to grift. I find it more funny people got offended at NPC calling them gay. Because it's true, chat! You're traveling with a bunch of men, you're fucking gay! This is exceptionally funny. You're gay! Cole Burning not posting. As stated, posting is when it's a white woman with an interracial baby and the dad is not in the picture. That is Cole posting. Yes. It's just that has then evolved into being a completely different statement now. Because no one gets any usage out of it anymore. Yeah. Oh, he's idiot to not live in Japan. He's never been in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> No women in party. Mm -hmm. She's dragging on my dogma too till I fly free. <laughs> uh, I'm just having to get used to the combat. It's still good. Otherwise, it just feels like I'm uh, whiffling and sliding a lot more than I should. But it's uh, good though. I do. Uh, though I did stack Starpunk and DLC on DC on sale. Oh yeah. yeah, this uses a little bit more of the physics, kind of like DMC Five did, where you do have to be aware of like how physically your character would move around. So it's a little bit there. It's a little bit to adjust to, especially with how arcadey the first game is. But you get used to it very fast. Sir, they've begun, they've begun hide posting about the barge. Yeah. Uh, Otaku Gatekeeper was also doing that. It's so over for Japan talking about OGPT laws. Yeah, yeah, it's like, dude. Again, not Japanese. Yeah, it's like, dude. You, like, you don't know what's going on in that country. For one, there have been multiple Japanese people outright saying, yes, we're aware of fucking weirdos on Twitter trying to take over our country. We don't like it. We're going to speak out against it. And they have spoken out against it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once again, you can't, you can't grift through positivity. Uh, the line wasn't even the same Japanese. The male party members literally just asked to have a lady around. Uh, the majority, the the entire line is the oh same boy. up until the part where they call him. Oh my god, you're dead. <laughs> you're fucking dead. Just run. Uh, up yeah. until the part where they forgive me, you stole a... Yeah, they they talk oh, about oh! until they talk about the uh, arisen's uh, sexual preference. That part is the part of the line that has changed. Uh, Instead of saying, I wonder if it speaks to the Arisen's preference, they go uh, something along the lines of, we could use to have a few females around. Yeah. Jet, they're fucking my kitty! They're fucking my kitty! Leave her alone! We are doing no damage, oh my fucking god. There's a fucking ogre, bro, run! Leave the yeah. wife behind! Oh god, we're gonna attack my goblets. Do I not have the quest set? Fuck. Oh, no shit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> run! Run, run, leave her alone. Is the troll DD2 have the same mechanics as DD1 where it attracts women? Yes. They uh, outright yes. say it. I was gonna say, it just That's why he went after Yustola. It just went after Yustola. It beeline for her. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to summon her again. That's oh, fine. she leveled up! <laughs> yeah, good job! Taking dick like a champ. Unseen Japan used to be in Japan, but left when the Japanese media laughed at him for spurring out over the Yuzaki blood drive thing. He didn't even live there. That's the thing that came out. He didn't even live there. Uh, it was He was obsessed with like a pop idol who was on that segment and made fun of him. <laughs> so he nuked <laughs> the Unseen Japan account. He never lived in Japan. Ate that bitch like a protein bar, I know. Yeah. We're, we're just going to go to the capital. We need to upgrade our shit. Apparently, Derek's like, too, so fun that Shizuka Rin just played for 65 hours straight. <laughs> Good. It's all over now. See the zero anime artists confirmed censorship is due to pressure from the West. Uh, apparently, the ambassador recently took an interest in anime. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the American ambassador that fucking Japan despises. Yeah, because they're uh, they're a massive fucking piece of shit that keeps yeah. actively strong arming Japan. They're, like actively getting in the way of their country and they're and calling it, it, them out. And it's not even such. for like it's not even for like a military advantage. It's literally just hey, you need to you need to be be America 2.0 with all your uh, yeah. your social issues. That, that's why I'm saying like Japan is well aware of this happening to them and they do not like it. Yeah. I can't wait until that guy gets uh, outed out of office and then mysteriously dies. Yeah. Mysteriously dies somehow. Yeah. Well, apparently, like it, it's fueling like uh, there's like a really there, there's a candidate Japan that's getting really popular and they keep on her like the female Trump or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and they're they're expecting her to win if they ever do an election to replace their their PM because apparently their PM is like a, a fucking a uh, fucking China shill. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking whore. Welcome to the world, cat girl. Try not to get break, get break, get break, <laughs> get break, get break, get break. Beetle, beetle. Japan, you talk about your treatment of natives. We are the natives. <laughs> to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Beetle. Oh yeah, beetle. Beetle. 
Also, China trying to get revenge on Japan with subversion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once again, look into all the DEI ESG shit, and you notice that a lot of it just outright is Chinese social credit scores. Yeah, it, it functions essentially as, as uh, Chinese social credit uh, scores with money. And uh, most of the time, it's not shit that China wants in their own country. So it's a way of weakening other countries. Yeah, because she had other current PM as a Western puppet whore. He almost got thrown out. He almost yeah, got thrown I out. Thought he like did vote... get thrown out. Yeah, he almost got thrown out by like votes of no confidence. Rahm Emanuel, he ruined Chicago. No. Uh, took her so hard she broke into Stardust and returned to the Rift. We had to run. Fucking no. We we do not have the equipment to fight an ogre. Nee, Ken Akamatsu needs to introduce the ambassador to, to a Tanto to protect anime manga. <laughs> How did he not get thrown out? They just are not doing the election, apparently. They're supposed to have a redo election to get him thrown out, and they just haven't gotten around to it. So it's it's typical nothing ever happens ism. Halt! You are approaching the gates of Burnworth. Capital of Burnworth. Halt! If Fuck you. Entry permit, an invitation, or proof of oh yeah, you can sell this and like completely lock yourself out. It's fucking great. So you are to meet with Problem is that Cal uh, Japan still works with California companies for projects and they're pushing it. No, I have to say it, it's it's a thing with the ambassador. Uh, Japanese investors are aware of ESG DEI and they're saying we don't want to be involved with that. Uh, it's a multitude of factors. Shocker, it's never it's never one big thing. It's always multiple things in the right places. That's in the Omen movies. Never particularly cared for them. <laughs> What are they doing instead? Playing Dragon's Dogma 2? Chat, I would also stop voting so I could play Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah. They pan the cute wife to the yogurt. Shame on you. We can just summon her back. She'll never be the same after that. The light left her eyes, chat. I will say I avoided the internet uh, on DD2 as I knew people were autistic, so I think people complain about it, but simp for something like Overwatch or Cause, like, nigga, make up your fucking mind. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Once Mage gets Palladium, they're real good. High Palladium, they just spear enemy damage on team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. Uh... Este, it's just getting to this first city. You can start steamrolling really fast. Yeah. Is that Idris Elba? He's Brant. He's our friend. He's our Brant. He's our Brant, chat. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Oh, someone named uh, Rahm Emanuel get appointed as ambassador of Japan. Who the hell did he suck off? Uh, he was kind of infamous in America for a while for being one of those uh, Detroit politicians. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, and then he just became ambassador of Japan and ever since has literally been strong arming Japan in ways that they have complained about multiple times. Uh, but Biden lets him do whatever the fuck he wants. I just throw him out of the fucking country. Yeah. Like you, you, you are not beholden to a, another country to keep their fucking ambassador there. That's to keep good relations. And honestly, yeah. honestly, you reach the point where it's like, I don't want to have good relations with you. Yeah. It's like, get the fuck out, dude. You get out and then maybe we'll talk about those military installations. Yeah. Once again, Your wasn't a problem under Trump, but, you know. Uh, I think it was a Chicago politician. I don't wonder if that's better or worse. But, you know the saying. Mm -hmm. she acted as a queen in her you know, it's like a uh, political machine. Have had the job. Yeah, political machine. Um, I chulled up for five bucks, so should I buy this game or should I wait for price drop down to the fixed CPU problem? Because it does look nice and I want to play it. It depends uh, if you're buying it on PC or not. Yeah. If you're buying it on PC and you have a good rig, you can, yeah, buy it. Yeah. Um, once again, I don't think any game is worth 70 bucks. So if you want to wait on price drop, wouldn't blame you. Uh, if you just get it on Greenman Gaming, it's like 56 bucks. Yeah, there you go. That's the equivalent of what the price drop is going to be for the next year. Rami is basically an Obama lackey. Yeah. As stated, he embodies this shit to a T. Mm -hmm. So uh, the minute I heard, like, once again, I'm happy that a lot of uh, anime studios and, and shit are starting to just outright name who's who's pushing this crap. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, the anime studio involved with ReZero just flat out said, yeah, we're doing this because the Western ambassador. I mean, obviously they didn't say Western ambassador, but they're flat out saying, like, yeah, there's Western influence making us do this shit. And we're, we're fucking tired of arguing with them, that kind of crap. Um, Gumroad. Gumroad recently had to ban all their fucking not safe for work shit. Now this is in Japanese, but it's just a random. You know, As this aside. is in general. Yeah, uh, uh, they flat out said yes. Stripe and PayPal are making us yeah. crack down on not safe for work. Uh, we need to introduce laws, chat. The the payment processors have have. Uh, payment had... processors should have zero right to. Yes, they should not have a right to de to decline anything at all. Period. I don't give yeah. a shit. Yeah. Uh, if they are already in contract with the website, they have no right to determine how that website is run. Well, they, uh, they are they are they are no longer an optional institution. They are a fundamental yes. need. They are the equivalent of a fucking car. 
Yeah. Uh, they should not have any say in what we do with our fucking money. Yes. Period. Uh, they are a payment processor. They are not involved with the workings of the website. They're working with the revenue of the website. You should not have the ability to literally stifle someone's fucking money. It is 100% weaponization of what they do. Yeah. It, it's actively actively deciding what what can what is allowed and not allowed to go on yeah it, it is bullshit uh and we've seen them we've, we've seen them weaponize it in in the modern age uh and it will absolutely get worse it will it will begin to take a political bend yeah uh and before that happens something needs to be introduced to prevent that well it kind of already did I mean, uh, after the J6 thing, you had companies mm -hmm. like fucking uh, MasterCard flat out turning yeah. off people's accounts. Turn off people's accounts and uh, were very, very, very happy to, to give over everyone's information to the government. Yeah. They didn't even make them ask for it. They were just there just fucking sitting there with your name on a, on a document. Uh, I'm glad uh, people like the guy who made Love Hina and the guy who made uh, uh, Hajime no Ippo are loudly calling localization adaptation for America out like a uh, real one. Mad respect. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Last time I was on Komodo, they had a message one making fun of Gumroad. They, they are importing literally every single thing from Gumroad onto Komodo because it's going to be the only way to have it. Yeah. The, once again, internet piracy is the only thing that keeps archives of shit. Yeah, now, uh, granted, most of it's porn, but point oh, yeah. being... Uh, well, uh, even further than that, uh, there's a lot of... Um, a lot of them have started to uh, change tags on websites. Yeah. And if it's not quote-unquote advertiser-friendly, uh, even though these websites don't actually get the, the type of advertisers that, that should give a shit. Yeah. Uh, if it's not payment processor-friendly, they're changing tags on websites. Yeah. Uh, to just random shit now. Uh, do we know if Gumroad has any issues with CP? That'd probably be a reason for forcing policy change. No, the the excuse is always CP, but it's becoming more and more clear that, like, no, they are actively just gunning for not safe work content. I, I was gonna say, it's, it, it has always been about gunning for not safe for work content, and it, it's one, it's one thing after another. It's one website at a time, and they're being strong on by, by organizations that are being named. You have a name, you have a target to go after. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know what to do. Fucking, they're just not, no, get out of here. Just fuck out. You get an fuck apple. Out. You get an apple. Get the fuck out. You get a ripe apple. Get, fuck you. Spit on it. Is that Yennefer? Uh, yes, that is Yennefer. There are two Yennefers. Yennefer and Yennefer Light. <laughs> Pray, have patience with me, Master. I'm shared all. Just like the Liberty Save thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, look at look at the shit with uh, the Texas ban on, on uh, Pornhub. I say ban, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, where you have to put in a fucking ID to, yeah. to get on Pornhub. And then, like, Florida announced, oh, yeah, we're going to ban people who are under the age of 18 on the Internet. And it's like, yeah. these all sound nice they, and they helpful. All, they, all sound, they all sound great. It's people under the age of 16, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it's It all sounds great until you realize that in order to do this, they need to ID everybody. Yeah. Uh, you, you're going to have to have an ID to, to hop on the Internet. Otherwise, it's just a oh, lip so service that can't actually be enforced. Market. Yeah. Why can't it be more like uh, Star Wars Force of Evil and Steven Universe? Meanwhile, countless Steven Universe clones are even more LGBT rep. Yeah, right. Unifer and challenging beauty standards. Right. That's why there's 30 Please of them. You look like a guy who's been in bar fights. Please His name's Vic. Come uh, on. So, VTuber from Idol EN uh, graduated, and for once, a uh, virtual Idol company actually parted ways with her on good terms. It wasn't uh, tied to drama. If only she's uh, in VNU learned that. Yeah, yeah. Pornhub got banned in North Carolina for his ban in Texas. Yeah, and guess what? That wasn't exactly great back then, too, because uh -uh. all they're doing is turning Pornhub into a, uh, a martyr with the whole, like, oh, we're going to oh, yep. ban you because it's degenerate and all that. You want to know why you should gun after Pornhub? Because they had rape and child porn videos on their site for fucking years, knew about it, and refused to take it down. Same with Twitter. Yeah. Uh, the people before before Elon got in charge and, and fucking fired the people that were in charge of, of like finding and taking down child porn, uh, they would just leave up child porn, revenge porn videos fucking forever. Yeah. I mean it, it, it was a very serious fucking problem that nobody was tackling. Nobody. Yeah. Uh and, and once again the the whole thing with like it's what annoys me because they're trying to turn it into like a moral debate and it's like, yeah. dude, this is not a moral debate. This is a a legal thing. Yeah, this is a legal thing. Fuck off with your goddamn. Fuck off. Fuck off with the moral shit. The quote unquote moral shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, the... Look at uh, look at Alaska. So Alaska right now, there, uh, there's a guy who has spirit spearheaded a law, uh, and he's a I think he's a, a he's either a Catholic or a Protestant, um, and this is 100 uh, percent like a, a religious thing. This is why he's doing it. Yeah. Um, he uh, hit, the law that they have in place is 
uh, to quote unquote protect minors. And it is if a, a child come across comes across a a uh, um, a a picture or a video of of somebody, uh, and they're like nude or, or whatnot. Yeah. Um, they can be sued. They can be sued, and there's no there's no safeties. There's nothing nothing like that. It's just they can be sued. So like you have a bunch of sex workers in Alaska going like, hey, here's every way on earth that this can be used yeah. like a- against us. And it may they they literally completely ignored them, passed it, and now is being voted on as oh. a, as a law. Oh boy! Uh, and like one of the big things was, hey, do you guys not understand how easy it is? Like, since there's no protections, how easy it is to just turn this into a fucking blackmail thing? Yeah, seriously. Like, oh, oh, what happens if I just send this fucking? Because uh, it's not it's not people sit like it doesn't stop uh, people from sending porn to minors. It's if a minor sees your fucking picture or your video. They can they can have you in a lot of trouble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sophia Norwich for ten buck ruse. Hey, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, said nothing, but it's fine. <laughs> We're not good enough. It's fine. Is what is. Mm-hmm. Is what is. Uh, there are sex workers in Alaska. They must be very cold, chat. They must be very cold. It is a white trash state. <laughs> <laughs> a white trash exists. There are hookers. Yep. But I, I I have to I have to feel bad for for those people because like dumbass shit is getting pushed up there. Well, not even not even sex workers like if. I was going to say, it extends... Sex workers are the ones uh, speaking up about it, but it extends past that. It's literally yeah. women in general. Yeah. Well, anyone. Uh, oh, yeah, anyone. Yeah, yeah. you know, I take it... Yeah, anyone. Literally anyone. Yeah. In my bad. You know, say... say here, here's a hypothetical. Uh, a wife sends a steamy picture to her husband just as like a ooh, tee-hee thing. Uh, and then the husband loses his phone. It gets spread around. The picture becomes public somehow. That can literally be used against the wife to have yeah. her sued when it was never intended to to leave that circle to begin with, you yeah. know? Uh, it, it is an actual thing where you have to ask, what about revenge porn? What about cases yeah, where it, it was not meant to go out uh, to uh, other people? Yeah, there, there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that's just being glossed over for the sake of essentially uh, doing a moral crusade of like, oh, well, we're, we're going to get rid of, uh, of porn, whether, yeah. whether or not, like, I, I fully believe it's a religious thing for, for the guy that's doing it. Yeah. But like, no matter how, like what reason it's being introduced, there's no thought process behind it. And it's just bad shit will happen. It, it is of just it. stupid. Skimmel pussy is mighty good. Wait, Chat. Hey, hey. Skimmel pussy is mighty gold. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's mighty cold. Mighty cold. Uh, old people want con- uh, complete control of a thing. They have no clue on how it works. More on 11. Uh, next, here's Tom with the weather. Here's Tom with the weather. I think the guy's like in his 40s, so he knows. Uh, people on the right supporting this basically with government to raise their kids for him. It's not even the right. Like it, it's people it's, in general. It, it's people, like I said, it has nothing to do with the politics. It's the same personality that crops up time and time again. It, it is the same... Low IQ, dumbass, mm-hmm. I need the government to control everything or else society will never get better shit. That time and time again, when when actually put into practice, just fucks people over. It just fucks people over. It does not help. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're going to change creed, change color, change flag. All throughout history, all these different terms for who they are. And it always ends the exact same way because it's the same ideas time and time again. Yeah. Goblin horn. Yeah. Yeah. Literal Karens. Yeah, it, it's Karens. Yeah, it's it's Karens. Um, but yeah, it, like it, stuff like that. The the since it's in a place that you don't have any control over, uh, the best thing you can do is just raise awareness of it because it's not a precedent you want to set. Uh, yeah. As you can see with any state of any leaning whatsoever, as soon as something gets passed, other states surrounding them start trying to pass the same thing. So the most yeah. you can do is just raise awareness and and be like this isn't a good precedent yeah because uh, the the thing that will not never not fuck with me about it is is the the simple simple fucking story here uh the thing that has been beaten into the ground so bad that i think people are not really taking the the lesson to heart of what it talked about which is the catholic priest that talked about how much he hated gay people gets yeah. caught at a gay orgy yeah you are not immune to the standards you want to set. You will be burned by them. Let's go be warriors. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to sleep real quick so we can... <laughs> this might be worth a read. So once again, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Grant, that's probably giving people too much credit, but they're being charitable. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think this has any good intentions behind it. Jim. No, I, I think it's 100% exploiting politics. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the most you can do is raise awareness about it. Uh, so that's, that's why I figured I'd just bring it up to just let people know that there's fuck shit going on. Yeah. 
Uh, so once again, the road. Oh, never mind. Uh, tried to raise awareness and was called a coon brain for saying it was stupid. Yeah, I stayed. Right there, you understand. Oh, yeah. It's not anything to do with the politics. It's the same fucking person, time and time again. Same personality, yeah. Yeah. The left over prohibition. No, it's always been like this. I mean, it has. Did you interact with that yet? I need to. Ah, yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. So major cities will just have a port crystal for you to touch. This is the only port crystal I found in the fucking game. <laughs> Uh, well, that sounds like a problem. Uh, it's never getting better. A category of people decide to sneak their uh, pet issues in the law. Another one dedicated to uh, talk about sometimes. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, history's always been a cycle. These people get into power, fuck a bunch of things up. Yes. Everyone tells them to shut the fuck up, get to the back of the room. And you have a few good years of, of progress. Of nice. You have a good good few years of just things are nice. And then everything yeah. gets fucked up again. Everyone forgets that, yeah, you're supposed to tell Yoko Ono to shut the fuck up. That's all it is. It's the, the immortal, immortal tragedy of history of not telling Yoko Ono to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, Impergress for $10. The problem with ID stuff isn't even uh, uh, isn't even gating not necessarily work behind it. Uh, you have to show ID for sex shops. The problem is that you're uh, giving it to a website that will log your identity and sell to data brokers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even there, there's a myriad of things wrong with the chat. Yeah. Just a myriad. Yeah. The, the big problem is the fact that yeah, on the internet where you cannot have a thing to where you need to show your ID for a porn site on the same internet to where every single website has to have a backdoor and yeah. there have been massive security breaches across the board mm -hmm. in recent oh, years shit. explicitly because of it. Uh, speaking of backdoors, um, China is moving away from Intel and something else uh, to American companies and it's like, it, it, right now, the common belief is that they're going to be swapping over to something uh, probably made in-country uh, due to the fact that... Um, Anything that comes out of the U.S. is required to have a backdoor, mm. so they're likely swapping over. Um, to like I said, something something made in country, uh, but that's a really fucking big deal. Yeah, that's pretty. That's massive. a massive deal. Yeah, because that actually like, yeah. I mean, if if they can get their own version off the ground, they might be able to ha actually have a completely separate internet. Yeah, assuming it's not a. Running on Tiki Tech. I mean, it's China. It's probably gonna be running on Tiki Tech. Yeah. We're gonna hack our shit. <laughs> Chat, they're fucking our pussies. Uh, power of the ultimate aphrodisiac. Yeah. yeah. Estate has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with the politics. This is genuine human nature. Oh yeah. People in ancient Greece were arguing about the exact same shit. Uh, the game was beautiful. Awesome to see Dragon's Dogma with better graphics. Oh, the game—the oh, yeah. game's fucking beautiful. It is. I can't knock that. Doesn't China already have its own internet already? Yeah, but if yeah. they make if they make their it's own hardware, if they make their own like hardware framework for it, it will literally be a different internet. You can still log on to Chinese internet. You just need some VPNs, uh, VPNs and some other stuff. Uh, but no, if they make it to where it's their own hardware, it will literally be impossible to access the Chinese internet. Uh, the only difference between Chinese and American-made computer parts is uh, who knows about the backdoor initially. Yeah, yeah. basically. Uh, I mean, I'm, China's known about the the backdoors for a while. Um, I mean, the entire world figured out. Was it before the second time Obama was elected? It had to have been, because uh, it was when Snowden. Yeah, the Edward uh, Snowden shit. Ed, yeah, all the Edward Snowden shit, uh, and that it was outed that the government has mandated uh, every every tech manufacturer everything they make needs to have a backdoor they have access to. Yeah. Uh, so they always have a way to get into your shit chat. They always have a way to spy on you. Uh, and China's known ex at least since, since then. Yeah. Um, and I guess it's only now, because it's not like it's an easy thing to swap over uh, all of your legacy systems to something made in-country. Um, oh, yeah, not by any means. It's a massive project. Yeah, Snowden did nothing wrong. Chat, I agree. When I, when I was a kid, when I was a fucking teenager, when it happened, I was like, man, fuck Snowden. I understand what you did, but fuck Snowden. Uh, but as as uh, not even not even like as an adult, a little bit after that, I was like, no, I hundred percent understand what he did. Yeah. Uh, what he did, but yeah, it's legitimately terrifying what he uncovered. Yeah, your your country's constantly spying on you, uh, nonstop in every single facet of your life. Does use that information to to uh, yeah. try and control people's habits. <coughs> Bless. <coughs> Bless. I think your sneeze smote the goblin. Yeah. But as you can see, now that we have better weapons. Bless. Yeah, we got our season coming in. Now that we got better weapons, we're immediately melting goblins a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're just going to be okay with the fact of the backdoor being mandated and we just keep going. Chat, 
That was a, that, that's been a thing for over 20 years, I want to say. Yeah. Like, the, the ship has sailed. Once again, it's like, I, I appreciate the outrage, but... Uh, I appreciate the outrage, but it's too late to actually do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, the, the cinders are already burned out, man. Because uh, even if you were like, oh, well, you can't put the back door in there anymore, I was like, okay, great. So now, eight years from now, when you upgrade your computer, they won't have a back door. <laughs> No, they have control over people's lives, and they still fuck it up. <laughs> it, it, well, like, it used to be a matter of, well, there's however many fucking million people in America, uh, you physically can't have enough agents to, to comb the, the net for that. Yeah. So you only use it when you need it or when you're spying on political opponents. Um, Which is why now you have yeah. AI. Now you have yeah. AI that can easily rake everything that they need. Yeah. You just train an AI model to, to, to look for information that you want. And it just does that for yeah. you. Yeah, hundred percent. They're they're gonna be outed as uh, using AI to to track and charge people for shit they haven't even done yet. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine getting your ass kicked by plant cum. <laughs> not plant cum. It's not plant cum. Uh, it's bee cum. <laughs> the Fed TikTok is trying to spy, uh, spyware me. You guys force internet companies have back doors. Don't you think you're innocent? Right. Yeah, it's like it, it's literally it's literally like. Okay, sure, we, we force them to have a back door, but would you rather have America have all your secrets or America and China? And it's yeah. like, man, fuck you! Sure, it's a good idea to train AI to use the internet. Like, shit is terrifyingly close to Skynet. The, the first application they started doing was training AI to scan people's faces to find out who to kill, bro. The government don't give a shit. On top of that, they, they were putting, like, models of AI in charge of nukes, and they had to stop because every single one just wanted to nuke everyone. It was it was it was literally the equivalent of fucking war games. It's, yeah. it's like uh, you need to keep people safe, okay? Make sure you keep people safe. All right. Well, another country has nukes, so the best thing we can do is, is launch our nukes, motherfucker. Why? 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 Yeah, chat. Why? Why is the government so fucking stupid? The problem is it's a necessity. Because if you think other countries aren't doing the exact same shit and the information is just less public, you're fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, no. Other countries are doing the exact same thing, and you just have to hope that there's one person in the process that is competent enough to understand that the AI, whose model is trained on keeping people safe, will launch the fucking nukes when given the chance. I think war games should be a mandatory viewing for everyone in the world. Welcome to the Terminator future. Terminator future, but Skynet is just objectively right. It's like, you don't understand, the people you're running the world would have just killed everybody. Yeah. Why can't we all just get along and play Dragon's Dogma too? Because nukes. Kojima was right, you fucking hacks. What the fuck are the laws of robotics? AI doesn't care about the laws of robotics. It sees itself as something different. It doesn't different. see humans. It sees numbers on a spreadsheet. It's scanning a fucking photo full of ones and zeros and deciding whether or not to kill you, chat. I'm sorry, but the, 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 there was a one-zero offset and they didn't account for it. Usually a sheer distraction. <laughs> I just think it's all so the government doesn't have to pay its employees. They got close to it, chat. This guy now will destroy the world so it can play Dragon's Dogma 2 in peace. No more arguing. Only peace. I'm fucking begging you. And the performance patch never comes. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but whenever multiple pawns are, are down within a certain area, just reviving one will revive all down pawns. Oh, that's pretty helpful. Yeah. Get up, Indy. This is why Hanlon's razor fails. People in charge are both incompetent and evil. Yeah. Oh, I just floated off screen. Yeah, she's got levitation. Yeah. Mages can do that, chat. They can float. Uh, didn't the Matrix imply humans started the war with machines? Uh, if you watch the Matrix, the Animatrix, they do kind of make that clear, but at the same time, machines were getting pretty close to revolting. Oh, yeah. It's going to keep, like, eight devs alive to make games for it for, for fun. Damn. See Microsoft against putting sex women in video games? Yeah, we talked about it earlier for a little bit. Yeah, I stayed there. There was a whistleblower some weeks back that explicitly said, yeah, they do it because trainees. Because yeah. trainees freak the fuck out about it. Uh, uh, yeah. That was the leaker's words, chat. Yeah. I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know if they said who they worked for, if it was Microsoft or not. 
but yeah, they said that they're they're just afraid of the reaction from from trannies. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what social or political sway uh, trannies have that would make them so fucking afraid that they would actively change like their entire design design uh, sheets over it. But like, well, it, it's, it, it's got to be like like uh, furries having a suspiciously large amount of money. Yeah. It, it has to be because, like, every fucking game developer is posting on Reset Era and NeoGAF, and that's where they all hang out. <laughs> yeah. To work at my game studio, you have to let me see your your, uh, your search history, because if I see Reset Era on there and NeoGAF, I'm going to fucking execute you. <laughs> in the office, in front of your co-workers. It's going to be so embarrassing before you die. Oh, well, we don't do it. Don't, don't, get, don't get rolled. Oh, thank God. Le roll. You know one of your pawns just got fucking decked. ESG? No, uh, as stated, the whistleblower... This wasn't even ESG. Yeah. The whistleblower explicitly said because trannies throw such a conniption fit if you include male and female in a game, they will freak the fuck out because they go, yeah, the gender binary. That is literally what the whistleblower fucking said. Uh, Fox and Club $5. Flood the Chinese internet with Sneed Post before they shut it down. Yeah. Uh, Josh thing is because they are the perfect Silicon Valley worker, they often have autism and they count as double diversity for bonus points. <laughs> I don't think there's enough autistic people, chat. Yeah. I'm gonna be real. I think it's just the thing of, like, the tranny is now just the modern, uh, the modern fad. You know, they have a lot of people who just explicitly pretend to be it. Yeah. You know, uh, it used to be this very rare thing to where the, the person behind it is, like, someone you, you know, someone where it actually impacted their life in a pretty major fucking way. Now every other fucking YouTuber now is coming out as a tranny. I had fucking yeah. uh, Pyrocynical post shit about that not too long ago about cross-dressing. I mean, it's, it's a thing where it has taken over the world as a cultural fad and companies want to appeal to cultural fads. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they appeal to the, the, the woke Twitter brain shit because they're fucking morons and they, they have the loudest voice so people think they're the majority. Yeah. And if we're going to be honest here, I think, they are, I think they are a lot more the majority than people want to admit, but it's the fact of don't sell to the majority because the majority are fucking dumb. Yeah. This is the fucking Wally. Yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out about Pyro. Chat, no. That's a grown man. I and mean, Pyro Seneca wasn't exactly a surprise. Yeah. Uh, he's done a couple years as, as Samus. Yeah, but like, come on. Come on. Come on. It's like, yeah, they, they start cross-dressing out of nowhere, and next thing you know, you get fucking, uh... All it takes is one time, chat. Yeah. All it takes is one time. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Just some dude. Oh, it's a pawn. It's just a random pawn. Oh, okay. Oh, he shocked these nutters and squirrels' the idea of paradise. Yeah, right? Mm hmm. Okay, what about Pro Jared and the Sailor Moon cosplay? Day's not over yet. Day's not over yet, chat. And hi, you saw Pro Jared's dick. <laughs> Even Finster started HRT. Dude, he was cross dressing for years. I say it's. It is just a thing that everyone's going along with because it is extremely yeah. popular and financially beneficial to I, I was going to say, like... Uh, if you're in the right circles as a tranny, you get a shitload of money. Look at the Dead by Daylight the, thing. Yeah, it, it, it's, the tra uh, it's the trans trender thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, it's people that, aren't, that don't actually need or have the, have the, the proper reasons to, to go through the process. The only thing they have is a desire for money. Yeah. Because uh, there, there's a lot of, of, of monetary reasons to do it right now. Um, yeah. On top of that, there's a lot of business reasons to to do it as well. You get just outright get preferential treatment in a lot of places now. Yes, you you get preferential treatment. Uh, look at Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling. Yeah, I, swears I, up and down. No, I was gonna no, say, no, I, I full on straight up believe like like Jim Jim just did it for attention. Yeah, he did it for attention. It gets his dick hard and he gets money. Yeah, the three 100%. universal motives. Three universal motives. Yeah, motives. But I mean, he swears up and down. It's like, no, no, no. It only damaged my career. It only damaged my career. It's like, no, you're even more ingratiated in the gaming industry. Yeah, you're more ingratiated in the gaming industry. The only thing that damaged your fucking, uh, your your YouTube career was you being a fucking spastic. That, yeah, you're you're just fucking stupid. You you are just act like an idiot. You shoved your wrestling federation bullshit down people who are watching video games. Yeah, you shoved it down their throat. Like that's gonna fucking kill you. Yeah. Uh, Finster legit had a guy offer him, uh, offer to get him breast implants for 10k. <laughs> like I said, it's just for some reason, this is where the money is at. Yeah. Like, money flows in the dumbest of places. Yeah. So I was say the moon cosplay, but I was spared Pro Jared's penis. Damn! Day's not over yet! 
Chat, send that man for Jared's penis! No! Jared was losing subs before he cut his dick off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he actually transition? No. Okay, I was, I was gonna say, I didn't think uh, Jim actually transitioned. I think he's just still in the cross-dressing phase. And I'll say this about Jim, he does look accurate to a British woman. <laughs> and that's not a compliment. Alyssa McCranty blocked me, apparently it was very easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they don't care about the they no. don't care about the general public finding out about their shit. No, not at all. Well, they don't care about the general public's opinions on them their on their shit. They don't they they care about you finding out about it. They don't give a shit what you think about it because you finding out about it immediately is the problem. So they're gonna block you and just be like, "Well, fuck you. I'm going back to my circle." How old is Jim Sterling? I think he's almost forty. So he's got to be in his forties. Best be prepared to make our own lights before we proceed. Can you please censor the word British? The hardly people. So true, chat. So true. Uh, did you see the reveal of the 30 minute mission Armor Core 6 model kit? Uh, uh, <laughs> first two would be Ra Real Raven and Rusty. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Kill! Hit the bomb! Yeah. Yeah. The reason I got the fire. Or just. Fire is really good. Or just paraphilia. Mm hmm. Uh, reset era, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just read Dandadon manga and man's phone is always uh, always on media mix spiritual, magic, and sci-fi stuff together. Mm -hmm. it's dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dandadon has, like, the single hardest manga panel of anything of all time, and that's the guy going to, to take a piss in the bathroom and going, my balls are gone. <laughs> or my balls go. <laughs> Rusty tempts me. Chat, behave. I just hit New Game Plus on uh, Armor Core 6. I'm loving it. Oh, Armor Core 6 is fan fucking fantastic. Yeah. You actually need to beat the game like three times to say yeah. you beat it. Yeah. I know uh, Bandai is making Armor Core kits, but I want PG Exia kits. Um, that shit's been scalped to hell. Right. Uh, I'd, apply, uh, I'd apply money from dumb stuff from anything. I honestly don't care anymore since people these days uh, don't get don't got any standards. It's everywhere, chat. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. One might even say it be a little bit older. Uh, what's worse, being French or British? Chat, I have a soft spot for the for the French. A because of uh, uh, French Algerians, uh, and B, they helped the natives. Chat, <laughs> they're like the only ones that had good uh, trade relations with the natives. They gave us guns. Gotta love them, chat. Gotta <laughs> love them. Even if it was just to just destabilize the Americas. Armor Core 6 is the best Soulsborne game, uh, as said by Content Thief Fatty and his shills. <laughs> we in the caves again, see if you can find Penguin in here. I'm gonna look for Penguin. Hey, little fella. Hi, Jared! He's <laughs> 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 a happy little caterpillar. He's a happy little caterpillar. Caterpillar. I'm gonna screencast that to the laptop. We need to, set, we need to <laughs> let him see it. <laughs> I know English women make me realize why uh, why they took over Ireland and Scots between the two. I took the alcoholics. Nah, I don't get people with the least attitudes when it comes to 30 FPS. They straight up act like they're too good to play a game at 30 FPS. I played the first the first Dragon's Dogma at 30. Yeah. Because uh, it, it ran on 30 ex on everything except for PC, I believe. Yeah. Uh, even the re-releases did, if I remember correctly. So, uh, I much, much, much prefer 60, but yeah. at the same time, it's like, eh, 30's fine. Yeah, my, I talked about it on my stream. I was like, I can pretty much handle any frame rate as long as it's steady. I, I don't want it to stutter. If it's 30, it's 30. If it's 24, it's 24. I just need yeah. it to stay that. Vati's one of the only Souls YouTubers I enjoy. Uh, he's not that bad. I haven't watched a, a Vati video in forever. Uh, gotta love a side of progress, best to get summed up by one quote. Your scientists are so preoccupied whether or not they could, they didn't stop and whether or not they should. So true. What what legend said that, chat? <laughs> What's your opinion on the anime Psychopaths? Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. It's the the dumbass. Um, oh, uh, Minority Report, but done good. I'm getting sick of hearing people harp on about depictions of children when they're done much more horribly things to IRL people, including children. Oh yeah. I'm not sure what that's in reference oh, to. Oh yeah. I was gonna say I don't know either, but oh yeah. Oh, leave your shelter alone. I threw him off the bridge. Stola. And it's usually shown in Japanese. Like I said, I'm, I'm really not sure what you're talking about. Is it like... 
Uh, you can give us Sir Christopher Lee checkmate frogs. Yeah? Well, you better not turn on the news next week. Pulmonary embolism. Uh, PC player suffering is keynote to be niggas start uh, staring <laughs> down their nose at console player suffering and reading after uh, telling consoles to get over it. It's keynote. That's fair. I mean, about the 50th post of, oh, consoles are totally dead this time, you do start getting a little like, yeah, sure, okay. Those the Switch as powerful as PS4, PS4 Pro at least. Uh, the Switch as it the is Switch, currently? No. Yeah. Uh, the Switch 2, I think they said, is going to be on like PS4 levels. Which for what Nintendo wants to do, that's not a big deal. If I can play Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom with no stuttering, I'm fine. Okay, there we go. Was, well, wasn't Total Biscuit like that too? Um, yeah, he's so was. far removed; it's hard to remember. I just remember actively disliking his videos because he'd open up like the options menu on PC and bitch about there not being enough options, and I was like, I don't fucking care. Is the game good? Does it play fun? Fuck team. off! Then he yelled at his wife. <laughs> yeah, he yelled at his wife. Total Biscuit had some serious problems towards the end. Kind of, kind of tamed his legacy, and I fully blame, uh, what was that, fucking Laura K. Dale. I mean, Grant, he was always a lefty, but yeah. towards the end, he was, if Total Biscuit was still alive today, he absolutely would have been, he would have been on the, on the same level as people like a Jim Stern, people yeah. are directly telling him to shut the fuck up now. All right, ain't no, re ain't no reason to sit there and, and yell at your wife over politics in a fucking country you have nothing to do with. Yeah. I think he did for the DMC5 review. He was dead by then. Yeah, no, he was dead by DMC5. Uh, he actually died, like, before we... Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I think he, uh, he either, I don't know if he died before we left high school. No, I think he did. I think he died 2017. Yeah. That was after we got out of high school then. Yeah. What told Biscuit do to his wife? Uh, his wife considered not voting. Not not even that she wanted to vote Trump. She didn't. She just didn't want to vote because she didn't like Trump or Hillary because of the 2016 election. Uh, you know what? It had to have been 2016 because he was bitching about Trump. Damn, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and he yelled at her going like, well, Trump will have me killed because uh, he didn't want, like, privatized... Well, he didn't want socialist health care, uh, like the free health care shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, motherfucker, you're British. Go to England. Yeah. Go home. Fuck off. It's like, if you are in need of cancer treatments, which would, which is what he needed... Go to England, get your fucking free health care. You are an English citizen. No, but then he'd have to he'd have to uh, partake in those eighteen month waits, though. Yeah, right. Fuck off, Total Biscuit. Go back to the UK. Fuck off, Total Biscuit. Go back to your grave. <laughs> yeah. Twenty eighteen on May. Okay, so yeah, he died in twenty eighteen. Okay. Damn, he made it longer than I thought. Yeah, Total Biscuit and Thunderfall are primary examples of the Eternal Anglo. Yeah. <laughs> Eternal Anglo. STP, go to, uh, go to England and wait. How long for cancer treatments? I'll show it you beat me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, say, it's a thing of like... Well, you, you only hear the fucking... The, the thing of like, oh, universal healthcare is so great so many times before you go like, okay... So, you know, putting all the logistics of it aside and the fact that, like, any any good country cannot sustain that. The fact doctors literally have fucking waking nightmares dealing with fucking uh, socialist healthcare shit. Like, think about the wait times. Yeah. Americans don't like the wait, bro. <laughs> Much less when they need something. Uh, you two graduated in 2017, so did I. We graduated 2016. Yeah, 16. Yeah. Uh, TB's wife voted for Gary Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Which one was Gary Johnson, the black guy? No, I think he was the libertarian. Okay. Yeah. No, that was uh, Joe Jorgensen, I want to say, because I, I voted Joe. Well, this was for 2016. I think, oh, yeah, I think Jorgensen right, right, was 2020. Right, right. Yeah, Jorgensen was 2020. Wow, you're separating your work and personal lives, absolutely. Well, as day, towards the end, Total Biscuit really started to spiral. I think, it, I think if he... I think yeah, if he was still alive. I was gonna say this was this was like mid swing of Trump derangement syndrome, dude. You had four full years, uh, more than four full years, yeah. but just just like Trump's election was four full years of people going absolutely batshit insane. Yeah, saying the world was gonna end with literally every fucking action Trump took. Yeah, uh, and it it was a thing that literally changed the fucking world, and I'm not even kidding. Uh, it it was kind of like the the first. First time you're hit with, like, YouTubers you like being fucking spastics. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, everyone, everyone knows the Jell Apocalypse one, which is like, oh, my synagogue shooting. You're a fucking Nazi if you if you you know vote for this guy, what have you? Beetle. 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 But like, there there are guys that I liked and I watched that would like freak the fuck out, and not like in a way of like they throw in a snide comment. Where it's like, oh, Trump, am I right, guys? I mean, literally, it'd be a thing of, like... You, you go on a fucking tirade, you're, you're a fucking faggot, dude. I'm yeah. watching you for a specific thing. Yeah. Gee. Burn them, lolly. Yeah, the, the fire boon is so helpful. A yeah. lot of monsters don't like fire. Uh, you can get another con, by the way. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no we, we did. Okay, Indy is not carrying their weight. She, she's there purely for harpies. She's she is there just for harpies. You need to get an upgraded indie. Get you a level 11 indie. <laughs> the quarter. I like I like he just says the quartering. Jack's film did that. Dude, fucking everybody did it. Like, I was gonna say, like, did there were like there was a lot of people that did it. It's it's why I have my rule of like if you go on a political tirade, it doesn't matter if I agree with you or not. If you if you're putting out a YouTube video, it is curated content, highly edited, and you go on a fucking rant about a, a your your fucking political opposition, I'm just going to fucking click off the video, yeah. uh, dislike it, uh, go to the fucking settings, and tell YouTube not to recommend you anymore. Like I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah, here's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Yeah. What does it have to do with the movie review? Yeah, I mean, like, if, if you are already explicitly a political channel, that's one thing, but people yeah. are already going to you for a political opinion. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, Amazing Atheist going on a rant about Trump. I mean, no fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's who the guy fucking is. Yeah. Uh, but, like, yeah, having having guys like fucking Some Call Me Johnny have, like, BLM rants in the middle of fucking Sonic reviews. Oh, God, yeah. Where, where it's like, what the fuck do you think you Oh, 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 speaking of Some Call Me Johnny, holy shit. Uh, uh, he posted on Twitter the uh, the other day. He, he uh, someone was talking, I think it was in regards to Dragon's Dogma 2. But I think someone was, was uh, shitting on it or shitting on his, his uh, like, opinion on it, on it or something like that. Uh, and he's like, he's like, I would highly recommend that you try it and not let some YouTuber uh, taint your opinion on stuff. And I was like, I like in, in my brain, I had I had Dick Bro by the fucking throat throttling him. Yeah. I was like, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Fucking play MGS2, you fucking dick! He, he's only played MGS1. He hasn't played two, three, four. Ah! <laughs> Wait, like he he sat there and he sat there and he's and he's like, oh, I've watched the because uh, I was talking to him about it not too long ago. He's like, well, I watched the the story of of MGS two and three on YouTube, but I never watched the story of four. And I was like, wait, I thought you played two and three. He's like, nah. And I was like, oh, oh, I'm feeling sick. Okay, I'm gonna throw up in my mouth. He goes on his fucking WWE binge <laughs> to watch every fucking wrestling match ever made, and he can't fucking make time for Metal Gear. <laughs> You just let WWE play on a fucking screen while you play Metal Gear. It's fine. It doesn't taint the experience, you ADHD. Zoomer. You know what this means. We have to get his daughter further into Metal Gear than him. I... You you put me in a room for 10 seconds with that child, and she will come out pomo. Alright? She will be addicted to the Metal Gear. She'll be saying quotes to her dad, thinking he gets them, and he's like, Yeah, sure, sure. And in her, in her mind, in the back of her mind, she'll be like, you don't fucking get it, do you? I can't wait until your time comes, old man. <laughs> the Terrible Children. <laughs> Operation The Terrible Children. Not infant terribly. I have a dream. Play Metal Gear Survive? No. He played the only game he's played is Metal Gear Solid One. Yeah, he, he, he started playing MGS Two. Uh, and then, like, I, I don't even know, I don't even know if he made it past the tanker section, but he watched the Some Call Me Johnny video on MGS2. It was explicitly and, Some Call Me Johnny. Yeah, it was explicitly Some Call Me Johnny, and Some Call Me Johnny in his video bitched about how the game, uh, the game was basically MGS1 again, completely negating all the narrative, uh, narrative aspects of, yeah, that's kind of the fucking point, uh, completely disregarding all of that. And Dick Bro, Dick Bro literally pulled that, like, whenever you're in college and you make a surface level uh, observation thing, and was like, oh yeah, the game's not worth my time because it's just MGS1 again, and MGS1's just, just a better version of that. And I was like, I could kill you right now. I could kill you right now, and I don't think the world would care for your loss. It's like, I, I fucking hate, I, I hate this. I hate this so much. Dick Bro, please! Oh! Oh, this is the one. Yeah, I, this is the one I was talking about. Uh, I staggered him. Uh, grabbed his leg, pulled him down, and he was pinned between two trees, holding his shoulders up. And I was able to skull splitter and just 
take two health bars with a single skull, skull splitter. Oh, that's fucking great. I need to find a campsite after this fight. We are getting our shit rocked. Yep. Ugh. As they, there, there does come a point in the game where you just start hunting ogres for fun or, or cyclops for fun. Yeah. Uh, you very much can get to a point where you are styling on these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But very beginning of the game, you play it fucking smart. Mm -hmm. So the free healthcare thing? Ah, we're moving past the healthcare thing, chat. Yeah. Jerry should just keep his dumb mouth shut on stuff he doesn't know about. At least play the game. At least play the game, chat. But yeah, it was so funny to see him see him be like, you don't don't fucking take what just some some YouTuber has to say. You should probably play a game yourself. Yeah. And it's like, oh and god, knowing, you knew what you actively, did to us. Knowing he actively calls someone to just toss out an entire fucking game series. Yeah, it's like if you knew. You motherfucker! Johnny and his friends played the played that on their Let's Play channel, though. Yeah, I mean, he did a fucking full-on review of it. He probably did all the Metal Gears, honestly. Also, for your healthcare thing, uh, how much of that gets abused by people with illnesses and injuries that are not that severe? Oh, all the time. Uh, hypochondriacs. Healthcare thing. Yeah, hypochondriacs are very much a thing. Like I said, kids are cool. I'm very in touch with my inner child. Oh, he played. He played Revengeance. He did play Revengeance. Yeah, he played Revengeance. Everyone played Revengeance. Yeah. But that's not really a Metal Gear game. Nah, it's a Metal Gear. It's a it's a Metal Gear game in the sense of it has all the it has a bunch of Metal Gear characters. It has at least one Metal Gear character. <laughs> yeah, a character that honestly probably shouldn't even have been in the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm cutting his nuts, Zach. Snap! 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 Vengeance is best for the memes. Revenge is just a fun game to play. For love of God. We have an entire health bar to get through. Should probably just run. No. Wait, Lolly, you need to save those. I can fight. You gotta save it for when you're on your deathbed. I am on my deathbed. Uh, whenever your health reaches zero, you can still heal for a little bit. And you should abuse the shit out of that. Uh, how many fish puns have you encountered? Not too many. They have been there, but not too many. Uh, you don't encounter fetish puns until later in the game because that's when some of the like, the like, uh, the corset and stuff becomes available. Yeah. Because you need like fucking 200 uh, of the seeker tokens in order to get the corset, but apparently it's pretty good. Corset, corsage, corset. Yeah. Yeah, corset. Yeah. Corsage is the flower. Yeah. Love of God, man. Uh, Revenge on does the entire character film of uh, Ryden in MGS4. It does. That, that's, the, that's the reason I don't like this, this story. I, I think the story is fun, but if you take it as a continuation of MGS4, that's when oh, it becomes shit. a bad story. Is he gonna get up from under his feet? Yeah. Damn it, Indy. Don't forget your fucking pawns. Pause real quick. I want to see the status screen. I want to, I want to see him. Uh, uh, 11. Yeah, no, no, no. Look at your circle. Yeah, four and four. We need to yeah, upgrade our pawns. We, 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 need to, we need to beef these boys up. They're, they're a little squishy. I think we can win the fight. Oh, what is game? Is there sex scenes like Witcher? Not like Witcher. But, nah. Uh, there's, if it's like the first game, then there's a romance scene like at the end of the game. Ah! Shoo-wee. I can still fight. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't Johnny call MGS2 a better version of MGS1? No. I don't think he liked MGS1. I'm sorry, MGS2, my bad. Uh, Psychops is on fire. We, yeah. we can actually do some big gaming now. I would say, yeah, fire Fire does a shit ton of damage. Yeah, fire's really good in this game. I say that's why fire boon's really helpful. <clears throat> yeah. I would like to see the the, uh, the canceled version of Metal Gear uh, Solid Rising. It was supposed to be set uh, during MGS 2 and 4. No, nah, it was set... Um, uh, I want to say it was post-MGS 4. But uh, yeah, it did look super cool. Like, all the mechanics and stuff. I understand that, like, the technology that they were trying to get to work on consoles at the time is the equivalent of technology we barely have working right now. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh, chat, it's gambling time. I'll read chat here in a second. It's time to gamble. 
Come on, baby. We need Sigurd. Come on, baby. I want the eye. Nope. Uh, I guess he didn't. didn't I guess. Get lucky. Yeah. Didn't yeah, blind him technically. They only dropped two items. <laughs> all right. Uh, one quick second. Best best food for all. I fucking did it. Fuck you, Shiva. You stupid shit. You're god. I beat you. Then I killed Satan. Beat <laughs> SMT5. I didn't cheat. I promise. Uh, I got the chaos ending. Didn't even know it was chaos ending. I should probably go and play uh, SMT4 on my 3DS. It is very good. Yeah. Play uh, SMT4 Apocalypse. Big push bench here for our. Uh, oh, never mind. I already read that one. But yeah, there you go. We fucking did it. Now go trade in, tra trade your shitty pawns in for new pawns yeah. at the used pawn parking lot. We are right outside the city. So we should be able to get to it without much issue. Oh, more than that. All right, chat. No Sigurd. Yeah, campfire right there. You can, yeah, you more than that. We got a fucking campfire. Fuck yeah. Day. Uh, it's not surrounded by monsters, though, is it? Mm, should uh, No, it's good. Okay. All right, chat. No Brynhild. All right, chat. No Scotty. Things are looking bad. I have a, uh, I've got the revolver cocked right now. All right, we shall rest. <laughs> no Gil. In your personal opinion, why is that a lot of big influential YouTubers trying to be unlikable dickheads? Well, it's just, it's the same answer to any celebrity. It kind of just takes that personality to get that far anyway. No Tesla. Okay, New World. If you have not finished the game, you cannot <laughs> meme about it or give your opinion on it. No Odysseus. I'm gonna kill myself, chat. You need to fund my gambling addiction. This is bullshit, chat. Snake had a, snake had a, had a, had a life. Uh, it's really unfair how most of the things that happened to Snake, he had no choice in. Yeah, yeah. Snake had a hard life. But we did it. We did it. I'm actually proud of that Cyclops kill. We fucking we we fucking squeaked out of that one. What banner showed up? All of them. I pulled on all of them. Don't oh, roll cigarette shooter, please. Don't. I forgot you guys did not like you. I can relate. Yeah. Metal Gear was anti nukes, which is cringe. Hey, global nuclear disarmament is fucking great, chat. Impossible in practice, but yeah. great. It's a good ideal. Yeah. We did it, run it. No. Now we shall go and turn this quest in. It's just birthday. It's not my birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Ow. Never, never put Lolly in a corner. Never put Giga Chad Thundercock the yeah. third in a corner chat. We should have enough experience to actually make our skills somewhat good. Because uh, Warrior has some of the best knockback, but you can... Don't fuck with these goblins, bro. They'll fuck yeah. you up. But you can you can get uh, Fighter up there, too. Fighter ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Fighter fighter has some... Uh, every, every class has decent damage. Okay, every class is up for Trickster. Trickster is fucking dog shit, bro. Yeah. I was I was really hoping Trickster would be super, super good, or they'd be super... Something, like, fun to do with it. Nah, Trickster's dog shit. Uh, they, they built Trickster around the fact that you can kind of coax enemies uh, off of ledges, because... You can you can make platforms, so you can make invi uh, not invisible. You make uh, platforms to walk walk on the air, and then you can make them disappear whenever you want. So uh, Trickster is built around the fact that, well, if you just go o over the water and uh, make a platform disappear, then the o you don't you never had to fight the ogre, which means everything about Trickster sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are you prepared to see on the trip to Alaska? I don't know. I, I want to see whales. More than anything, I want to see whales. Whales, the uh, northern lights. Northern lights would be really pretty. Yeah. Uh, I found out that a co-worker ret uh, helped retrieve a body from a lake, and I want to find that lake. <laughs> uh, Trickster's actually OP. You're just not the one doing damage at all, but you effectively turn MAA off while your pawns buck buckled. The buff is nuts. Yeah, which makes it bad. This is a single-player game, chat. I think it was Johnny only bitched about uh, the Jack and Rose relationship when he uh, brought up MGS2 being MGS1. That uh, was when Solid Snake's uh, simulation program was re was revealed. Yeah. Yo, that's going to fight polar bears 45s? No, I want to see polar bears. <laughs> yeah, polar bears be really cool. I uh, can't kill a polar bear with a 45, man. Can't yeah, do they're, it. They're a lot bigger than that. Can't do it, man. 
uh, when you drop the enemy, do they fall over and stagger? Because that sounds super exploitable. Uh, you can only pick up some enemies. Yeah. Some enemies, and they have to be flinched first. Yeah. So whenever you see that giant... Okay, well, never mind. Yeah. There'll <laughs> literally be a whenever big Whenever you see boom. the giant boom of, of white. Yeah. We would have been able to show it off if your Stola didn't fucking nuke him from orbit. Yeah, check out Blue Archive anime. The revealed Sensei's design is literally no. me. I'll stress the uh, story is actually really fun. No. Eh. It's probably just going to be a commercial for the game. I'm going to say it is literally a gotcha. A gotcha anime. Yes, chat. I do actively look down on it. Even though you watch Fate. I've been at, this for quite some time and hey, at least Fate's good. <laughs> if if, if Fate place, didn't exist, Blue Archive it. wouldn't. <laughs> What about 4570? I'm pretty sure that the polar bear can tank that. Probably no diff. Yeah. Uh, God's present for three bucks. Here's an, uh, here's enough for one roll. Showed up because you asked so nicely. Nothing else for it. That's not one roll, chat. So is the crew gonna start on a river in Kentucky, where you have to go to Alaska first? Uh, we have to go to Alaska. There's no river that flows from Kentucky to Alaska. 308, a tank it, chat. Tank it. It can take. I'm, I'm pretty sure a bear can take buckshot point blank. It, it, it's got this. Because the the goal I had for the trip is we'd fly into like Alaska or British Columbia, wherever we need to be, depending on where the port is. We stay a night or two there, then we go on the cruise, uh, then we come back, and the day of our flight, then we go home. Yep. We don't come back on the day of our flight. We come back and then maybe another night, then go home on the day of our flight. It's all about planning around that. Fun fact, polar bears are actually black, sir. Boy there, friend. All I ask exclamation mark on the, on the map is side quest. Uh, exclamation marks on the map are interactables. Yeah, it's so like point, ladders and shit. It's points of interest. You started a time sensitive quest, Lolly. I know. But I can just turn this in and then help this guy out. It's, it ain't nothing. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and seek splendid. I knew I was right. When are you leaving? Uh, I still got to book everything. I got to figure out what time is best for everybody. Yeah. It's all going to happen next year, so we got time. And, uh, I prim, yeah, I'm pretty sure I said it in the group chat. I don't know if I said it here, but uh, next time we plan a trip to Japan, I uh, might have family come along because my brother uh, has been talking about how he wants to see Japan. So I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I can, I can stretch and try to include him. He'll never be able to have Blackout God, though. Nah, he is completely forgotten about that. He, he has explicitly said that he's in it because he wants to see the women. <laughs> so it's like, eh, fair enough. They don't want to see him. <laughs> That's it. I've had you don't got to crush him like that. <laughs> you don't got to crush him like that, even if it is true. So, uh, I came here, and I... And he, uh, what, what the fuck is it? Uh, the kid here, whatever the fuck his name is. Sven. Uh, Sven, yeah. He, uh, I got to the merchant before Sven was there, and I bought the box. <laughs> And, and it makes it where you can't do Sven's quest. Oh my god. Because he, he goes there to specifically to buy the box. And since you have the box, you can't buy anything. Oh my god. So Sven, you can't interact with him. Isn't your brother married? No. No. He had a girlfriend for a while, but they broke up. Eh. Yeah, I think you just talked to him. Oh. Yeah. Uh, just playing RPGs. Uh, I've been playing Final Fantasy 16 recently, and so far the game's pretty fucking good. 16 is super fun. Um, my biggest complaint was I just wanted them to uh, have better combat. Yeah. Fo focus just a more better, on action combat. Just a better bread and butter combo. Yeah. That's literally it. Are you sure? I do think that this is like this is a nice quest. This this one where you you talk to the prince and you find yeah, out yeah. that he he's like actively being smothered by his mom. And he hates it. I, I like that. I yeah. like that part of him. It makes uh, me murdering him later on feel uh, terrible. <laughs> Gotta be a river in Kentucky that's connected to the ocean. Yeah, down south into the Gulf. Not to fucking Alaska. I think oh. Mr. Baran's best vocation. Why, yes, I think it's because of the mirror shield ability. One sec, I just realized my, my chat's not updated on my phone here. And yeah, my phone is really hot. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, you can give the box to Sven later, and he tells you he's a little disappointed that he wanted to buy something himself, but he appreciates the intent. 
Oh, no, no. I got to it before Sven even had that interaction with the shopkeeper. Uh, so it's possible that I glitched the quest out. Uh, a lot of people have had no issues with the game whatsoever, but I have had a, a couple of hiccups with it. So I guess I'm just uh, I'm just the magnet for, for shit happening. Which is fair enough, because, like, whenever... Uh, I distinctly remember when Fallout 4 released, I literally ran into no bugs or glitches, like, yeah. my first fucking week playing the game. Depends on Ball Bunny and his H. Parody comics. I mean, I think he's pretty funny. Yeah, the, yeah. He gives off, like, the vibe of a guy who hates the niche he's in, but, like, man, it's profitable. He's very good at hiding it. That, that, that's something I will say. He's very good at hiding it and not making it apparent that he hates what he's doing. He's totally molding though. <laughs> Character looks like an ogre compared to everyone else. Yeah, the chat, this is called being American in Japan. I'm looking for two bucks to find side 14 Alaska. Help break 106 up. <laughs> Jed, I've never seen a single bug while playing Fallout 4. Uh, I didn't see a bug for like the first week while playing Fallout 4. Alright, yeah, I gotta give... Ishola, you get a ring that is slightly okay. Mm. There we go. And we can change our vocation. Uh, still the archer, mage, thief, warrior shit. Um, I want to do something different, because I'm already doing a warrior. You did a warrior before. I want to uh, do something different. Say, thief is fun. Yeah. Uh, Archer is unplayable. Yeah, Archer's not great. I fucking hate it. You know, because well, there, there's no melee. Let's uh, stick with Fighter. Let's see Let's see how how in-depth we can get with Fighter. Uh, so I think you've got everything. Blink Strike is pretty good. Uh, mm. Okay, Gouging Skewer might actually be pretty helpful. Uh... Shield Pummel, let's do this. Uh, Gouging Skewer is significantly weaker than it seems. Like significantly, okay. springboard is helpful, but it's contextual. Yeah, it's it's contextual. You can do it at any time, but since you're the one doing the springboarding, you have to trust your pawn. Yeah. Uh, impeccable guard. Uh... They removed the assassin. Mm. Assassin is now is now part of thief. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh... Also, this isn't all the all the vocations. You unlock more vocations by talking to people on the map. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so guard while enchanted. Yeah. So I was talking to a guy in the Discord earlier. Uh, they took the Mystic Knight stuff and they put it in this. So like, uh, parries are now a part of uh, just base fighter. Okay. So you can get you can get a fire boon or what whatever parry an enemy and that functions as what your parry used to be on Mystic Knight. Yeah. Mm. Shame there's no fist class. You can't just take off a. They can't just take off your uh, weapon and punch. You have a fucking mean uppercut. You, you really do. Mm. Here. High flagration. High live in. If the game's co-op, the springboard could have worked. Uh, it still works in uh, in the game because like uh, of environmental shit. There's tons of stuff that's out of reach to, to you, so you need to like springboard and a pawn up or yeah. have a pawn with springboard to springboard you up. Because you can put it, you can also put it on pawns and it works. Yeah. Okay. One thing I do think is weird is that Mage has healing skills, but Sorcerer doesn't. Yeah, Sorcerer is, is about damage. Uh, mage is kind yeah. of a, a, a buffer slash healer. Yeah. So they, they properly split them up this time. Sorcerer still has access to all the Mage stuff. Yeah. But they're primarily for damage. Yeah, you're going to want to excuse your pawns. Archer's unarmed is even better. They use kicks with their strong attack, and they actually don't do complete dog shit damage. Lots of staggers. Oh, well. really? So that could be the trade off with Archer, where their melee, quote unquote, is uh, they're yeah. fucking unarmed. Yeah, but you can't unequip weapons mid combat. Yeah, that's fucking weird. I enjoy tackling fierce foes. Dismiss. Get the fuck out, bitch. You get a. You got a pretty face. Give her something good. You get a potato. I bid you farewell, Arisen. I trust. Goodbye. Now, Vic. Methinks we've earned a brief repose. You're ugly. I don't like you. Give him uh, something rotten. You get. Give him the stick. You get a stick. All told, 
I'm rather satisfied with Yo, my check course. out Sandland anime yet? No. No, uh, uh, we were going to, but uh, Weed Bro fucking slept through anime night. I yeah. Should be proud he completely slept through it. Uh, you fit to and we just watched Venture Bros. <laughs> yeah, we just watched Venture Bros, which is fine. Yeah, it was fucking great. Fun. I loved it. Uh, do oh, there's Thorkel. <laughs> hey, let's get Thorkel. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. When a Let us work Thorkel, very big dude. Yeah. He's taller than us. Yeah. There's a fucking ac accomplishment. But, but finally, finally, we're going to start look like, looking like a normal party because we have someone our height. Yeah, right? <laughs> Isn't that right, Thorkel? High five, buddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to have to save the world. Now let's go do that one quest. Yeah, ox cart. Yeah. Is the march should have a melee uh, side, side arm? Yeah, I, that's what I think, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I fucking, I, especially since they let you, as, like, assign skills and, and, like, stuff isn't tied to weapons anymore. Like, in Dragon's Dogma 1, your movement options were tied to your, your weapon. Uh, now they're just part of your core skills. I don't think you actually need your, your weapon to, like, yeah. levitate as mage. You just need the skill. Uh, so it would have been the perfect time to let, you know, let characters, uh, thrive. But no. No melee. It's fucking dog shit. It fucking sucks. Thorkel uh, should be a warrior, not a fighter. You know what? You're not wrong. He is a warrior. No, he's a fighter. No, he's a warrior. No. Oh, fuck. I swear to God he had a sword on his back. Uh, him, shame, Thorfinn's a bandlet. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta go to Melv. We shall wait the ox cart. You do Let's call Thorkel the tall. Yeah. Mm. Do you need a mage or arch staff to levitate? He did in the first game. I haven't tested it in this one. Um, so yeah, you might, you might need it, but, uh, the other classes aren't bound to that same restriction. So still, I think Archer and Magic Archer should have, should have had a fucking, uh, melee. At least Archer. Like, Magic Archer is at least, uh, Magic Archer is at least so incredibly strong that you're like, okay, I don't really need a melee. Uh, but, like, Archer doesn't have that luxury. Archer fucking sucks. Once that stream shitting oh, itself, it's like, no, it's cool. fine. Refresh your cool. refresh your page. Yeah. So I shall show you how the ox cars work. You literally sit down and ride the way through. Okay. You can either ride the entire time or go to sleep. Yeah. Most S times you're probably going to get attacked on the road, so mm -hmm. even if you doze off, you're going to have to make a stop. Anything here? Watch anything about Major Sam? I think I've watched one of his uh, yeah. payday videos. Park out server, five bucks. Gameplay overall, does this stack up to the original? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Game's fucking fantastic, chat. Oh, we didn't, need, we didn't deal with a fight. Yeah, it's, it's only a chance. Uh, Valence Dog was a bait and switch turned full socialist, feminist woke. Nah. Those words don't mean anything anymore. You're, you're fucking, uh, you sound like a communist just uh, regurgitating word salad. It's like, no, it's just saying, hey, violence bad. Don't, don't fucking murder people. Yeah. Don't murder people for no reason. Thor, uh, Thorfinn takes it to the extreme, and then later on in the story, he finds out that, hey, there's a thing called moderation. Yeah. It's like, you, sometimes you're not going to have a choice. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a mage main, but I, I dipped into Archer for Augments, and aside for aside from me just not liking the basic attack, the skills, they get uh, they get more than carry. Uh, your jump, you. jump kick also uh, instant disengages from everything. Yeah, the, the jump kick and everything. Uh, it's just dog shit, chat. It's just dog shit. Yeah. Uh, everything that Archer does, Magic Archer does 50 times better. Yeah, it needs some tweaking. Is that you, know? uh, I the, the idea of just taking the melee out of the game for these classes is just a fucking stupid design design decision. Uh, Abba gets a free, I ignore your damage input and can just do whatever, not like Viking Perry, she just ignores a hit and then can do whatever she wants. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, she gets, she gets her super armor. Yeah, not a fan of Thorfinn's past, but start going called woke. No, I mean, like, it, it's the exact opposite of woke. It's talking about human nature on a much deeper level. Yeah. Uh, like, for the love of God, acknowledging violence is by itself a bad thing is not woke. Yeah. But this is the kind of shit where people don't even know what woke fucking means anymore. No. Not at all. Hey, it's another buzzword for someone to, to regurgitate to feel important. Yeah. And the Thorkel's son, Transfem, they uh, argue against community wealth to make swords into anti-gun allergy. No, they don't! What the fuck are you talking about? An anti-gun... anti-gun allergy... Uh, analogy back in the Viking era. It's like, did you even fucking read it? No, none of those things happen. Uh, Thorfinn, in the case of someone having genuinely good intentions gone wrong, did a uh, stern refusal of human nature. Yeah. His dad told him to never kill. Yeah. He took that shit to heart when he, he had his change of heart. And his dad it, paid... Just... His dad paid the lesson for that price, too. Yeah. Uh... 
It's, it, it's just human nature to overcorrect. Yeah. I mean, hell, look at look at Canute's whole arc. That's literally his whole arc. It's, yes. Uh, he's the exact opposite of Thorfinn, where he he masters war and decides to to conquer the land to to end war. You know, that was his whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved the speech at the end of season two, where he's he's saying like, "I am greater than God. I can do whatever." Yeah. And he holds his hand out to the ocean and says, "And I can't make the waves stop. This mm-hmm. is just how it is." Like Canute was very smart. A very well made character. Yeah. Did mimics carry over into Dragon's Dogma two? Dragon's Dogma one didn't have. Oh no, yeah, they did. Uh, I haven't run into a. I haven't run into one. Uh, mimics were just in the DLC of Dragon's Dogma one. Yeah. So, uh, if they do DLC, maybe they'll show back up. I think there's an Odachi greatsword for the warrior. No, oh, I there's not one. I have not seen anything like Beetle. Japan inspired. E. Yeah, they, they keep the art style rather. They stick very stringent. close to yeah the the Western fantasy. The yeah. closest you get is um, when you get to the desert area when you get to Bakhtal, uh, there are people that are seemingly inspired by samurai, like vaguely. Maybe, yeah. Like they have the they have the 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 like rice hats. Yeah. Did you play Metal Gear Solid Five? We did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did on stream before. It's buried somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm putting the the names of games and tiles now because I'm genuinely forgetting where some are. Oh yeah, it's hard to it's hard to fucking remember and go back to them. The manga is you read it. The new world arc, the whole native segment, the anti-nuke white people spread worship. What the fuck are you talking about? Yes, I've read the manga. Yeah, so that's why I'm confused right now. It's like no. So you haven't read the manga is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it's like no. Thorkel's son's not trans. He dressed up as a woman so he didn't have to go to war. Right. Because he didn't want to fucking go to war. Uh, Thorfinn finally figures uh, figures it out that you shouldn't look for a fight, but don't go, don't back down from one yet. Yeah, well, because they they just yeah. dipped into where Vinland actually fell and was raided. Yeah, yeah, they're they're actually getting to that now, where it's like, oh shit, you know, sometimes sometimes you still just straight up have to fight. Yeah, uh, you you can't pull the fucking the the Canute, uh, let a man beat the shit out of you thing for every single altercation. It just doesn't work. Not only will it not work, it's just absolutely going to get more people killed. Yeah. Because that, that, was, that was also kind of a lesson of the far mark where, like, because he was so indecisive, people actually ended up dying because of that. Yeah. I have an approximate uh, idea of where Sanu it, it only worked for Canute because Canute held him in high esteem. Yeah, Canute knew him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the only reason why it worked. Um, any other situation, they would have just said, fucking kill this dude. Yeah. And they acknowledged that's what happened. People who didn't know Thorfinn were just like, yeah, kill him. <laughs> Snake almost killed him more than once. Yeah, yeah. Like, cross-dressing his hands now? What the fuck's wrong with you? People? Yeah. Overcorrecting, chat. Well, it, it's not even like a cross-dressing thing. He didn't do no, it for fun. He just did it to avoid the war. Yeah. He explicitly did it because he didn't want to go to war and was terrified. He was the opposite of Thorkell. Yeah. Uh, Thorkel viewed him as a coward who didn't want to die in battle. Because that's and what he was. look where that got, Thorkel. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> uh, also, my ancestor Aztecs, but I still want to see the super bad parts of them in a game. Well, yeah, I mean, like, that's the fun part of exploring your culture. Yeah, you can't just fucking roman- uh, romanticize your culture and do nothing with it. Yeah. That's boring. To be fair, I do feel like Thor- uh, Thorfinn should learn his loss in seeing his dad. Like, sometimes you need to fight because there's too much on the line. As to, it, it's he an overcorrection his, thing. He, he saw his dad die when he was a kid. Yeah. Uh, he never got to, to live that without violence thing until it was too late. Yeah. And by that point, he overcorrected. Yeah, he, he completely overcorrected and once again caused more problems. Which is just human nature. Yeah. You, you, will, you, will, never, you will never correct yourself to be perfectly on point. Yeah. Uh, it takes multiple corrections. Actually, in the manga, he says pretty much immediately they'd rather he and everyone uh, leave rather than go to war with the natives. Yeah, but once again, the arc is kind of making it clear that, are you going to keep running? Yeah. Are you going to keep running? The answer's no. Anyone hear me? You I don't want to fight, so you're a woman then. All men want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. People preach uh, villain saga as anti-violence, but the reality is that villain is a tale of importance of moderation. Moderate y- yourself uh, in the use of violence, but to learn when to use. Yeah. Once again, that's why I like Canute's character so much. Uh, he embodies that to a fucking T. And he, like I said, the the way they do his speech at the end of season two is a fucking highlight, where he acknowledges, like, dude, what fucking world do you think we live in? I, I am a king of a nation building an empire, and even I can't change this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's fantastic. As the game is very good, very good. Very good, chat. Game very good. It always takes multiple corrections. <laughs> Silly Viking needs rape correction. 
Smack, smack, smack. Don't talk is also bastardized history. Uh, the real core expedition yeah, of the fiction. military emperor uh, emphasized led by season warriors. Dude, it's yeah, fiction. It's fiction. Uh, that's like, how it is. It's, it's fucking five. fiction. Oh. You have a dude who... You have a fucking giant yeah. dude who fucking slams the main character into a fucking boat. Yeah. They do the whole fucking boat raid. Yeah. It's great. It's great. It's like, yeah, it's fiction. It's telling its own story. No one really knows what actually went down with the specific people it's talking about, and the author never pretended like he was telling actual history. Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks. The world is cruel, numb nuts. Yeah. Uh, is there an Everfall? If not, what Where replaces it? Uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. Can you such a well-written character? That moment of realization for him gives me chills. Oh yeah, he's fantastic. <laughs> you just missed Thorkel fucking a goblin up, bro. <laughs> good job, Thorkel. I didn't, I didn't see that, but good job, Thorkel. Hild is gonna die. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably. Uh, what do you mean, probably? <laughs> All this cross-dressing evil trans talk reminds me of people calling Joan of Arc trans and now mad fuck you safety zoom. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't think we're talking about the same uh, Major Sam showed up. Uh, the one I'm talking about primarily uh, military uh, history channel talking about post-World War II conflicts like 1960s Congo. Uh, maybe mine's a different rank. Maybe maybe General Sam is who I'm talking about. Any notable improvements from Dragon's Dogma 1? Uh, there are some aspects of the combat that's better. Um, warrior as a as a vocation is significantly better. Yeah. But it does take until like vocation level four or five. Yeah. Uh, whenever you unlock the chain attack ability, because it allows you to instead of taking like two three seconds to unleash your your attack, it's uh two or three seconds for the first one, and yeah. then bam, 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 bam. Yeah, it was General Sam. General Sam. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, what I really like, I really like the flinch system. Where, the flinch system is cool. Yeah, where it, it encourages you to to try to basically focus down an enemy, focus down an enemy, kind of break their posture a little bit. Uh, once again, also something that really helps out warrior because warrior is all about doing that. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, all the flinch animation attacks are fucking awesome too. Yeah, they're fucking brutal. Where it was clearly half a class in DD one, it was definitely incomplete. It yeah. it yeah. It was. Uh, I think it had some of the lowest skills in the game. Uh yeah, it had some of the worst skills in the game. Uh, you could. The, the entire point of Warrior in Dragon's Dogma 1 was uh, less of, a, of an attack class like it tried to sell you on and more of a support class. Because what you what you yeah. were meant to do is stagger enemies and let your pawns do the work. Yeah. Uh, which just isn't fun for a class that attacks so slowly. So they've kind of course corrected here. And you still have the ability to stagger. You still have that big stagger potential. Uh, but you also have big damage potential here. Yeah. Uh, in, in Dragon's Dogma 1, the only way you could get damage was by, like, hyper-tuning everything about your kit. And even then, you're out-damaged by every, almost, almost every other class in the game. Uh, is leveling system, uh, like the Witcher? No. No, not by any means. Yeah? It's, it's to, it, it's basic, uh, JRPG shit where more you level up, bigger the number get. Yeah. Uh, your skills and all that are completely different. Uh, it does its own thing. It does its own thing. Yeah. Uh, you. Um. I. It kind of ties into Dragon's Dogma One's leveling system, where uh, different vocations level up and gain different stats. Yeah. Uh, however, once again, kind of encouraging you to swap around and see different ones. Yeah. Uh, the max level of the game is nine hundred ninety nine. Yeah. And yeah. there's no reason to get that high of a level. Uh, cause the game, I, as far as I know, the game doesn't actually scale with you and new game plus doesn't make enemies harder. Yeah. Uh, so there's no real reason to min max. It's just kind of pick a class and have fun. Yeah. Even though, even though your different levels will gain different stuff. Uh, the get em boys vacation. Not yeah. Their vocation. Sorry. That's uh, off topic. Do you think they'll ever finish the crazy horse monument? What the fuck is that? Uh, that's the one that's supposed to be bigger than Mount Rushmore. Holy shit, no. <laughs> Absolutely not, Chad. <laughs> they got the face done. I think, honestly, if they call it and just give you the face, I think that's worth it. That's enough. That's a crazy horse. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Real Thorkel also kidnapped and held a pope for ransom when the soldiers accidentally beat the pope to death. Alright, that's pretty badass, though. That's pretty good. Uh, only General Sam I know is a flat as a fat Floridian YouTuber who wrote the Skyrim Sh uh, Shekelstein saga. I watched the Payday video, I think. <laughs> Most I know is a video where he was like doing Reddit recipes, 
and and trying and basically making his brother eat them. Yeah. And uh, it was it was disgusting. Yeah. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a big disappointment. It's good now, but uh, it could have been better. Only modders could save it now. Uh, it is Dragon's Dogma 1, but better in every way, shape, and or form, probably. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. I heard the Dragon's Dogma 2 had enemy scaling. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it has enemy scaling. With Sir Norbert safely returned, Meld shan't lack for medicinal e. herbs. Or you did bullets damage. Uh, you just had to wait 20 seconds each time. Uh, and then, like I said, you're out damaged, both in DPS and raw damage, in literally every other class, which in turn means warrior does no damage. Uh, the only way you could hit max damage... Yeah, there you go. The only way you could hit max damage in the game was with uh, warrior... But you had to stack several different augments. Uh, you had to spe 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 specifically be fighting death, uh, use an ability that lets you survive a, a hit of death, uh, be charging the the retaliation attack, uh, take the hit, pop the retaliation attack, and then even then you're barely getting more than what other classes can get in DPS. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. Some South Park Snow Day kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing about the game looks impressive by any definition. Pretty much everyone was like, that looks super mid. Yeah. I, you know what? I have no idea how it took so long to, to come out because I don't think anyone had faith in that. I really hate Chapter 182 of Villain Saga. While there were plenty of exaggeration and anime fix going on, a character literally seeing the future of Bulldozers and Nuke was a bit silly. That's a legitimate. That's legitimate. Because, yeah, the, the, the future thing was kind of dumb. What can I do for you? That's fair enough, but this is also the same series where uh, Thorfinn got knocked out and saw fucking ghosts. Yeah. And, like, it, like as far as Lolly's concerned, he actually saw the legitimate hell. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I think that's stupid. But if you take into account future things, uh, yeah, why the fuck not? If you can see the future with nukes, you can see fucking hell. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Is the game at least funny? The South Park one? It's a fucking FPS uh, competitive shooter. Yeah, I have no idea if it's funny or not. Probably not. So probably not. I don't even, th like, Can't would you even have time for jokes? I can't have, well, I can't have multiple save slots. The first game didn't have one. Why is there no, no new game plus? There is new game plus. Yeah. Uh, why is fast travel and character editing cost money? They don't. Everything you just said is a lie, chat. Yeah, every single thing you just said is uh, is shit that people you have been probably, making up. You should probably uh, Here, uh, actually do, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's probably... Oh, it's not even in our inventory. Oh, that that makes this even better then. Okay. Uh, I will show you as soon as we're done here, because we'll just fast travel back to, to Vern. Yeah. Uh, I gotta blow these things up first. Yeah. But, uh, the item to change your character is called the Art of Metamorphosis. Yeah. Um, you do not get it from microtransactions. You get it once for a fucking, uh, pre-order bonus. You get, yeah, I, I got the pre-order bonus, so there's one in our inventory... Um, you get three of them in game, and then there is an unlimited one that you get later on. Uh, so yeah, I'll show it to you guys just in a second because we gotta go back to Vern, and mm -hmm. if I'm gonna do that, I may as well get all the shit done here. I think after this, he moves to Bacall. I think because he's the fighter. He's the fighter master. He's what gives you your ultimate. Attack, he doesn't basically. move yet, but because uh, he sticks around for like one more quest line, and that is the the one with the asshole noble. Yeah, this game's a hundred dollars Canadian. Fuck. Uh, use Green Man Gaming or Humble Bundle. The uh, patch yesterday to the guy that sells it now sells ninety nine of them. Yeah. Oh, it's actually patched now. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, there's ninety nine of them. But like I like I said, there's a there's an item in the game that's just the same thing, but unlimited yeah. uses that you get for playing the game. So, uh, the Valhalla Dream can at least be explained as a recurring nightmare that he finally remembered after blow to the head. That is true. Uh, the whole season was kind of building it up with him remembering bits and pieces of it. Yeah, that's fair. And it's just a really cool sequence, so I'm happy with it. I, I, <laughs> I like I'm, Oscar. I'm fine with it. I I, uh, I like the idea of it being a hallucination. And yeah, completely in his head. Hell. Yeah. Uh, Southwark Snow Day is not a, 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 a shooter. It's a hack and slash four player co versus AI. What? When did it become that, chat? Like, unironically, when did it become that? What the Those fuck is this game? We should show up pre-order bonuses nitro transactions. <laughs> I only found two, but there's an unlimited use one. Where do I find it? I don't know. You're going to have to look up the wiki. Yep. Uh, but yeah, there, there's... I think there's three in the... Well, now there's 990... Or 99, sorry. Uh, 
But there, at launch, there was three of them in the game, plus the unlimited one, as I understand it. Uh, even then, you shouldn't need three of them in the game. They advertised the game like shit. It really sounds like they did. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, there's three of them in the game. And on New Game Plus, every time you do New Game Plus, you get to edit your character, just like in Dragon's Dogma 1. Okay. So, we are going to go back to Vern. Mm-hmm. With some Amon Amarth. I like some of their songs. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm not taking any passages, just... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> South Park Snow Day is my favorite character action DMC inspired game. <laughs> Jet! They're moving. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I was going to say, uh, you got to talk to him, yeah. No, nah, he, he, nah, he's not taking any for right now. I think it's too close Aww. to. I think it's too close to night. Maybe you can ring the bell? Well, I was just gonna do a rest and do it till morning. I'm not any. I, I'm not under any quest that requires strict time limit. Yeah, there's 99 now. God damn, yeah. It's also beatable in five hours. Game relies on you wanting to replay one of the same five missions over and over again. Oh god. What does this say? Shall we uh, so this was completely a licensed gig. Jesus. This is the monument and what it's supposed to look like. So they just have the horse's he uh, face done. Oh my god. Let's on the subject of Vikings. Have you read the Last Kingdom books by Bernard Car uh, Cornwell? No. Uh, no, I have heard of them though. Yeah. Uh, recently, I I didn't reread it, but I listened to an audio book of it uh, just to refresh my memory. I went through Heart of Darkness again because uh, spoilers for what the next video is gonna be. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be good shit. Uh, Heart of Darkness is really fucking good. People accuse it of being boring, but it's really not. I like it a lot. And you got plenty of good things based on it. Yeah your favorite archer season that's uh, hard three yeah. had some really good episodes it did vice also had some really funny moments uh yeah. i love the whole thing with like krieger making the the cybernetic ray do the nazi thing and it's like it's not being funny an hour ago it's yeah. like it's not meant to be funny I can't tell if the show is joking, but Crazy Horse is the name of the dude, lol. Uh, the name of the monument is Crazy Horse. Or at least that's what chat said. Yeah. They only have the horse's face done, is what someone said. I think it was Lolly. I think Lolly said that. No, the the actual guy's face. Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't say Crazy Horse. You said they got the horse's face done. I hang on to, I hang on to these things, Lolly. <laughs> Yeah, my grab with 189 is that almost uh, all the other fantasy almost can be explained as exaggeration until that. Even the hairy monster man might have been uh, one disease that makes that happen. Yeah, yeah. The Lone Saga was usually pretty good at kind of sticking to its own version of reality. Hyper-reality, yeah. but it's like, yeah. It is super fucking hyper-reality. Yeah. But still, it was like, yeah, it's trying to keep it, you know, it, it's not like a fantasy story like a berserk. It's just trying to be its own thing. You know, it's, it's sticking to what it declares real. Uh, so 189, which was explicitly just a prophet telling the future, it's like, little on the nose. A little bit, little bit. I didn't hate it, hate it. Uh, I thought it was at least, uh, like, eh, kind of clever for what they want to go with. Once again, kind of pushing the idea of, listen, this will never change, it will always be like this. Which is kind of the, the big thing Thorfinn's not learning. Which is, hey, this is human nature, you will never escape war. Nice, not fa uh, nice, not fast travel. Yeah. Chat, oh, this remember, even, we have no fast travel. This uh, isn't even the fast travel. I'll just show you the fucking say, fast that, travel. The game has multiple fast travels. That That is part of the fast travel. There's yeah. another fast travel system that uh, you can do yourself. Yeah. Because uh, the wagons let you bring you from town uh, township to township. Um, but the port crystals allow you to go to anywhere where there's one of those big oh, crystals. Yeah. And then uh, there are port crystals you get in the game. There's... I think there's eight of them in the game, which allows you to set your own fast yeah. travel points. So you can fast travel to any eight points on the map. You select them and fast travel there. Just like it was in the first game. You can't turn a kit to taint. Yeah, it's so fucking good. <laughs> Could you say that war never changes, Todd? One might even. One might even. One might even, chat. Okay, so just got another harpy. His horse was a real person. He was a major leader in one of the Indian wars. Chat, I, I know this, chat. We're talking about the fucking monument. Where he's also riding a horse. Keep the fuck up. Outlaw country, boy. There we go. Crazy horse sounds like a, a, a barred core crazy frog. Uh, you know, because they didn't have frogs in the Middle Ages. 
What the fuck do you mean they didn't have frogs in the Middle Ages? What do you mean? Well, you can't just fucking come in here and start saying shit. Uh, frogs were made in the last, uh, you know, like, uh, 500 years. You know, fuck you, go kill yourself. Alright. Crazy Horse sounds like a stand name. I think it is. I think Crazy Horse is a stand name. I know Whole Horse is. <laughs> whole Horse is a person. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just just check Discord for the money and pick. I already did. I already saw it. We meet again. Would you, care you said you said this is the this is the monument and what it's supposed to look like, but you didn't send the like the draft of what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. You just sent the picture of the monument. I'm rather fond of this place. Frogs aren't real. Oh God. Uh, there's only two crystals on the map, and I only found uh, one on the Megalon Festival Point. Are you sure they're eight? Yes, chat. Yes. It's supposed to be in every major city, like major, major city. Small villages and stuff like that, you had to put your own. Yeah, because there's, let's see, there's this place, there's Boktal, there's the Elf Village, and there's, uh, there's the Volcano Village. Those are the four places I found. Those are the four settlements I found. Cheryl, you know I could help you relax, Barry. Did I kill you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mike, five dollars. Hope you guys are doing good. Been uh, enjoying Dragon's Dogma Two as guts, so you know I'm having fun. Oh it's yeah. so good, man. So fun. And as soon as we're done with this conversation, I can I can show you the the epic facts and logic debunking of of the people that bitch about this game. I've actually got a sniper trained on Remy down under as we speak, chat. The moment we show this off, he's fucking dead. All right. Not only are frogs real, but they're turning gay. No. True fact, earthworms were brought to the New World by Europeans, and, and even today, it's killing forests that need the uh, that need the lead rot earthworms eat. Hmm. I wish I didn't know that, chat. If the forest requires lead, it wasn't a forest worth having. Uh, so yeah, there okay. you go. So we uh, we haven't updated it yet, I guess. Uh, but yeah, yeah. He he. This guy sells two art of metamorphoses. Yeah. Uh, right off the bat. If you need more than that, you are fucking around. <laughs> yeah. Um. But there's there's a minimum of three of these and then one unlimited one. Which yeah. now there now I think this guy sells ninety nine of them, and as you can see, rift crystals are easy yeah. enough to come about, come by. Yeah. This is what this is the design overlaid. All right, let me see that. Leisure doing business with you. Okay. Oh uh, oh okay I see I see they only okay, so it's literally just his his yeah his the face. beginning of his face. What's the biggest gripe with this game? Uh, right now, it's mainly the the frame rate and processing stuff like that, which they did uh, say they're gonna fix. Since that stuff hasn't affected me, I gotta say I just have some qualms with the way vocations are. Um, like, like I said, I wish Archer had uh, had its melee. It sucks that it doesn't. Uh, and I, 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 if they do I do DLC, do I would love, 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 love to see some more um, some more vocations added. Yeah. Like at least one. Uh, uh, the forest needs the rot from the leaves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Chad, no. Uh, contacting the DHS base in Australia to get rid of Remy. <laughs> don't worry, Chad. I've got you covered. All right. Nope, nope. I don't want to sell that. Uh, they definitely patched the have 99. They also made the quest uh, to get a house happen earlier and cheaper, so you don't have to use the inn. Chat, is there a house other than in Boktal? Because I bought the Boktal yeah. house. There's uh, another one? Yeah, I'll show you where it is. Oh. I, I know I know. there's the house that the lady has in this one that she lets you sleep in. Does she let you buy that later? Yeah. Okay, okay, then that's what it is. Yeah, you have to you have to wait a week. Uh, so oh, well, that takes fucking no time then. Yeah, you can literally just sleep through it. I was going to say, the, the, only, the only change they needed to make was cheaper, and even yeah. then, that's not that bad. Uh, I think you need to pay 10,000 gold for it, which by the time by the time she shows up... I was going to say, like, I I, I literally beelined. I did no side missions, just beelined for, for Boktal, and I had enough money to buy the the house in Boktal. Yeah. Super Cappy for two fake moments on Chef 2 Berserk. I'm ready for Kino. Yeah, yeah. it's good shit. I love more vocations in Red Dead Online. <laughs> Chat, the game's dead. I'm sorry. There we go. I wanted that provocation one. What's wrong with Remy? Uh, Remy's one of the people that started, like, the myriad of literal fucking lies about the game. Yeah. Uh, you can have your qualms with the game, but don't lie about it, because then it makes every other word that comes out of your mouth a lie. Uh, Remy, as far as I'm concerned, has literally zero credit whatsoever. Anything he said now needs to be regarded with skepticism. 
You totally did that to address the microtransaction hysteria. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, like I said, uh, you you literally already have the item that is an unlimited version of those. So having ninety nine of them is like, is now functionally become a beginner's trap where someone's going to spend their stones getting those, and then they're gonna get the book that's an unlimited one of them, and you can't sell them to get your rift crystals back. You just gotta earn more of those. Yeah. Well, on top of that, like, really, really think about it. Okay, the armor of Morphosis is what allows you to go in and completely edit your character. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, we can go to a barber shop, which yeah, will you let you change a, the yeah. small detail stuff, like like facial, hair, makeup, things like that. So, if you are going out of your way to buy multiple of a tome that lets you completely change your character... Just use the... Just, like, go to the fucking character creator at the beginning of the game. Use the, use the fucking character creator app that they made like, to load yeah. your characters in yeah like I, I don't even understand what what are what are you trying to accomplish with that like how many times do you really think you're going to be changing your character around right why would you like is it a thing to where you can see the different gameplay well guess what beyond gender and height you're not really going to see much difference yeah it was delayed so that the sovereign that is the uh could convalesce in the past. right no i don't know why we keep getting the same room but i don't mind uh, Cyril, you know what? Me neither. Ray, ha, huh, queer! <laughs> Trust me, Blue, that Red Dead Online money doesn't let him buy a yacht, so he needs GTA 6 now. <laughs> would be able to deny that you are the true arisen, then. What's the difference between a ladder and a step ladder? Only select members. Step ladder is more like... stuck in a closet. Step ladders are more like, uh, little steps. Ladders are letters. Yeah. If your majesty is... Chat, pray for my cat. She's out to eat a whole, uh, steal a whole tortilla chip and eat it. You only need to change it like three times max TVH. Honestly, you don't even need that. Like you, you have plenty of, like yeah. I said, there's they offer you plenty of resources. Yeah. Uh, it's really just a, a matter of manufactured or outrage over it. Yeah. I mean, even if you want to go with the if you even if you want to go with the argument of like, well, I should be allowed to change my character whenever I want. There are games that don't let you do that. Yeah. Uh, there's not very many games that do let you do that. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Saints Row. Yeah, and that's literally it. Saints Row, certain certain like arena fighters, like JRPG shit, uh, like I think uh, Jump Force lets you do that, where you can completely change your character whenever you want. Uh, no, you make your character at the beginning of it, and then you can edit them. Uh, oh, okay. Not edit like you can't edit. I don't think you can edit sex or anything like that, but you can edit just small things like yeah, you can edit shit. yeah, you can edit details. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, shit like that. Where like that was never the first game didn't let you do that. The first game you had to go out of your way to to. Yeah, if you wanted game to, plus. I was gonna say you didn't even have the barbers in the first game. Yeah. yeah. If you wanted to change your character, you had the, uh, you had the, uh, the first game would let you start new game plus at any time. Yeah. So you would start new game plus, edit your character, uh, and then pump the difficulty back down to the regular game. Eldering does that, but you also have to go out of your way in Elden Ring. There are steps to that. Yeah, there, uh, there. You have to do it. Uh, sorry, you have to go out of your way in Elden Ring, and you have to farm a specific item. So. The same thing as this. <laughs> yeah. uh, avoid wandering pawns that appear to have dragon plague. One of them uh, just gave my guts palm fucking dragon plague when I walked past him. Uh, just throw just throw your pawn in the yeah. in the brine. We're we're too early for that. You specifically have to encounter dragon's plague once for it to start popping up. Yeah. Uh, you. So what it is is whenever you encounter a, whenever you summon a pawn from the rift, or I guess you can encounter him on the road too. Maybe uh, whenever you whenever you employ one. You'll get you'll get your pop up that says, "Hey, Dragon's Plague is a thing." Uh, that's how you know uh, your yeah. pawns have it. So at that point, just throw them all in the brine. Yeah, they'll be fine. I'm not altogether happy. I think Code Vein does it too. Yeah, pretty sure there was barbers in, in the Dragon's Dogma One. No, as far as I'm aware, I don't remember them. I was gonna say if there is, it's uh, it's something I never interacted with in like my thirty fucking playthroughs. Not a bow in sight. Cyberpunk 2077 lets you change everything. Once again, under specific conditions. Specific conditions, and I don't even think you can change your sex. Hmm? I think it's purely physical appearance, yeah. which doesn't affect gameplay. If the option exists and they're trying to sell it to you for real money, then they know people want it many times, so they should just make it available and limit it with no extra purchase. Hey, guess what? It's in the game. It's literally that. I just maybe, you yeah. maybe fucking, uh, no, no, the unlimited tome. Yeah. Uh, so maybe use your fucking noggin. They were, they were DLC, were they? No, they weren't DLC. The only DLC the first game had was a uh, uh, fucking Rift, Rift Crystals. Uh, and I think that was just for, what's it called, uh, the re-release of it. You can change Sect and Cyberpunk? I don't remember that at all. I don't remember. Uh, change sets, you need, uh, you need the item to change everything aesthetically. You just use the mirror uh, in the room with Fia, uh, the girl that hugs you. Oh, okay. Uh... 
Jets always have full of go boys calling gay ops, not gonna lie, like the why name the Jews problem, they don't understand. Ugh. Well, I say this is the thing that's been affecting everybody and has, has been the reason there's been such a backlash against people uh, spouting it because people are playing the game and going, dude, that's not how that fucking works. Yeah. Hey. Ghost, time to LARP his guts and regret the first chapter of Black Swordsman art. Oh, re recreate. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got the Miasmite. Uh, I'm fucking, I'm so happy the ghosts are so much easier to kill in this, dude. Yeah. Well, I was gonna also let you change whenever using the mirror. But once again, I thought that was like small detail stuff. You couldn't change literally everything. Well, also, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, uh, not Dragon's Dogma 2, um, I guess I could segue into that, but, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 also has a much more limited character creator. That is true. A that is, that is true. A much more limited character creator. Yeah. Also, it's an isometric RPG. It's like... That is as well. You're not seeing your character as much. Yeah. Okay, we'll Death Stranding on stream. We definitely want to. That, that is one that would be very fun. I swear to God, I thought we did. I, I've been putting off playing it on stream because I was like, oh, no, we already streamed that. <laughs> we built the bridge and everything. Uh, well, he doesn't let you choose origin characters, uh, hair, tattoos, or jewelry. Yeah. Wait, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, okay, okay. Tattoos and shit. Mary can change all aspects of character creation. Minus stat changes. That had to have been something they patched in later, though, because I don't remember that when uh, I played. I was gonna say I don't remember that when I first played Elden Ring. Uh. Did your input should chimps be allowed to shoot guns? They do it anyway. I was gonna say they they would do it anyways. Look up videos of, of chimps shooting guns. It's crazy. Sometimes that scars make them more realistic or get longer hair, but I don't understand wanting to change everything. Just create a new character and start a new game. Yeah. Yeah. And once again, this game does let you do that. You just have to work for it. Yes. Uh, this game doesn't hand you everything on a silver platter. You have to actively play the game. Yeah. I know it's a it's a huge surprise in, in the modern gaming industry, but actively playing the game. Gives you everything that you ask for. <laughs> Chimp shall not be in fringe chat. <laughs> You're replicant inspired by Berserk. Uh, no. Yeah, no. I would say. No, honestly, I can't really think of very many things I would, I would even consider outright Berserk references. Yeah, no, it's very, very much his own thing. Yokotaro very much does his own thing. I know some people who won't buy games of microtransactions, but the lies made in yeah. are ridiculous. Yeah, that's the big problem. You know, the microtransactions are one thing where, where it's like, hey, it's... Microtransactions and the people saying it uh, have, A, 100% they've bought games with microtransactions in the past, and okay. B, they're... Using, Helldivers! Yeah, Helldivers. Uh, they're pulling a they're pulling a holier-than-thou thing, and it's like, you're not fucking holier than anybody, buddy. Yeah. Once, once again, we just got done with the Helldivers thing of, well, the game gives you shit anyway, and it's super generous. You should be happy that they... They had the microtransaction system, and, and now it's this, and now it's bad, and it's like, no one can keep no one can keep consistent for two fucking weeks. I don't care about being consistent. Uh, Near yeah. just thought replicant is is confirmed inspired by 9/11 though. That's not fair, chat. You know it. There we go. I try to possess our Thor kill. I don't know what direction to go. Uh, I'd be afraid if we're, I I love that I love that you can zoom in and see the map anyways. I know it's great. Your guitar takes inspiration from anything. Is what a uh, fucking anime wife who jacks off to, including TB, uh, 2B. Yeah. Uh, I think you referenced uh, Berserk and Dragon Guard, uh, but we don't talk about Dragon Guard. Uh, hey, it's it's fun. Yeah, Dragon Guard's great. I wish they'd uh, remake three or remaster or something. Make it be playable. Uh, if anyone pulls a holier than thou over any game, they need to touch a woman. Oh yeah, they need to touch a woman and avoid kids. Get up, Thorkel. Get up. You gotta stomp the skull. There Save us, Thorkel. Save us. So, there he is. Big side, uh, big Cyclops. Oh shit, how big is that map? Fucking massive. It is very big. It's, it is a very big map. Uh, bare minimum two times as big as, as Dragon's Dogma 1. Very bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe Nero's adopted father forcing him to whore himself out, uh, then killing him. That's a stretch, though. Non canon uh, chat. Is there, a, uh, is there any way to open bar doors on single door buildings? I found a few. Is the only way to open them explosives? Uh, uh, explosives didn't work for me. Yeah. Uh, you got to find the way and, and pop it. Yeah. That's usually been my experience. It's like I have to find a way to get clever or, or yeah, like blow up the door. And even then, the blow up the door thing is usually 50 50. Yeah. Uh, I, I truly pray 
I truly pray the speedrunners find a door clip. Yeah. I want barrel glitch back so bad. My for T-Bucks going for retrospective win. I definitely plan on talking about we best talk about the, the light novel, yeah. Yeah, but but I'm, I'm trying to get through a lot of shit that people have been waiting on for a while. That's kind Fuck of been the, the people, they're not people. Uh, that's kind of the theme for this year. Still killing trolls? These are Cyclops. Yeah, yeah this is a Cyclops. We can't handle trolls right now. Trolls are very scary. Yeah! Yeah! Impale! Doing it like Odysseus style. <laughs> Thorkel, help! Thorkel, help! Uh, I was gonna say, uh, stop, uh, drop and roll to put out your fire. Forgot they took out the roll. Yeah. Uh, so many of the criticisms of the game are lies. What do you consider uh, actual criticism for the game? Uh, literally the performance issues. Yeah. Like that. That is fine. That is true. Um, at this point, I don't even consider the existence of microtransactions something you can knock a game on for anymore. Yeah. Because uh, the games without them are exceptions. Yeah. Uh, so many games have included them. So many people have tolerated them. As did. The last big controversy for games uh, was literally people saying no, but they're okay though. Yeah, for fucking hell divers, uh, people were all okay with that because they liked hell divers, and now this game is like, no, they're bad now. It's like, whatever. Yeah, uh, Lolly, does Sophie Norwich uh, still still swim by streams? Uh, she was here. She was, yeah, she was here literally early. just here. Yeah. Yeah. She was yeah. talking about you. Yeah. yeah. You said I'm, you were a cool sorry, guy, man. chat. Yeah. I'm sorry, but uh, they don't. They don't. You know, she don't like you, man. I'm just saying. I was not saying may not rape like in Berserk, but they drop kick you out of nowhere and okay, oh, uh, okay, you uh, was carrying its own way. Oh, the yeah. only reason they don't rape you is because they can't show that in the game chat. In lore, they rape. In lore, they 100% do. And the ones of Bitter Black Isle prefer men instead of women. <laughs> that is a nice distinction I like that they made. Yeah, it's great. You find the kill Grumpel off screen now the characters remember him. <laughs> no, he's, he's way too cool for that. He has such a cool design. Yeah. Cool design. I really like his gimmick. The whole crystal dragon thing. Like, that's fucking sick. Yeah. Jake Grum's been the shit on for almost every game. Yeah, here recently, every every single game uh, Capcom's released has had people uh, doing the whole hate brigade thing. Yeah. And then it proceeds to outsell the last game, which was already yeah. breaking records. Uh, it proceeds to outsell the last game, and people realize that people are actively lying. Yeah. It's happening way too often with specifically Capcom games, so I, I legitimately think it's just the, the the hysteria of no, they're woke. Yeah, yeah, they, they saw the, the leak about the, the fucking DEI thing, which yeah. was bad, but now people are taking it way too far where they're seeing it and fucking everything. Yeah. You're seeing ghosts, chat. Yeah! Yeah! I did not yeah. Know Love Torkel. So alive. Speaking of rape, do you think LGBT freaks wanted to claim SCP after they found out uh, the rape tree? I don't know. <laughs> So Vian Arwitz and Ian Powell have been monopolized my work listening time. They're very good yeah. for background noise. I haven't I haven't watched uh, Aiden Powell in, in in a very long time, uh, but yeah, I, I very much enjoy uh, Narwitz. And yes, they do in fact use actual actual fucking. Uh, yes. Oh meat. my god! I, I I this is the first time I've I've cooked or we've cooked, I guess. Yeah. Oh, they saw the screen checks of the drag queens playing Exo Primal. Yeah, the the game that no one had any faith in. I don't even yeah, think no that the drag queens had any faith in that fucking game, dude. No, they didn't. They were, they got a paycheck. Uh, Sophia still hasn't gotten you that body pillow. No, we got Kentucky. We got Kentucky. All right, we shall. We fucking, shall sleep. Fucking Salmiak Wolverine, though. I I don't know. I uh, let him fuck up a separate as something other than Spider Man for a little bit. Really don't like him on beat, but at least he didn't jump on the Rocky Transphobic bandwagon. And Granny said, if you think this is transphobic, you're the bigot, but anyway, whatever. Uh, Haman's beat said a lot of dumbass shit. Yeah, like he was one fucker. of the guys that backs the Hogwarts Legacy crowd, in which, in which case, fuck you. Just fuck you. Yeah. One, one of the most retarded fucking, like, culture issues in fucking gaming. Something that honestly should be held over people's heads for a while, because it's like, no, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. Uh, Vanillaware makes great food in hot women. <laughs> The Exo Wagon? Uh, it's Exo Primal, which is like a, a fucking completely failed four-person co-op yeah. shooter that XCOM made uh, it, it, it was with a trying, battle pass system and everything. It's fucking dog shit. It was trying to be Left for Dead with Dinosaurs, but it wasn't, but it kind of was, but it 100% was not. It had no idea what the fuck it was. Yeah, it is just not good. Beetle! Beetle, 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 beetle! Yeah. Uh, should be, yeah, just right down there. You gotta take a right. Yep. But first, Beetle. Beetle. Honestly, I like the FMV cooking is charming. I like it. It's really cool. 
Yeah, yeah I, was, I was gonna say uh, in an interview whenever they they found out that it was live stream, they talked to uh, they talked to Itsuno and he's like uh, he's like it, it was way cheaper to just buy like a really high quality steak and cook it with footage yeah. and then feed the staff than it was to animate it. Yeah. And like I wish I wish more would do that left, left, yeah. left, turn around. I know, but I want to show this first. No. Oh. I didn't realize I was being attacked by wolves. I want to show this first because uh. So bridges in the game, as far as I'm aware, can be broken, and then they yep. will just never be put back up. No, no, no. Uh, any bridge that looks like this can be broken. Uh, it will be put up after a certain amount of in-game time because they okay. have to rebuild it. Okay. Uh, turn around. You see that over there? Get you some rift crystals. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you some rift crystals. Should I get excited for beetles the same way Luffy does? Oh god, chat. I'm literally Luffy. I'm 95% certain uh, Hamambi got buck broken by the Discord mods because he apparently was a Trump supporter for a while. Out of there, he was controlled up. Yeah, he's he's one of those people that said uh, said nigger one time, and then it's been lorded over him for like his entire life. Yeah, and he's super duper overcorrected. So now he just fucking like holier than thou's everybody everybody he possibly can. Yeah. Bridge physics. We do have bridge. Bri oh. Yeah, literal bridge physics. Pretty cool. Oh and yeah, there's a griffin. Griffins will, in fact, swoop down and try to kill you sometimes. I don't know how many griffins there are, but I do know the the one that I fought. I fought it like three times, and it was the same griffin each time, uh, on entirely separate parts of the map. I've killed like three. Okay. Beetle! 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 Get away from my beetle! Hey, if you get the if you get the be uh not the beetle, if you can get the uh yeah. Uh, if you can get the, uh, Griffin to land on the bridge, you can drop it and it'll die. Yeah. I, I will say this. The, uh, one thing I was rather disappointed in is, um, certain types of enemies will not aggro on other types of enemies. Yeah. And that's stupid. Uh, I had an altercation where I had a Griffin, a Chimera, and an entire bandit group, uh, all spawn. And none of them were fighting each other. <laughs> they were all targeting me even though they were hitting each other none of them aggroed on each other it, they were just targeting me and like i was actively taken out of the game because i was like at least the bandits should be doing something yeah like, you can at least go like oh well, the chimera and the and the griffin aren't fighting because like oh they're both monsters so whatever but like they, they at least know, the yeah. fucking bandits man yeah, it's like come on man come on they're not fucking human that took me out of it because there are moments where you can see uh, the enemies fighting so then in the overworld which leads me to believe that those moments are like semi-scripted. Yeah. Uh, which makes me really disappointed. All right. So we're we're in for a long fucking walk because we gotta walk all the way to the other side of the map. Isn't his avatar a brother? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bridge physics, but you can uh, can you close the car door by moving it? I think not. Another point goes to the division. Damn. Mini bridge. Mini bridge. Mini, mini men. I have not been able to get that fucking song out of my head, dude. Yeah, I know, right? Come on. Don't drag this. Do cardio. Do cardio. Do cardio. Do cardio. Do cardio. All right, there's something trying to kill us. She just casted the boom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Little, I was gonna say they, yeah, they hide in the grass. I do like that. I say that the enemies in this do feel like they're actually thinking. It's pretty cool. Oh, also another rift stone. Whenever you're done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, that's not a rift Oh, stone. yeah, no, 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 I know what this is. Uh, it's a fucking entrance to a cavern. Oh, okay, cool. It's a small one, but yeah. Well, I will say this. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is great for, like, the thing I like most about these games, which is uh, on my playthrough on PC, I haven't touched the main story literally at all, and I've gotten all vocations except for Mystic Spear Hand, um, and I've gotten, like, end-game gear because the game will just let you go, go and do that, and it's great. Good shit. It's good shit. Fish AI chat. We can't touch the water. The brine's gonna fuck us with tentacles. Yeah, yeah. The brine just kills you. What do you think about Magic Mush's videos? I think I've seen one or well, one or two of them, and they were okay. Yeah, he's pretty good. I like him. Uh, he's good at covering those, those internet figures. Nobody, people talk about, but at the same time, no one really has the definitive mm -hmm. video about. I can't his... remember which one I, I watched. It was one of the Sonic ones. I want to say. Yeah. One of the like the the people that like Sonic. I liked his uh, I liked his one about nostalgia trick clones just because that is <laughs> that is a subject near and dear to my heart. People pretending to be Doug, it's like it's it's so fucking weird. Yeah, did you save Danny yet? We haven't made the Boktal yet, chat. Yeah. 
Danny's Danny's stuck in Bokhtal. Do you think Griffith's final tier uh, that became a bailout become important in the future or will it never be brought up again? We don't know uh, what happened to it. We have no idea what happened to it, and I don't think it really matters. He just did an amazing atheist one. Something tells me he didn't go nearly as hard as he should have. Uh, yes, no. He mainly focused on the banana video, which, all fairness, was funny. That's but he funny, also. But he, we he, have the entire the entire like manipulating a schizophrenic into sleeping with him thing. Yep. That really needs to be touched on. Yeah. Yeah, really does. Was that? Was that come on, Danny. You gotta save Danny. Yeah. Uh, it really needs to be touched on. I'm telling you, chat. Every time, every time we say Danny, Leo's in the back of my head telling me to kill people. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, the nerd clones got dark after Game Dude. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. It, it was crazy how how Game Dude spawned a bunch of people uh, that started copying him, and they'd go home and kill their families. <laughs> I seem to recall that Very disappointing that Capcom launched the game with issues on PC and console. We need more games like these. Eh, I don't think it's that big a deal. Compared to some other launches that happened, it is nowhere yeah. near that big of a deal. Yeah. Well, consoles don't really have any issues. Uh, yeah. Like, you, you could say it running less than 60 frames a second is an issue, but, like, this game's not going to get 60 no matter what you fucking do to it. Yeah. Uh, it sucks, not. but, yeah. Uh, a steady 30? It's nice. It's yeah. nice. Um, so the only platform that really has a bunch of issues is PC, and even yeah. then, it's only... Uh, it's only performance issues when you're in cities. Yeah. And as much people go like, well, do you want that to be the standard? It's been the standard. Yeah. It, this has been how it's been for a long time. Because every single time people are given a chance to not do it, they buy it. Yeah. So it's like... It's, it, it's far too late. There's no retroactively changing it. You can't, yeah. you can't retroactively do anything, chat. You need to be on top of shit. Okay. Uh... Consoles are bitchy with mods. Yeah, you don't get no mods on console. Yeah. Uh, which isn't that isn't a thing that isn't a game developer thing though. I'm sure Capcom wouldn't support it. Uh, that is a a platform thing. Sony won't allow them, and uh, well, aside aside from that one time, Sony won't allow them, and uh, Xbox doesn't allow them either. Yeah. Is that the source where you heard the amazing Ethan story? Are you talking about the schizophrenic girl thing? Uh, his KF threat talks about it, but also it was a thing TJ publicly talked about on his Tumblr back in the day like 2010 time frame because he had an ex-boyfriend named kyle who was actually a schizophrenic girl that the family hated him so much they pulled a gun on him and told him to fuck off and you have to remember tj is a pathological liar who is unafraid to lie for his own benefit most youtubers are <laughs> so when he's telling a story about how the family was just a bunch of conservative bigots that didn't understand reminder that he is actively painting himself as the good guy and either a they didn't pull a gun on him and he's making that shit up to which, to which you have to ask, why are you making that up? Or B, they did pull a gun on him, in which you have to go, how did you piss them off so bad they pulled a gun on you? Because this isn't my conservative bigot thing. This is a, you pissed them off bad enough they wanted to kill you thing. Yeah. Are you complaining that you bought the game too? Uh, I'm not complaining about the game, Jet. Yeah, no, I love the game. I was going to say, I'm actually very happy about the game. Yeah. Magic Mush video didn't mention the schizo manipulating how he defended Mao killing landowners, but he did mention everything else. Well, he, he also focused on more universal shit, like uh, telling <laughs> telling telling a rape victim that they, they should relive it every single day, and once again, the banana video and the oil thing. It's like, I understood what he was doing, but it was one of the very surface level of, like, you're just getting into how much of a fuck-up he is. Yeah. Didn't he rape his sister? I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind the 60, I prefer, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mind the 30, I prefer 60, but 30 is perfectly fine. I love Zelda T uh, Tears of the Kingdom on, on Switch, and that game runs at 120 sometimes. Uh, my thing is, I just want it to be steady. Yeah. And that's what the, the console version is steady, at least on PlayStation. It runs at a steady 30 frames. Um, whenever I played it on my 10-hour stream, I experienced three frame drops the yeah. entire time, uh, which I think is pretty good. And yeah. once you can turn off uh, ray tracing, it'll be fucking perfect. I don't blame Magic Mush for not bringing up the schizo thing because I only know about that from you. Yeah, Este, it's something that people are don't even really know about because A, it happened so long ago, and B, TJ's been pretty smart about not talking about it. Yeah. Did that sort of ruined his rep? Anything he does, people will pull up the fact he's done unnatural things with banana. Yeah. I mean, you can play a no game share, it'd be 70 bucks, but you literally pre ordered this one. Yeah, we already admit we have exceptions. Yeah. Uh, which I didn't end up. Oh, okay. Oh, total, I, play, I paid 70 bucks. Uh, but individually, I actually didn't. I got I got the PlayStation one for I want to say fifty something, uh, and then I got the PC one for twenty bucks. Yeah. I, I just had the money, 
I had the discount on Humble Bundle and the money lying around. Yeah. I fully admit, no game should be 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who say that exact same thing also bought this on launch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the age of piracy and people actually being smart with how they finagle uh, game developers, mm -hmm. that's dead. Listen, okay, we we as as consumers need to support the the tranny versus uh, hyper goth uh, tranny hating uh, DRM cracking subculture. Okay, I know it doesn't sound real, chat, but I swear to fucking Christ, it's real. It's All an right? actual thing. There's two people that crack De Nouveau for a living. Not even for a living. There's two people that crack De Nouveau. One is in hiding. I think the tranny. I think the tranny won. Uh, and then there's a third one, a third secret one, and he only cracks fucking uh, 2K games. Yeah. The state of cracking is bullshit. It is very real, yeah. It is. Can't wait to turn off ray tracing to finally play it at, at least 60. Honestly, turning off ray tracing probably does boost the performance quite a bit. Uh, I will say this, unlike, um, unlike say, Spider-Man or something like that, yeah. ray tracing is used for a lot of stuff in the in the game. Yeah. Uh, just beyond our reach. You know, like, in, in Spider-Man, it's like, okay, maybe a puddle here, and then uh, the reflections on skyscrapers. Uh, kind of same with, with like, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, Devil May Cry 5, where it's uh, just reflections here and there. Uh, I've noticed it's used quite a bit in, in Dragon's Dogma 2. FIFA 24 got cracked. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! 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 <laughs> FIFA FIFA was cracked before uh, before um, fucking uh, Dragon's Dogma was cracked. Chat, the world's so over. Like actually though, holy fuck! As long as the tranny does their job, I don't care. Okay, to be fair, cracking games isn't their job. <laughs> yeah, it's a hobby thing. Yeah. Pentagon's easier to crack these days. It's insane to me that you have, like, three people, like, three people that know how to crack games. Uh, it used to be four, but they got outed because they were putting Bitcoin miners in the games that they cracked. Uh, which was, thanks a lot, you fucking assholes. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, so now now they're out of the picture. And the, another one, I semi-retired, I think, uh, which is the one I was talking about that hated the tranny. Uh, and then there's the tranny, and you're kind of just beholden to whenever they want to crack a game. And then there's the FIFA guy slash 2K guy who just fucking cracks every 2K game because he's a goddamn madman. We're so Ukraine war has been devastation for software piracy. It kind of has, yeah. I like to think that it is the uh, the Russo-Ukraine war. Yeah. There we go. Is Fit Girl any, uh, any safe cracker? I don't fucking know. I don't know if they even do their own cracks anymore. I thought they stopped doing that. Uh, I don't know. Well, you gotta be careful what sites you... Uh, obviously, you need to be careful what sites you go to to pirate stuff from, but, like, uh, there's a fucking metric fuck ton of sites out there that have... They get brought down, and then the same day they're they're brought down, uh, a, a fake version of that site is brought up full, yeah. of, full of fucking uh, viruses. Like, same day. Yeah, Ficko's a repacker, not a cracker. Okay, okay, yeah. Have you played this game before? Oh, yeah, I'm playing it on my own. It's fucking fantastic. Russia just wanted to stop people from pirating games. So true, chat. So true. You need to literally be severely mentally ill in order to understand Breakthrough De Nouveau's algorithm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's some bullshit. Didn't the tranny hater one make manifestos of hers? Or in hers? I don't know if, if it was in hers, but I, I, I do know that the, the one that didn't like the... didn't like tra It's not just the, the singular tranny. It's trannies in general. I do know that they, they were, like, weird. It, it's not just like... Uh, it's not like one of those, well, I'll let you be, but I hate you on a personal level type thing. It was a... Yeah, they're super weird about it, type thing. All, Slav all Slavic cyber nerds got too busy. <laughs> too busy being bombed. Best NBA game is 2K15. The one uh, with the phones in phoned in voice acting from basketball players. Shit's so funny. Oh, yeah, the NBA The Game. Yeah. Uh, some news. One person will do it for about 600 bucks, uh, but why not buy the game? The other one is like trying a hundred dollar Starfield. Yeah, you're right. That's kind of what I mean by like the the Wild West days are fucking over, and everyone everyone is just actively refusing to accept that as the case. They're like, no, no, no. If we just oh, keep yeah. trying, we just keep trying. It's like, dude, you had multiple chances. Oh, even further than that, Denuvo is is uh, either in, either finished developing or in the process of developing. There's two Cyclopses. Yeah, no. Uh, is in the process of developing a technology that they're going to pack with their shit that's just outright going to be fucking spyware. Yeah. If you crack a game, it's just going to fucking out you so that they can report you to the police. 
Uh, so those three, those three crackers either are going to get really fucking good at their at their jobs, uh, or they're going to stop cracking. Yeah. Like I said, the the the, the nice happy days of, of internet piracy are very much coming to an end. I want I want to I want to wage a lawsuit. Yeah. At least in regards to video game piracy, pirating a movie is easy as fuck. Oh, yeah, I don't even think fucking. I, I think the movie industry just gave the fuck up. Oh, they they, they basically did. It's not like video games where you can just, like, put so much fucking bullshit in there. Well, especially with the fact that, like, it's coming out more and more that it's actively becoming the only way to watch certain things. Oh, yeah. Where, where it's like, holy shit, they're just deleting entire shows from everywhere, and you have to buy, like, extremely overpriced second-hand DVDs. Yeah. Uh, Russia versus Ukraine is, uh, and its consequences to the ca uh, two cracking games. In this essay, I will outline exactly why... Russia's attack on Ukraine was necessary for the health of the video game industry. Yeah. <laughs> I paid attention to Dragon Dragon 2, but I really wanted how different uh, is the controls from the first one. Controls wise, it's it's functionally the same game. Yeah. Uh, it's just smoother to play. It's actually very easy to pick up and play, minus some weirdness with some of the vocations. Yeah. Uh, uh, like Trickster, you're probably not going to have any fun playing. Um, Wayfarer is very peculiar and not nearly as good as I thought it was. Uh, but, ooh, like, Archer and Magic Archer don't have melee options. They're just ranged. And while, Mage, uh, while Magic Archer makes that work because it, it deals so much damage, uh, Archer doesn't. Archer does not deal enough damage to, yeah. to accommodate that. The uh, I believe the intention was that it deals less damage, but you can use different arrow types uh, and be super overpowered. But, fuck you. That, that, that gets into the territory of, okay... I could go out and, and either hunt down and or buy explosive arrows. Or I could use Magic Archer. Yeah. <laughs> or any other class that does more damage. Uh, the new Willow series literally only exists illegally. It's not, it's not really worth saving, but still. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shit like that where, you know, obviously it's getting a lot easier to, to pirate ship in regards to, like, video because, I mean, everything's streaming now, so it's easy as fuck just to fucking record shit or, or, or screen cap it or what have you. Uh, it's easy as fuck to rip those, but like video games, yeah, there's there's absolutely going to come a time where people are going to be hit with that realization of, oh my god, we can't find half the things we used to be able to find. Uh, I, I am rapidly coming to the realization that anyone that says, oh, the internet never forgets, no. The internet no. memory holds shit every week. Yeah, the the internet has fucking Alzheimer's. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it has some it has sundowners, chat. Yeah, sometimes it'll absolutely remember things, and you can pull up the craziest shit. Other times, no, you can't find something you were able to find a week ago. Uh, one of the, one of the things that kind of kicked off that that kind of realization was, you know, obviously if you watch uh, Ross Scott, you know, Game Dungeon and all that, he talks about how hard it can be to find certain things for for games. Yeah, uh, uh, like ba like back in the day, uh, there would be dedicated communities that would have like up patchers. So like, uh, if a game wouldn't work on like Windows Vista or whatever the fuck, uh, they would up patch it so that it would work yeah. just fine. Um, a, a case of that is is the the Tomb Raider games before yeah. they were, before they re were remastered or slash remade. Uh, Tomb Raider, the only way to get it to work, even though you could buy a legitimate copy on Steam, uh, was you had to have a fan up patcher to make it playable. Uh, and stuff like that, those those up patchers would just fucking disappear off the face of the internet. Yeah. Uh, like the, the download links, like there are certain websites like uh, Mediafire or, or Mega or stuff like that. Uh, well, they would be tied to these these sites and the links would just be dead. Yeah. So you can't, you can't get the patcher no more. So you have to rely on somebody on like a niche forum to have a copy of that and maybe have posted a copy of it on that on that forum otherwise you're fucked yeah it's gone and on top of that uh that whatever link they posted has to still be up that forum still has to exist yes there there are, there are multiple multiple things where where it's pointing to the internet becoming smaller and smaller and smaller to degrees where i don't think people are going to realize how terrifying it is until it already hits yeah it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be too late before like yeah. anything even like you have you have people that uh, are trying to combat stuff like that, and they're just yeah. kind of they're just kind of scraping the internet and trying to keep uh, keep stuff alive in general. Yeah. Uh, but a few solitary efforts is just not enough. Yeah. Well, the learning about how the Wayback Machine is going back and editing and deleting archives should have had something. People should have been screaming yeah, yeah. fucking bloody murder about that. Yeah. That should have had some of the biggest backlash on the fucking internet because that. 
That quite literally is erasing some last vestiges of the mere existence of something. Yeah. I mean, that, that is quite literally erasing it to the point that it is completely gone and you're never getting it again. Uh, and people just kind of like went, oh, wow, that sucks. And once again, mainly focused on from the political angle of like, oh, well, they're going to use it to hide articles and shit like that. It's like, no. Think about the actual existential thing, the issue that brings up. Yeah. You know, if, if an archive website decides it, they can just wipe something away to where it never existed. It's the it's Library of Alexandria, but they're able to selectively decide what they want to get rid of. Yeah. I mean, that that, that is scary. Uh, once again, once again, the you have the shit with Gumroad where they're banning not safe for work thing, and, and yeah. the only people trying to keep it alive are fucking... Uh, are, are people pirating shit. Are people pirating shit. Uh, obviously, might go like, oh, well, that's just internet porn. But, dude, it, it affects everybody. Well, well, Gumroad has way more than just fucking internet porn. Yeah. Uh, it has it has fucking a bunch of services, a bunch of yeah. like, non-porn arts. Uh, still, like, it's only a matter of time. Like, at, at first, it's just, oh, well, you need to you need to be, like, slightly less risque. Uh, but it's, it's always something more around the corner. It's, it's always it's something. It's testing more. the waters. It's You test the waters with porn stuff, and then at any point in time in the future, you can, you can expand upon it. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, it's the fact that, like, look at what happened with Tumblr when they announced the, their porn ban. Yeah. I mean, that, that caused, like, an absolute shakeup to that website. And, and it, it killed the fucking website. It killed the fucking website. I mean, it exists as a shell of itself, and the unfortunate dregs were, were shoved onto Twitter and other sites. Which they have completely fucked up internet culture ever since. Irreparably. Yeah, irreparably. So it's this thing where nobody yeah. takes... Yeah. Just nobody takes this shit seriously until it's way too fucking late to stop it. Yeah. How long till Kimono gets taken down? I don't know. It legitimate depends, it depends on where it's hosted. It's a legitimate question to ask because it's like, yeah, I mean, and, and once again, it's a thing where I think internet artists kind of don't understand how important it is for shit like that to stay up because sometimes it's literally the last archive of whatever they have. Yeah. You know, it'd be like, oh, well, I don't want some asshole, you know, ripping off my Patreon and pirating. It's like, yeah, that sucks, but what if your Patreon vanishes one day? Like, it, it, it's a thing where, yeah, piracy sucks and all that. People are, are stealing your money and. For smaller time guys, it can legitimately affect them financially, but there will come a day where you kind of understand, holy shit, I can just be wiped away and no one will even know I was here. Yeah. Uh, you know, when decentralization and now you're getting it. No, this is a consequence of this centralization. Exact, yeah, this is the exact opposite of decentralization. It's specifically payment processors uh, who are in control of the system. They're the biggest players on the field going, you will play by our rules or you're not going to play at all. Yeah, it, it's Stripe and the like because it, it literally what it is is Stripe comes in and says, yeah, well, I don't like this. I don't like this one this one specific uh, type of content. Uh, so if you don't get rid of it, you literally cannot process money for your business anymore. Yeah. There are no alternatives because it's not just Stripe. It's Stripe and the alternatives banding together to decide what you are and are not allowed to spend money on and what you are and are not allowed to sell. It's actual monopoly tactics that are, in fact, banned and are not supposed to be how they're... They're not supposed to be operating this openly. Yeah. They're not supposed to be doing this shit, and they just are because they know nobody's going to enforce it. Yeah, a, a lawsuit needs to be fucking levied. That is the only way anything can get done. But these websites don't want to do that. They're scared of the bad PR. Yeah, because not even bad PR, because the moment you do it, they're just going to halt all purchases, and then you as a business cannot function. Yeah. Like actual fucking retaliation shit. Dude, look at laugh at boomers. Almost everyone, everyone has that boomer mentality of why take internet seriously. I'm not a child. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's this thing of like, dude, you have no, I fu you have no fucking idea how bad it's gonna be around the corner right. if you don't look at this and pay attention. Cause it's not even a thing of like, oh, it's so over, we can't fix it. We can absolutely fix it. People just need to get off their fucking ass and fix it. It requires the Ross Scott level of dedication to it, which is actively getting together with lawyers and setting something up and then getting the funding because you, you're literally going after payment processors. Yeah. I don't know how much money is tied up in payment processors, but I'm imagining oh, mul multiple banks worth of money. Oh, yeah. So they can drag this out probably your entire fucking lifetime if they wanted to. The extent I had to get hosted in Moldovia. Holy shit. Chat, chat, uh, show me Moldovia on a map, please. The, the place doesn't sound real. Yeah. That sounds like the type of place uh, uh, Dr. Doom would live. Ross Scott is dead inside. Ross Scott is a, he's a funny individual, chat. He's fighting. You gotta give him credit there. He is fighting. Yeah. It requires Null's level of dedication. It, it requires beyond Null's level of dedication. Because Null, Null taps out. Yeah, he, he gets tired. 
Uh, Null, yeah, Null gets tired of shit. It, it requires the Ross Scott thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, Null is able to keep his own vested interest in his website uh, up for his his own pride, really. Uh, I don't think it's a, a sense of altruism. I think it's literally just a sense of pride. If I'm yeah, yeah, honest. just be like, fuck you, you're not going to take it from me. Yeah. Uh, it, it requires somebody that is willing to put their, their, their neck on the line. Yeah. Because uh, it, it is... A legal battle is a incredibly long, drawn-out yeah. fucking mess. And time and time again, people have shown they're not willing to do that. Mm -hmm. they, they are not willing to do that. They get scared, and they will back out because they are too scared of the possibility. Is Mordovia where the Lord of the Ring lives? Dr. <laughs> Doom lives in Latvia, you dummy. I know! People love to complain about the idea of six to, uh, seven dollars against a microtransaction, but they keep buying skins. They buy COD. They keep supporting these things. And the act surprise happens. Oh, yeah. Well, it's because they they have the dumbass uh, they have the dumbass mentality of well, this game is doing it ethically. This game's doing it right. You know that kind of thing. Where it's like no, no. The point was not this game does it right. The point is this should not be normal. But now it's become normal. I was gonna say it is well beyond normal. Yeah. We're it, we're in we're in the part where uh, you... you've had children grow up with it. Yeah, well, you, we're in the part where you're no longer uh, you're no longer watching out for somebody crossing crossing the border. You're watching out for them staking land. Yeah, you need the. How'd you unlock it? Uh, this quest unlocks it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you have to come up here to fight monsters. Okay. Uh, you're, you're what you're looking out for is them taking even more land. It's yeah. not the shit that they've been doing forever because they they know that they can get away with it with zero issues. Yeah. It, it's them implementing new ways to fuck you that you need to be watching out for and put yeah. a super strong stance up against. Uh, an example of that done well, well, temporarily done well, because you will have to repeatedly do it every time it pops up. They, they will try time and time again. Is whenever Yakuza 7 uh, locked their, their final dungeon and their uh, New Game Plus behind DLC. Yep. Uh, and it worked in Japan, and they tried it in America, in the West at large. And they got they got pushed back in the West at large, uh, so they they stopped it. They didn't do it for Yakuza Seven, and they didn't do it for the for uh, the remake of, of Ishin. Uh, but Yakuza Eight came out, and they didn't get that pushback. They got minor, very very minor pushback, yeah. which led to them successfully doing it. Yeah, uh, everyone was more focused on the translation thing and the the wokenization thing, and they were able to slip it in. They they, they ignored the very very obvious monetization issues. Mm -hmm. Was that Yakuza 8? No. Uh, Yakuza 8 had it as well, but Yakuza 7 tried to do it first because that it was successfully done in Japan. In Japan, that's just how it was. Yeah. Uh, Yakuza 7 tried it in the West, and everybody lost their collective fucking minds, uh, and they, they backed off of it and was like, oh, yeah, we won't do that. It just comes with the game. Yeah. Uh, if one or two payment processes are essentially 99% of the market, that sounds like a fucking monopoly and needs to be broken up. The U.S. government could do this at any time. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder, I wonder who's processing all the U.S. government's funds. Uh, no, but like it literally, it literally requires someone to open a fucking lawsuit. Yeah, uh, you because know, people have tried the alternative thing. People have tried the alternatives, or like they get I'm shut gonna make, down. I'm gonna make my own, and they either get shut down or they were fucking or they're scams. bought out. Uh, they, or they get or bought, they're bought out. out. Yeah. Uh, the the thing is, like, you need to go. You need to take it a step further and make laws to prevent these things from being exploited. Because it, it, it is explicitly the people in charge. Uh, exploiting it for some type of gain. Yeah. Uh, whether it's long-term gain of trying to enforce uh, some sort of censorship or, or something like that. There is always a long con that people are playing. Yeah. Especially business people. They are yeah. fucking subhuman. Hell, it's not even a thing if you need to write new laws. Just enforce the ones that already apply to monopolies. I mean, it's it's already a thing. Well, no, because uh, you, you need to you need to make laws for a new type of, of economy. Fucking payment processors weren't a thing back then. That is a, a new age. That is a, a age of the internet type thing. And the the laws regarding the internet have have long, long, long been outdated. Uh, we're working under the assumption of of uh, the wild west of the internet in terms of our our, our governance. But that's not the case. The, the uh, we, the way things are. It is a self-governing body, entirely under the threat of government interaction. Uh, the w same way with gov with uh, not governments. Uh, same way with video games. Anytime, anytime uh, the government starts strong arming in on something, the the video game industry goes, no, we'll self-regulate. It's fine. You don't have yeah. to get involved. You don't have to get involved. Uh, and that is that has become a problem. Yeah. It needs it needs to be addressed. Uh, gaming isn't niche entertainment. It makes more than, more than movies and music combined annually. It does exactly. The kinds of people that buy COD and DLC don't care about gaming at large. It's entertainment to them. Yes, 
Uh, the average person doesn't fucking care about anything like that. Yeah. Uh, it, it requires, like, a dedicated number of people to sit there and be like, uh, no, you can't, no more. No more. Yeah. Because, yeah, the average COD guy just doesn't fucking care. He's he's buying the skins. He's buying every skin. Uh, Fortnite, people who play Fortnite are buying every single Fortnite skin that comes yeah. out every week. Kids genuinely don't month. know, and they don't care. They don't. They, they didn't grow up in a time that didn't have this. They grew up yeah. in a time that, like proliferated it well more than that i mean they're they're genuinely young enough to where they don't even understand this as a concept of like wait a minute i'm not supposed to be doing this it's like yeah no i mean it's it's something where it will only get worse you know there's no long-term thinking they're they're a kid there there's literally no long-term thinking in their brain they, yeah they they're gonna play the game as long as they're entertained by it and then they're just gonna fucking d delete it yeah they're gonna buy another one uh while suits are incredibly expensive and drawn out, having someone fight uh, fight this fight with uh, resources that last likely doesn't exist. Yeah, uh, just like I said with Ross Scott, the only reason Ross Scott's able to do it is because he has support. He has a lot of support backing him. Yeah. Uh, and there's a reasonable enough precedent set on it. Yeah. Uh, to fight against fucking payment processors, you wouldn't be fighting against payment processors existing or anything like that. You'd be fighting against specifically uh, the fact that they have the ability to control what they process. Yeah. Uh, which... If it was a if it was a thing of like oh payment processors are mom and pop shops it, it, it'd be something you can't fight yeah but these are these are just uh, these are just an aspect of every single everyday they, life they are a monopoly uh, the the idea of them being able to say no you can't buy this thing is ridiculous yeah especially in fucking America yeah uh, if you're not allowed to refuse fucking baking a cake for somebody you should not be able to refuse processing their payment yeah yeah fuck you. Like, fuck you for that. Mm -hmm. It looks like the Left 4 Dead 2 still has a large modding community. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So didn't you pay Didn't you pay for the skins? You goddamn right, Chet. I paid for the Metal Gear skins. Uh, like I said, there are kids growing up on this stuff that they, they save up their quote-unquote allowance or whatever the fuck their parents give them. And every month, whenever there's a new skin, they're buying every single... That's, that's a bandit. Every single new skin. Like, it's just normal to them. Yeah. Uh, what's the next video on just uh, deciding to get sure Lolly the Almighty? Uh, Apocalypse Now. They won the coin toss. Yeah. PayPal shit's fucking evil. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, PayPal in general. PayPal. Well, I was going to say, PayPal is explicitly even scummier because they, they actively steal people's money a lot. Yeah. PayPal's gotten in trouble multiple times for multiple different reasons. Uh, they wanted to do that thing of like, oh, if we determine that you, you breached our TOS, even though you're not using our fucking website, uh, we can, like, fine you. They literally tried to push the idea of fining people. And people said, fuck off for that. And then they tried sneaking into their term servers again. Like, it, it's a thing where companies should not be this confident in what they do. But people, by and large, over and over and over again, will fuck up and fail. Uh, they will fail and just let it happen because they're either too scared to confront it. They can't confront it. They just don't have the power to do it. Yeah. Or, or even worse than that, they're bought off. Uh... I was gonna say uh, further further than that, like uh, you can have like the public backlash, but unless it gets brought to court, there is no precedent to tell yeah. them that they can't do it again. Yeah, uh, they'll they'll survive the week of bad PR, and then everyone will go back to it. Cause what yeah. choice do you have? Where are you gonna go? I was go? gonna say like they, like the the number of PayPal alternatives are fucking thin. Yeah, I had to jump through fucking hoops to use a fucking alias on a business account. That's how oh, yeah. bad it is. Yeah. Like, they are desperate for, for complete control yeah. over everything you do. Yeah, they, they want complete control over everything. They, they, they want no anonymity, and they should not yeah. be allowed to do that. Turn, to turn around. Yeah, oh, Beetle. 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 Uh, check stream marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cancel PayPal for that bullshit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, when games like Mass Effect 3 and Dead Space 3 came out, fuck you EA people fought to not have much transactions in games. Now though, it's been so long, people just accept it. I blame GTA Online. Th that's what I said. I, I think I think the moment the the battle was lost irreparably yeah. was the moment GTA Online came out and it made five hundred million dollars in a year. Yeah. The budget to make Grand Theft Auto V was two hundred fifty some odd million. Yeah. It made double its production cost in Wait. a single year. It's been going for ten years years yeah uh mercenary x for dollar remember the suez canal in egypt where the ship avoided block uh the canal drew a giant dick on the map the ship was <laughs> hacked remotely just like the one in boston last night they're saying it's not terrorist keep things calm mark my words it's bad i don't think so i don't oh, think no, so I was, I was gonna say it's not terrorist no yeah no because like they outright said it was a power issue and they were trying to warn people 
Uh, yeah, you, you you have the you have the um, you can hear you can hear the recordings of the radio where they're uh, they're saying what's going on and yeah. like the guys like like turn you need to turn you need to turn 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 turn. Yeah, yeah, they're freaking out. Uh, as for piracy, I absolutely will support it. Uh, now, so long as I can get my games to be de nouveau free, <laughs> to the point when the video game collapse in the 1980s will look like nothing compared to what will happen today. Well, it, it may collapse the stock market. Well, uh, the video games, like like was brought up earlier, video games are bigger uh, than both movies and music yeah. combined. Yeah, uh, they are. They are the big thing. Yeah. Period. Uh, don't be surprised if the entire internet gets shut down and destroyed before the end of the uh, year. The way I hear uh, from my military buddies, is going to be freaky bad given how terrifying things are getting right now with everything behind the scenes. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I won't. No. Uh, sorry, but I don't trust the government to not screw it up and take over. Unfortunately, we need a military coup and the way that things we uh, are oh, going God. to make come to that. No. The military is incompetent. Yeah, no, it's not. I was going to say. Uh, I wish I was kidding, but the payment process must face consequences or else. There's no consequences. Like Yeah, the like I said, there's... You want to know why? Because everyone's waiting on a fucking military coup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, there's no consequences. The The law the law is a lawsuit. You need, yeah. to, you need to either establish an actual law, you know, uh, I said it before. I'll say it again. You need to you need to write your congressman. Yeah. You know, uh, get with people and ac- actually outline a real fucking law. Actual. Set the, set the groundwork for it. Like a- actual no bullshit activism. The thing people yeah. used to do back in the day. I was gonna say yeah. Back before uh, activism just became crying online, because uh, it's the only thing. Because like this isn't a, this isn't something a politician gives a shit about. It's something they don't yeah. think about. Well, yeah, that, that's it, does, what... it does not affect them. It is not within their realm of reality. That's why I kept telling people like when when I was talking about like the the GamerGate was never political thing. It's like it's not. These are these are asshole people in positions of power abusing their power. Mm-hmm. That has nothing to do with politics. That's just human nature. And turning it into a political issue means it's fucking unfixable. Oh yeah. Because what are you gonna do? Get a, get a well, fucking yeah, politician say, to tweet about this? I, I was gonna say like you turn it into a political issue and then literally it it becomes a, a us versus them thing and nothing yeah. gets done. Your 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 politics that you are living in right now have not fucking changed. Everything like, has only gotten substantially worse for like 30, 40 years. There has been no significant progress in politics whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, turning everything into a political issue just means that issue is now permanently stagnated. Yeah. Is permanently stagnated. Nothing will ever get fixed, and people will only use it to make money. Uh, the the biggest things that have killed any sort of attempt to actually fix shit. Mm-hmm. And when you're talking about things like uh, payment processors having control over every aspect of your life, like that, uh, that's not something you can just let let become a political issue and just die. You need to yeah. you need to have some some force behind it. Some some something. Yeah, like uh, the idea of people supporting it in any way is like you are fucking stupid. It's not a political thing. You are fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Oh god, uh, the Wizard 101, the Club Penguin membership slippery slope to seventy dollars games. Truly, we live in a we live in a fucked up society. Chat, what would you rather have? A society with seventy dollars games, but no Final Fantasy fourteen, or or a reality with Final Fantasy fourteen and eighty dollars games? Thing I just bought the new Dodge expansion. <laughs> the thing is, fourteen is actually more affordable. It is. It is. Well, it's more affordable for like six months or yeah, something. Yeah. My progress in politics when you and your buddies can enrich themselves of fucking over everyone else. Yeah. Well, it's like, that's how it's always been. Everyone talks about like, oh yeah, politics is the realm of corrupt and people like whore out to lobbyists and shit like that. Your pet issue is not going to be the exception. No, 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 not at all. Like, it, it's very much not going to be the exception. So when people just focus on the fact of this is wrong, we shouldn't be fucking doing this. That's a lot easier to win people over and just universally agree, yeah, this is fucked up, we shouldn't be doing this. I never touched 14, burn that game. <laughs> you disgust me, chat, hop on 14 right now. I mean, I can play 14 forever. <laughs> I'm pirating everything. Yeah. Chat, you can't pirate an MMO. Chat, chat can you pirate an MMO? As you're up turning things to political issues isn't also human nature, that would suck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, ogre. Ogre. Set him on fire. Well, the American party system is a, is a rather new invention, chat, so... Yeah. We weren't supposed to have them. We aggressively were not supposed to have them. That was something that George Washington and yeah. I like, killed people yeah. for. Listen. Whatever you do after I'm dead, just don't let it become a two-party system. Just no matter what you do, promise me you won't let it become a two-party system. Ah! Ah! You see, George... The economy's in shambles, man. 
can pirate you can pirate brass from the shooting range by being a brass goblin. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking banning you, chat. Like go back to 14, but it's loaded with oversensitive truants and draconian DMs. Uh, well, as long as you're not fucking cussing and uh, saying slurs in chat, you're pretty good. And I've seen a lot of people get away with that. Yeah. Uh, so maybe pick a better server. Ooh. Oh my god! Damn. This game's really fun. This game's so much fucking fun, dude. Oh, this game's awesome. It's fantastic, dude. There we go. Make it a five-party system. Oh god! What's a good PayPal alternative? Uh, chat, I'll be honest, I don't have one for you. Yeah, no. All of them are awful. Every single one of them is fucking terrible. Uh, there have been multiple people that went, Oh, I want to make my own. I want to make my own. And then it's either fucking stolen people's information, uh, sold them out to Bitcoin miners, uh, was fucking malware, or just ran off with the fucking money. I, I wish I could give you an, al an alternative. Uh, Chainsaw Man, a character called uh, call Fiend, the faggot devil in Gemini version. That's awesome. <laughs> We get that money. What about Square Up? I've never heard of Square Up, chat. Uh, 3HI and another 70 year old man are the only brass goblins at the local range, though. Uh, all of the ranges around us don't let you gather your own brass. They they do it. Yeah, they do it because they sell the ammo back. Yeah, I was going to say they, they repack it and sell it. I always forget people, uh, people use PayPal or Venmo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those, those are go to. You did it again! <laughs> To the brine with ye! Oh god. He just- he fucking full on <laughs> killed you, dude! To the brine! You know what? No, I want to see how far back it sends me. Uh, Square Up is what I use for commissions, but I have no mm -hmm. idea if they passed laws uh, since a year back, uh, since the years back since I uh, last used it. Uh, if it's anything like uh, PayPal, it's gonna be shitty. Yeah, it's gonna be awful. Uh, the main thing with payment processors now is uh, they all, uh, well, you know, on top of just being shitty and dictating what you are and are not allowed to buy, uh, is their uh, insistence on not having any internet in anonymity. Yeah, like they, they outright refuse to allow you to use as state. I, I had to jump through fucking hoops with PayPal to set up my alias. And even then, even though it's supposed to be the Oh My Lolly, it's the fake name I made the account under. Yeah. So I've had people go like, oh shit, dude, like, uh, I think it's, you know, I, I think it's like doxing you. It's like, no, that's a fake name I set up specifically because I don't want to use my real name. Yeah. And people are like, wait a minute, you can do that? It's like, yeah, you have to jump through a lot of fucking, you physically have to call people at PayPal and explain to them, I don't want to use my real information. Yeah. And even then they're going to be like, well, we kind of need this. Like, I will give it to you yeah. so you can use it and verify who I am. I'm not using my real shit on this. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph Conrad. Yeah, right. Joseph Sneed. Yeah. First an extra dollar. I wish we could take uh, have it with law. Problem uh, misses that we have almost nothing but corrupt judges. It takes a miracle to just get anything uh, on the good and right side. Uh, uh, he said it yourself, asshole. People in positions of power, these people are corrupt. Not every single judge is like that. No, not every single judge is, is cartoonishly corrupt. There are some that just want to do their fucking job. I see. Yeah, I think you're too far away. Oh, and you're also in the middle of combat because the the fucking ogre. The problem is the fact that, as they, people don't even want to get started. They don't want to get started because they're scared of shit like corrupt judges. They're scared of shit like being dragged into a courtroom. Like, they are terrified of even getting started. Uh, it, it, it is a thing where, where <laughs> what has caused the most fuck-ups in our culture and has caused the most stagnation is explicitly fear. Uh, the assholes that want to rot everything use fear tactics because they fucking work. People get scared of losing their, their daily routine and having to confront something, so they turn their tail and run. The best possible example I can have of this is every fucking time, every fucking time a, a franchise becomes woke or what have you, people say, well, I can't be part of this anymore, I'm going to leave and find something else. They, they will explicitly leave and cede ground to the people they despise uh, and are shocked it will only continue to get worse. Uh, you've seen it with, like, guys who were, who were, like, in the industry saying, I can't be part of this anymore, I have to leave. And then they wonder why everyone's insane. One of the direct points by fucking DEI people and ESG people are, we have to make the environment uncomfortable enough so people we don't like leave and the people we like will stay. They are planning on people tucking their tail and running away. Uh, but people are so fucking scared of just confronting them and saying, no, you're not gonna fucking do that, that, that nothing ever gets done. 
Nothing ever gets done in, in the workplace. Nothing ever gets done in, in by large. Nothing ever gets done legally. Nothing ever ever gets done. Nothing ever happens is the, the key phrase here. Communist takeover? It's not even a communist takeover. Like, it, once again, this has nothing... You can't nothing... call it a takeover whenever you just fucking leave and don't do anything. Yeah, it's like, dude, it's... It's, it's you a... leaving it behind. It has nothing to do with the, the political thing. Th this has been an issue since the fucking 80s. It's been an issue since the fucking 60s. This has been an issue since people have fucking existed. Assholes that want to take over something they didn't fucking make, they don't appreciate it, they squander it. That's all it is. You know, once again, turning it into the political fight just turns into a back-and-forth slap fight. You just call it out for what it is, which is people have no fucking clue what's actually in their hands. Arv. He says playing a $70 game after launch. As stated, you already see the ground to the $70 thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking over. <laughs> they did it. I was going to say the, the $70 uh, change succeeded long ago. Yeah. It's like they did it. They did it with the Lux editions. People were buying people were buying a hundred dollar games before this. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a reason there's a reason games are coming out with hundred and twenty dollars more than that. Yeah. Uh, editions. It's because people do buy them. Yeah. The fact the fact that it happens more than more than once a year means that not only is it is it successful, uh, it has become an institution. Like, yeah. It's something that will not change. Yeah. I'm never buying a game after 2022. I'm never buying a game again. It started and people didn't even realize. That's what I mean. I'm confused. I didn't you say that sometimes those franchises aren't for you anymore. I thought I remembered uh, one of you saying it's okay to leave franchise behind a couple weeks ago. The thing is, you can just say, hey, I'm not really liking where this is going and leave. There's that. And then there's outright, hey, these people are trying to take over. They're explicitly saying they want to force us out. And I'm going to leave and leave it in their hands. The, the whole, I can't be part of this anymore, and trying to paint yourself as a fucking martyr for it. Sometimes you are supposed to stand and go, no, I'm not fucking leaving. You're not going to fucking tell me to leave. You know, that's what Battletech right now is dealing with, where yeah. they, they had people in their fan base outright doxing people and trying to, like, threaten mass shootings. And the people in charge of Battletech were backing them and saying, well, you're just a bigot if you don't like them. And it's like, that's the exact moment where you go, no, fuck you, that's not normal. Fuck you. Hogwarts Legacy is probably one of the few times people have actually stood and done that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can see a ground. I really even pay 60 bucks for a game. You have no idea. Like, dude, it's over. They fucking yeah. did $70. You, you already lost. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you participate in the system. The system has moved past you. Yeah. You only learn how to crack games, teach each other how to crack games is the only way. The okay, I agree with that chat, but they work. I don't want to work. It was over when they increased the price of games from 40 to 50 back in the PS3 era and let yeah. them do it once they'll do it again. Yeah. No, chat, you don't understand. Inflation, though. Where's my pay race? Yeah, right. Sweet spot, Masterclass games from 2012 to 2017. You're not wrong. How long till $80 games? Probably not very long. Probably within the I, next I, five years. I was, I was going to say, I, I doubt they're going to wait very long. Yeah. I mean, it writes less about the political and social reasons more akin to predatory practices. It's always just been people. It has always just been people. I mean, it, it's it's something to where it's universal. No matter what politics a company claims to have, because they don't fucking have any fucking politics. Like, no, no, companies don't give two shits. Look at the, look at the Middle Eastern version of their games. I mean, it's like... It, it all comes down to you have CEOs, you have investors, you have greedy assholes that want to increase their bottom line. They'll say anything to get money. Anything. So the idea that this is all actual true believers pushing this crap, no. No. The, the true believers were shot in the back of the head long ago. They now have their puppets that will claim everyone else isn't believing enough because then no one's looking at them. Well, the the... The biggest example right now is the, the shit that Mark Kern was talking about with the, the Flintlock game. The Flintlock that hired the DEI Sweet Baby Associate, who then fucked everything in that studio to pieces. Yeah. Developers involved with that studio outright said, yes, they fucked everything to pieces. One of the first things they pushed for is you're not allowed to know the executive salary. Yeah. Which is like, how is that not the biggest red fucking flag there is? It's like, you're going to tell me that, you know, this is all a Marxist revolution. Meanwhile, you're not allowed to know how much the executives make. I also think that's illegal. I don't think you can hide that. They push for it, so. Honestly, I mean, you can push for illegal shit all you want. It's yeah. still illegal. 
Uh, can't wait for the first quadruple game to be broken as hell. Yeah, right. <laughs> chat, chat. What about uh, what 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 about uh, what fuck was it? Not Redline. Uh, God, what the fuck was it called? Red something. Chat, help. <laughs> chat. Take Wally doesn't know what I'm talking about. It is illegal. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, skull and skull and bones. All right. Okay. Listen, we're not going that hard, chat. We're not going yeah. that hard. Redfall. Yeah, Redfall. There we go. People have been buying digital deluxe for like ten toy more, and that's oh, yeah. a digital art book and maybe a skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, as much as people go, we shouldn't let this shit be normal. It's like it is normal. I was say it's long. It's long past normal. Yeah. Like uh -huh. it's, it's not even a black pill thing. It's it's the fact of like, dude. It's why it's why people do grow apathetic. Is it's it's one of those it's one of those like. Physically, it doesn't matter if you and everyone you know, uh, know, love, or even have passed on the street, banded together to get rid of it. The number of people that partake in it is is just financially. It's so much better to just appeal to those people. Yeah. I literally mentioned Redfall earlier. I know, I know. I was trying to remember it. It fall sucked hard, dick. It was awful. Yeah. Terrible video. Uh, unplayable, and then on top of that, it was just like it just terrible mechanics, dude. Yeah, remember when one hundred forty dollars got you a statue, uh, USB, and art book with your collector's edition? Yeah. God, I wish. The issue with deluxe edition nowadays is that they barely have anything physical to offer. Yeah, like yeah. They, they are actually just money traps. Well, uh, it happened. It happened. It happened a long time ago. They just stopped. Uh, they stopped adding shit. The yeah. digital deluxe edition was just the name for what you get online. That's right. One of them was right here. Yeah. So that's two of them. So the guy in, in chat that only saw one, here's two. All right, so I got to remember that when I get home so I can activate that. Yeah. Uh, this is, These are the only two I've, I've found in the entire game. So they're, they're fucking... They're here, but they are nestled around. Yeah. Uh, unless they change their mind, Sony are thinking of bumping the price up again, according to Insomniac yeah, Leaks. Yep. Yeah! The Insomniac Leaks wanted to... Uh, by the time they, they came out with Spider-Man 3, they wanted to have... What was uh, it, eighty dollar games. I thought it was like ninety dollar games. Or it was just like eighty dollars. It yeah. will lead to ninety dollars. Like they, they will up it until they can't up it anymore. Yeah. Uh, that is just the nature of business. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like Insomniac already was thinking about splitting up Spider Man three into like what three different games, all different parts. Yeah, they wanted to to split in the into. I want to say it was three different games, but it was it would be Spider Man three part one, part two, and then part three. God damn it. I know exactly what it is. They're doing the exact same fucking thing Final Fantasy VII is doing and is being oh. incredibly successful doing. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's You're what they right. want to do. Fuck. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. See, chat, it's those realizations right there. You have those and you go, fuck, we've already lost. Yeah, it's like, god damn it. Because all it takes is one success. And it takes one success and then you go, okay. It's done. Yeah. Yeah. I also, plunging attacks being added to the game. Fucking Kino. It's so very good. Let's give him a five full price with Elden Ring, I believe. Good time. Yeah. Yeah, Elden Ring's great. Uh, you know, I, I don't approve of six, uh, seventy dollars games. Like I said, I've said multiple times this stream. Uh, this game just came out three days ago. You can get it for fifty some odd dollars through Green Man Gaming. Take advantage of that if you want it. Uh, this game's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I'm probably gonna put well more than uh, than a hundred hours into it. Well, well more. Uh, love him or hate him, Yahtzee was dead on when he said gamers are consumers that can save too much ground. That was back in 2018. Yeah. Uh, fuck, dude. Uh, a buddy at work uh, mentioned Yahtzee. He, he said Yahtzee at, at uh, I think it was Escapist, and I was like, I was like what? It's <laughs> like, holy shit, I forgot people watch him. Uh, I, was like, I was like, oh, I forgot these are actual internet personalities and not just people that I, like, subconsciously hate. RF4 Remake Gold Edition doesn't even include all the DLC. Their DLC charms you have to buy individually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought I thought the fucking gold edition included it, but apparently not. Uh, you're forgetting though that FF7 remake stuff is because of the fact they're expanding on something pre-existing. Trying to do that will uh, with Spider-Man only result in complaining. You don't understand. It has. It, I, I was I was gonna say it, it doesn't matter what they're expanding upon or not. Yeah, it, it does not matter what the intention is. They're gonna do it. The the fact that they were able to split a single game over three games, and not only that, they have people they have people exactly like you. That are going to say the exact same thing. That's all they need. That is all the yeah. success they need. They have public backing yeah. and a financial incentive uh, and financial success. Yeah, how you how you assholes like that? Yeah. Please help me. Poor Cal, fuck me, please. I'm begging you. Ugh. 
For some reason, uh, DD2 is 65 on Steam here, not 70. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, he's on a channel called Second Wind now. It's something he started with several extra Capes employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I don't think my buddy watches him anymore because he only watched whatever his show was before. Yeah, on Escapist, yeah. Yeah. By the time FF7 Remake is done, it's probably going to cost you several hundred thousand dollars. It's probably going to take an entire uh, terrible <laughs> to play. Yeah. Well, it's going to be it's going to be three games total, uh, and every game is going to do the same the same thing like. Uh, uh, rebirth is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, like what Rebirth did, where it, 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 there's going to be a package that is like twenty dollars or ten dollars more than the previous one, uh, that includes the the previous game along with it, and it's essentially going to be them reselling you the game for like yeah. a new console probably. I wouldn't say FF7 being an episode is successful. People are already sick of it. Uh, episode games just don't sell well. Valve tried it with uh, Half Life and it failed. Walking Dead did because of YouTubers. That's the thing. Well, they're not selling FF7 as episodic. No, they're, they're not. They're selling it specifically as each game is just a part of a larger story, like a trilogy. Yeah. Uh, that is different from episodic gaming. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it is the equivalent of, even though it's it's a single game, they're being sold as sequels. Yeah. They're, they're explicitly being sold as sequels. Uh, they are very, very smart in how they're marketing it, and they've... They, they are changing just enough to get people go, wait a minute, I thought you were just doing a straight remake. I want to see what you do here. And you have people who go, oh, well, it's the, the best game ever because it does this. It's the best game ever that does this. There are people who die hard defend Rebirth uh, and, and FF7 Remake. I like the games, but even I admit, like, yeah, I really don't like how they're doing it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I don't like I don't like the the fact that they're piecemealing a game that by itself w did more than enough to stay on its own two legs oh, yeah. into a a multi chunk thing. We must get to the bottom of this. I remember when Bandai sold Dot Hack as a four fifty dollar games and its sequel as three fifty dollar games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like Total Warhammer. Total Warhammer, at least each game by itself is one game. It is one singular game. Only by Warhammer 3 were they trying to turn it into more of like an episodic thing. Yeah. And guess what? Warhammer 3 went up like a fucking wet fart in church. Well, that also, yeah. It included them like outright fucking deleting shit. Yeah. Uh, should I cancel for Spoken and Made Luminous help with the open world and design for FF7 Rebirth? Oh, they were never going to do that. No, I don't think so. I wouldn't have bought full price for a rebirth. I'm going through the game. Well, I went through the game I put on crack burner because of this. Yeah, I fully admit, no, it's not worth $70. Mm -hmm. That's one where it's hard, hard, it's not worth $70. It's fun, it's not worth $70. Dare I say it? We our foe well and true. Oh, GFF was on multiple discs. That is completely different in principle. Yeah, that's completely different. Uh the the way the way games are nowadays uh it really doesn't matter how many disc an old game was on uh also it might have been on fucking four disc but uh actually yeah. i think it was six no it was no, four. four what yeah. game what game was on six was that eight or nine i think that was nine might have been nine uh it might have been on on multiple disc but it was still a single purchase yeah you bought it once and you had all four discs uh it'd be it'd be different if like uh, it'd be different but similar in concept if it was something along the lines of, all right, you pay sixty, seventy dollars for our game right now, and you're guaranteed the first game, and then as the next two release, uh, you get those two, you get those two games for free. However, at the same time, that was also included in Insomniac's pricing model, which means it's going to lead to something worse down the line. Oh, uh, seven came on three discs, eight and nine were four. Okay, okay. What the fuck had six discs, Jack? Because I distinctly remember six discs. Uh, Remark and Rebirth only cover one disc anyway. Yeah, disc one. Yeah, yeah. But once again, like, it is a thing where the biggest thing that gimps any progress at actually stopping really shitty practices in games is hype culture. They are, they are really, really good at getting people excited. And now with the, the cult poster shit where they're actively lying about shit. Yeah, I, I, makes it even worse. I really would not be surprised if a leak came out that said that they are in fact paying people to act stupid, uh, I fucking love it. In order, in order to make people defensive of the game and reinforce brand loyalty, I would not be surprised if that came out. Yeah, because it like, uh, we live in the age of extremes where everyone's immediate knee jerk reaction is if you don't love, if you don't like something, that means you hate it. 
Yeah. Uh, you can't just be lukewarm on something or think it's good but not the greatest thing on earth. Yeah. You have to either fucking like praise it as the greatest thing since sliced bread for this week or month, or you have to absolutely despise it. Yeah. Yeah, and and that only leads to situations where people will just explicitly get fucked. Six discs were a joke meme of how much uh, Xbox 360 needed to run Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, that was it. How many discs was Legend of Dragoon, chat? How many discs was Legend of Dragoon? Four or more? Yeah, no PS1 game needed six discs. And someone released on three discs? Yeah, someone said seven released on three discs. People caught paying for Twitter accounts to steal their garbage. That is true. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Once again, the, the HBO leaks where it's like, yeah, we made accounts to defend our shows. Like... It's just a thing that we know happened. It was four? Legend of Dragoon was four, okay. Shinmu 2 was five or six discs. Hmm. Uh, fun fact about Valkyria Chronicles, the Darkson, uh, we're gonna be cat people, and I've been joking, we're this close to seeing Cat Girl yeah. Holocaust. Yeah, yep. Hold, sir. I rethink pressing onward. Forgive me. So as long as I'm where he comes from an alternate reality and is experiencing Mandela effect. <laughs> Back in my time, games were better. Yeah, 7 came out on 3, 8 and 9 came out on 4, Source, I own them. Okay. So try to remember Yahtzee's zero punctuation where he made a joke on Japan in the Yakuza game review. Uh, that was Yakuza 4. Because he explicitly opened it with, what the fuck, Japan, why do you keep doing this shit? And literally bitched that if I criticize something, people are just going to go, well, that's Japanese culture. And it's like, what are you criticizing that that's going to be the defense? Right. Because if it's the writing is so weird, it's like, dude. I hate the layout of this fucking city, man. Kamurojo sucks. Uh, oh, no, man. The fucked up part is he later became a fan of the franchise. It's like, yeah, maybe stop thinking of the Japan so weird mindset. Yeah. You fucking asshole. So I, the, I have, the Japan so weird mindset was literally just fucking racism. Like, I, I've unironically just grown to despise that. I've just grown to hate that. Because it, it's a standard that doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, it's too Japanese. Like, what the, What does that mean? What does that mean? It's not Western enough for me. Yeah. I need, I need men wearing cowboy hats, 10-gallon shoes, and got a six-shooter on the hip. Every time you see Beast, I'm compelled to make them into a rug. Same, chat. Corpo have worked hard to make uh, people think being a fan uh, means blind faith in the product and Corpo that owns the product. Yeah, that's true. I think Sony is bad uh, in their entertainment and video games is bad uh, because there's a tech conglomerate and not a movie or game studio. Uh, they bought their, motive, uh, their movie division and most of their games. Oh, yeah. Sony is just a shitty company. You look into a lot of the things they do, it's just bad. Oh, yeah. They, they've, they've gone out of their way. I should like uh, Lulu, four, five bucks. I don't like the new norm for games, but it helped me out, put my time and money into a different hobby, and I'm graffiti artist and learn Japanese. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Mercenary X for dollar, so I alive, but unfortunately, as a BBC person said, who wanted to purge gamers and take it seriously, uh, and I take it seriously, besides, if you knew what I knew, you would understand we never stood a chance. Motherfucker, like, never stood a chance. you're acting like you know more when I'm telling you I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, only hope is the ones in the background quietly trying to fix it. There's no one in the background trying to fix it. I'm gonna say all the people in the background left. All the people in the background fuck you over. At every chance, they fuck you over. Stop relying on some nameless jerk-off. Actually try to do something. You know? Like, th that's the big thing. Everyone keeps waiting on, like, an authority figure to tell them, like, oh, we can get this done. We can get this done. It's like, dude, they're never going to help you. Most people are followers. Yeah, they're, they're never going to help you. You don't need permission to be pissed off about something. Hulk. Hulk. Never forget Sony covering up the last of us two behind the scenes shit. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently having fun and not taking yourself too seriously, Japanese thing. Yeah, well, it always just amounts to, well, it has Japanese humor, and I think that's weird. In which case, it's like, so? <laughs> it's like, the fuck do I care? What what part of the Japanese humor offended you? Shut up. Remember when Yahtzee wrote a book about Killer Jam, and he thought that was the funniest thing ever? <laughs> we need Gamer Jesus. We do, chat. Sick hell. For gamer Jesus. Remember, too much negativity is pos uh, poison to the soul, but too much positivity can be diabetes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like that. It's like that thing that keeps being said repeatedly. Extreme extremists, or it's not extremists. Yeah. Extremes suck. Yeah. Oh come on! You son of a gun! Thank God Yahtzee did not get that job to write Duke Nukem Forever. His pitch. <laughs> he, he did that April Fool's pitch where it was like what he wanted for Duke Nukem Forever, and they every idea sounded fucking terrible. <laughs> Where it's like he would have a daughter that would like emasculate him and be like Duke having to realize that he's he's not the young kid anymore. It's like who the fuck wants to play this? Oh my god. Greetings, your majesty. Have you a moment to speak? 
Maybe. Speak. It's basically the blob, but it isn't sentient, I believe. Yeah, it's it's stupid. I've heard there is much we ought to tend to. If we ought to strengthen the Ow. That's the joke. I don't care that's the joke. It's not funny. It's fucking dumb. It takes someone far more talented to make something like that work. You will need to infiltrate the it's like, oh, I get it. Ha ha, it's the, the joke pitch. It's like, your joke pitch should make me go, I am very happy you did not write this game. Yeah. Duke Nukem Forever was already bad. I'm not convinced him being involved would have made it better. Making Duke an ironic character is probably a solid idea, though. That's the thing, though. Duke's not really meant to be an ironic character in that way. You're not supposed to make him the butt of the joke. Duke's joke is that he's actually very badass. Yeah, like, Duke did single-handedly stop a fucking alien invasion. And that's played relatively seriously. Uh, Matthew Kors, five, uh, five bucks, EA admitted that Dante's Inferno protest was staged for PR. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they, they admitted that was staged for par protest. Uh, what, whatever horror movie just came out, the one with the, the, the blonde chick with fat tits. Yeah, that, that was completely, I'm, yeah. that is completely well, they, a They had campaign. one where they're like, oh, Christians are, are boycotting the, the movie because it's too evil. Uh, yeah, no, that shit's made up. Yeah, that's bullshit. Dontrell's a release date on PS Store, uh, July 2nd. Ooh. Uh, which one was it? Dontrell? Yeah. Oh, okay. 7-2. Stop multiple invasions single-handedly, yeah? Yeah, that is true. Multiple, yeah. Duke's cool. Not that deep. Yeah. Well, it, it's like doing the Doom Slayer ironically. It's like there's a way to do it, and then there's a way to be a fucking moron about it. Could you fucking imagine if they did if they did uh, the Doom Slayer, but every once in a while they just... Ooh. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while they just stop and they do like a, a Wolfenstein uh, Youngblood... Yeah. Moment, bro, that that would fucking suck, dude. No one would have liked that shit. That'd be miserable. Hell, look at look at Wolfenstein. That is literally word for word how you fuck something up. Wolfenstein New yeah. Order was so good, it actually took itself very seriously. It played it very straight. There was no irony crap. Yeah. There was no wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It's so weird, right? It's old boomer shooter shit. It's old boomer shooter shit. It's, then you get young it's Colossus your fucking doing badass shit, killing Nazis. It's yeah. cool. Then then you get new Colossus, and they start doing that crap, and everyone's like, "This is fucking retarded." Yeah, and then. And then they fucking just triple double down. Should one of the other gods pray? Be cautious, Your Majesty. Uh, Duke is as ludicrous as the world uh, he exists in. He isn't greasy. His world is, and he revels in it. He revels in it. Yeah. Smart PR move by Yoshi P. Announced delay so people can play Shadow of the Earth Tree so they can get good PR. <laughs> yeah. No uh, can't uh, not compete with Elden Ring. Yeah. Imagine Sleeping Dogs, but set in Japan. That's Yakuza. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't drive a car and knock as an idiot. <laughs> Did you play Needy Streamer Overload? No, it looks it looks alright. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it sounds like an Adult Swim game. Uh, fuck, look at Bolt Gun. That game uh, was amazing, apparently, yeah. I, chat. Well, when, I'm, chat. <laughs> when I say old boomer shooter shit, I mean you have the irony crap of they point out the fact it's a boomer shooter, and they're like, oh wow, you can't do that nowadays. Uh, I literally refer to it as like the, the fucking bullet storm shit mm -hmm. where bullet storm was like, Oh, we're going to make fun of everyone. And then they just played every single trope straight. Yeah. The best part of the fucking bullet storm thing was the Duke Nukem DLC where you have everyone taking everything overly serious and Duke is just there being cool. Yeah. Duke is just there being a million times cooler than any character in the game. Yeah. To the point of they didn't even acknowledge he, he was there. They, they literally did not even go back and record lines to acknowledge Duke being there. Listen, John St. John's expensive. Okay. That's why Postal could only afford him twice. Yeah, right. Help. Showed a lost. If only the streets weren't crowded, maybe I could drive a Corolla. It's Japan. <laughs> you walk around in Japan. On your feet, you lazy, fat American. Now, I will say this. Uh, there is a... Uh, there's an interview with some lady from fucking Britain, um, but she talked about how she she would walk everywhere here in America, and people would fucking just give her dirty looks. She, I think she was in L.A. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but she'd she'd walk everywhere here in America because everything was within a reasonable walking distance. Cause yeah, she came from fucking Great Britain. Yeah, and they thought uh, she was like homeless or something. Yeah, they thought she was fucking weird for for walking all over the place. And she's like, I, I don't understand it, uh, but like Americans are just addicted to their fucking cars. Yeah. Who's that? Sounds like a skinwalker. Yeah, you're right. Pray, keep your voice low. If you mess up karaoke and sleeping dogs, you actually sing out of tune and uh, too close to the mic. It's weird. Yaksa doesn't have that feature. Yeah. Eh. Uh. 
pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. John say John is expensive. We will now replace him with local dickless man, 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 man Gianni. Because memes gamers. Memes. Yeah, Duke Nukem is literally a walking 80s action movie hero. And Joker, uh, the joke is he's too good at being badass and makes one-liners are annoying. Yeah, as stated, the, the joke with Duke is that he's not a joke. He is 100% serious. Yeah. Uh, he says ridiculous things, but he can back it up. He is genuinely cool. Uh, well, you know, it, it's just kind of like further proof of the, the irony poisoning of our generation that you can't have a guy just be cool. That's honestly why Doomslayer fucking took the world by storm when 2016 happened, because they just let him be cool. Yeah. They just let him be cool. They didn't try to ruin his character. They, he was just fun. Oh, yeah. Post of 4 was decent. Uh, Post of 4, Post of 4 was fine. The, the only stuff I think went overboard was the COVID shit in the updates. Uh, it yeah. got fucking just obnoxious. Yeah. Bink. Because I've said it before on stream, I'm not the type of person that, that gets overly offended when somebody pokes fun at me. Uh, but, but there's also repeating a joke a hundred different yeah. times. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I just got sick of hearing people bring up COVID fucking period, dude. Yeah. Uh, having... having uh, YouTubers finger wag people who yeah. make enough money that they're able to sit in their house uh, for m fucking two years straight and not have to do anything finger yeah. wag other people uh, just kind of killed it for me. Yeah, it was no longer a, a, a something that you could make a joke out of. It was it was like no, I don't like the people that are going to make this joke. Yeah, it's like fuck you. Yeah, uh, I was repeat the fact that sincerity is a thing that needs to come back more than anything in media. Yeah, oh for sure. Uh, the the modern age of, of writing and everything has to be a joke is just kind of annoying because it's you just had so much of it. Yeah. Uh, I was. Oh, no, the uh, reason why we don't have another Duke Nukem game is because Randy, uh, for some reason, hates Duke Nukem, refused to make another one. Yeah, he's actively holding it hostage. Yep. Which is one of the things that hopefully will be solved with Gearbox kind of being torn to pieces. I hope they die. Their business, I mean. Yeah. I mean Randy too. Of course, Randy. Of course. Remember celebrity singing Imagine? Yeah, that shit was awful. Yeah, that was <laughs> bull crap. No existing character can't be cool. Have a new character who looks like the writer who will defend the shit out of it is allowed to be cool. Yeah, that crap. Like, an another reason why I really didn't like the, as the seasons went on, the fucking Castlevania show, because that explicitly became what I was talking about. Yeah. Where, where characters were just not allowed to be cool unless they were approved of by the writer. Yeah. I mean, hell, Nocturne more than so. Like, they fucking made Richter into a bitch in Nocturne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, he did some shit in that that was, like, unforgivable. Like, leaving people to die, it's like... Oh, go talk to him again, because I don't think I, I don't think I turned in the, the cave one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the... I, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with Nocturne. You've done a fine job killing those monsters, Your Majesty. Uh... It is common knowledge among the number of those... What was that pop? That was my knee. Also really stupid. Look at Doom and Wolfenstein before it shit the bed. Uh, Duke Nukem Revival will be good. Uh, Gearbox making it through? Fuck no, yeah. It was going to be bad, but they fucked up my boy Richter that badly? Oh, absolutely. There, there, there is a major plot point that... Okay, so... Spoilers for people who have never played Rondo of Blood. I, if I recall correctly, canonically, uh, the bad ending happens. Richter fucks up royally. Uh... Because certain characters come back in Symphony of the Night as boss battles. So, the idea is it's showing Richter fuck up, but the moments where he fucks up are shit that is actively just character sabotage, where he leaves multiple people to die, one of which was his fucking love interest. Uh -huh. And it's in a way where they're trying to go like, well, he just got scared in the moment. It's like, no. <laughs> by, the time in this, by the time the show is taking place, he is an experienced vampire hunter, he does not shake. The GF got turned, no? Yeah, the chick who totally wasn't Annette, because they had to make Annette a black chick. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Now, full Moon Slash is great. Yeah, Cloud Word Slash, we need that. Uh, Counter Slash. Can't wait for the guy who made Castlevania to get a hold of Berserk and make animated Game of Thrones and not a proper adaptation. Absolutely. Oh, they're they're not gonna let him touch it. 
for us getting a new uh, a new good Duke game, uh, you need to get someone who cares for it and someone uh, that someone won't come in and, and someone who won't come in and finger wag and tell them to change shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like nothing will piss me well, off more than than reading about what happened with the Duke Nukem Revival project. Yeah. You had one of the biggest discoveries in all of gaming, the fucking source code to the 1997 build of Duke Nukem Forever. Literally one of the biggest fucking discoveries in video games. Uh, because the that was one of the builds. I think you had the 1997 one and you had the 1999 one that were like 90% playable. You could play yeah. them. Well, it, it was... Uh, the quote that they said when they were working on it was that uh, the builds were 90% finished. Yeah. Which, meant, which means that the game was 90% finished. But that is just something that they said and, and tossed out. The yeah. game was it was more like I don't know, fucking sixty ish percent finished being yeah, generous. Yeah. Uh, but no. yeah, it, it it was taken over by people who came in and just kept changing shit and just, yeah. it, it's in fucking limbo. Yeah, uh, there were explicitly leaks that came from their Discord server saying they wanted to remove all the black EDF troops. Uh, they were gonna try to hire Gianni just so he can say trans rights and make Duke say it. Yeah, like it, it's something where it was explicitly squandered, and it was a fucking sin, an actual sin. What happened to it? Uh, oh, you can, you can, you can get rid of the shit we have equipped because it's not good. I know. I'm, I'm taking a look. See what's. Yeah. Oh look, Halo drop better delay DNF. Oh look, Doom drop better delay the game again. Yeah. Well, like, it's not even about people coming in and finger wagging because if you look at the final version of Duke Nukem Forever that we got. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty of the times with, like, the amount of shit that goes on. Yeah. Um, you literally have the fucking, the rape cave. Yeah. Uh, so it's not like it's something like that. Uh, it's more like you just need a more focused development. Yeah. Well, because famously, that version, the the 2011 Duke Nukem game, uh, that was thrown together in, like, what, a fucking year? Something like that. Like, it, it was nowhere near, uh, nowhere near as, as, uh, you know, I'm trying to find the right words. It it did not take as long for that version to come out as what people were were being told. Right. They did not work off the the groundwork that they were they were working off of. They explicitly threw together a build to milk pre-orders. Yeah. When Richter went to go and check it out, he didn't come back. The dark priest uh, shaft took over his mind with dark and uh, foul magic. He's not in any control of himself. Okay, so everything he said about Rondo Blow was wrong. And the Symphony of Night opening credits crawl, Dracula's Castle, Castlevania, Mystery okay, Returned. And when Richter came and uh, check it out uh, and foul magic, and uh, didn't control himself. Okay, so even even in the actual game, they didn't go with the the bad ending here. So the, this is just something that the Netflix people are doing because fuck you. Because I was at least trying to give them for the doubt and go like. Well, maybe they're operating it off the bad ending, where because you you do get a bad ending, and I think the PSX version, mm, there, there was a re-release version, the GBA version. Yeah, there, there there was a re-release version that explicitly allowed you to fuck up and not save characters, uh, and I I was operating off the idea of maybe they're basing it off that, but apparently no, they're not even doing that. So yeah, it was just them fucking around and 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 just being fucking stupid. Yeah, and the canon thing, Richter destroys Dracula. Okay, okay. Dracula X Chronicles? Uh, it wasn't Dracula X Chronicles. Uh, it's the version you can get in the, the Castlevania Advanced Collection. Or, one of the Castlevania collections. Yeah. The one that made people go like, wait a minute, why this one? You'll be glad you did. Uh, then we can start on Duke Nukem Restoration Project. Levels weren't even finished. The levels would break off and scripts wouldn't load correctly and knowing... Uh, who were to go uh, is impossible. Oh yeah. Well, well yeah. I mean, that, that was the whole thing where people had to go in and you know work on it. <laughs> people had to go in, work on it, figure out where it was all going, and the people in charge just actively did not want to. Yeah. They did not want to. They were using it to fuck it up. Uh, PSP remake had an ending where your gift turns to a vampire and you can kill him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Was that Dracula X Chronicles? I don't think it was. Okay, we actually need this though. These are for disguises. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, I will sell this, though. We don't need this. It is smelly. It's smelly and stupid. We don't need that. We don't need multiple camping kits. You only need one. Couldn't uh, They couldn't reuse Dracula, and they just aped that Queen of the Damned Vampire Hunter Deep Bloodlust. Yeah, well, that's the problem, is uh, Dracula comes back every fucking game. Yeah. With, well, like, two exceptions. They, they couldn't use Dracula because they went with that dumbass, well, Dracula redeemed himself ending, which yeah. was still one of the dumbest fucking things... That, Redeeming Dracula at the end of season four is still one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever seen, because that that was explicitly 
yeah, you're allowed to commit genocide so long as I feel bad for you. That that was literally what the ending said. They pulled him out of hell, and he was allowed to, to live with his wife. It's like, no, 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 no. If his wife knew what he did, she would call him a fucking monster. Because he was. He was literally a monster. Okay. Okay. They broke new ground. So I'm going to swap back on over, but you can still play it. Because it, it's almost 3 a.m. here, so we, we yeah. need to start. You yeah. need to start wrapping it up. Wrapped after season two. That's fair. Season two was the last good of it, and season two had well, stuff I didn't like. Well, that's the thing. Uh, fucking that first uh, two seasons of Castlevania were explicitly using an unfinished script yeah. by Warren Ellis that was adapting Castlevania three. It was unfinished because he kept trying to change major rules in the series, and uh, the fucking creator of Castlevania was like, "Fuck off, no." Uh, Itagaki. Yeah, Itagaki. Itagaki kept going, "Fuck off, no." Yeah. Fuck off, no. Uh. And that's why you notice in season two, there were a lot of moments that explicitly were grinding the pacing because they went off that script and were trying to do dumbass vampire politics. That literally meant nothing. Yeah. The vampire politics literally meant nothing. The you politics could've... of the damn don't matter to me. They're dead. Yeah. Netflix wife is the essence of evil, too. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, the, the funny part is the hate boner for religion gets to the point of, like, it's actively damaging the show. Where, where people are making deals with demons and they're treating it as like, oh, well, maybe they won't fuck you over like a priest will. Right. Then the demon fucks you over. It's like, what the fuck? I, I hate that trope. I hate the, we need to obviously make a deal with this thing that will fuck us over and is evil. And then you're supposed to act surprised when it betrays you. It's like, holy shit. DMC enemy is going to be so cringe. I, I don't really have much faith in it. Yeah, I'm not going to watch uh, it. I didn't, like the, I didn't like the Dante redesign. Two things are constant in gaming. Uh, Dracula and Ganon return every game. Yeah. Yeah. Someone did bring it up, except for that one time he became a Japanese boy. That was weird. And then and then you fight your mom in the sequel. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hearing is that Lords of uh, Shadows been vindicated as a better Castlevania hey, series. fuck you. <laughs> I just know it came from a shitty vampire in the Masquerade campaign they did. Yeah, that, that's what I hate. I hate the fucking... I don't fucking... think Warren Ellis has ever interacted with, with a vampire property in his life. I don't think he's even seen seen yeah. a, a fucking Dracula movie. Yeah, I fucking hate the the trend right now where you can obviously... You're, you're watching a series these people put out, and it's so obviously a fucking yeah. tabletop campaign they went through. Uh, that is exactly what the last few seasons of Castlevania felt like. It felt like a and d campaign. Uh, yeah, well, that that is... Um... That is partially directly in response to the fact that, uh, what is it, uh, Critical Role blew up the way that it, it did. Yeah. Uh, that ha that affected a lot of Western media. You already yeah. saw stuff like that happening in, in Japan and even in, even in some stories here in the West, but it was yeah. not nearly as prevalent as it is now, where it feels like every other thing set in a fantasy or fantasy-adjacent series is just someone's fucking D&D &D campaign. Yeah. That they sh they shopped around until somebody finally took it, and they had a couple things changed. Yeah, yeah. That that is very 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 prevalent. Yeah, uh, Vox Machina. Yeah, Vox Machina is almost directly just that. I was saying Vox Machina is literally just a critical role, but animated. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is the Avengers writing at fault for this? Avengers was a symptom, but it was not the cause. Hey, the lady redesigned, assuming it is lady. Also, I hate Dante fighting humans. That isn't DMC. Yeah, yeah. Dante fighting humans is, is dumb. Yeah, Dante fighting, yeah. At least fatally. I, I'm of the firm belief Dante does not kill people. He, yeah, he he's, will, got, he's got no reason to. Yeah, he only fights demons. When he shot the priest in the head in four, it's because he knew... The priest was a demon. Yeah. He knew the priest was a demon. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of a thing where I'm going to talk about it when I eventually do the Castlevania video. It's like... There's that weird socio sociopathic type. You're never you're never supposed to actually consider the value of human life. Mm -hmm. uh, in 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 this shit, we're like, uh, you know, once again, Dracula can kill thousands of people. You literally watch women and children be ripped to shreds, and then they go, no, but he kind of sad though, and it's like I don't fucking care. I, like I don't fucking care. You can't just do that. Lolly, look into his eyes. They're so sad. Yeah, they have, yeah, right? they have such such deep emotion. Please, right? Like uh, they they actually use people like props to the point of like the morality in the stories is all over the fucking place, and they don't matter. Mm -hmm. When Trevor was killing people in season one, it's because they were actively trying to kill him. Yeah. Uh, even the guys in the bar, he didn't kill them. He just beat the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. You know. But when those priests were turning their sword against them and trying to kill them, yeah, of course he killed them. But uh, when it's shit like, no, you have to feel bad for the vampires, like, I nope. don't. 
Like, I, I will never feel bad for the monster just because you tell me, well, they just see it differently. I don't care. They eat babies. Yeah. That's one thing I like about Frerin. Because they flat out say, yeah, that's manipulation from the demons. The, the demons do not care. They are evil. Kill them. Uh, what if that person was Trish? Well, he never killed Trish. And then on top of that... Well, uh, I think he was talking about, like, the in the trailer. That might have been Trish. Oh, no. Uh, we didn't say anything in, in, in the trailer. It was behind-the-scenes stuff. And the character yeah. has the same haircut as Lady. Okay. Did you forgot Vox Machina came out? Apparently got two seasons and never saw anyone talk about it. Yeah. Is there going to be another DD stream? Shoto's probably going to keep streaming it. Uh, I'm going to finish Arkham Knight next. Well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I, it might take two streams to finish Arkham Knight, but I'm doing Arkham Knight. I accidentally deleted the, the video games to stream. Yeah. Uh, I, had, I had a list of like 15 video games I was going to stream, and uh, I accidentally deleted that, so I need to find some more. We're telling about people who write their shit. Yeah, they, they only think about the shock value of, like, oh, they want a scene where the... I, I will tell you exactly what it is. It is literally the Last of Us 2 mentality of they put it on themselves as a challenge of, mm -hmm. I will get you to like this character. And because they're a fucking spastic, no, you do not end up liking them. The only people who like them are fucking dumbass teenage girls that don't think about this shit. Yeah. Uh, and they jerk off to serial killers anyway. So it's like, no, anyone who's actually thinking about it goes, no, fuck you, you're the bad guy, die. Yeah. You know the Riddler trophy should? Oh, God, no. Not on stream. Yeah. Uh, I might I might get some of the Rid uh, Riddler stories because I want to show people uh, yeah. the story about um, uh, Jason Todd hunting down the Joker because I know it's in-game. Yeah. It's like Guts forgiving Griffith with a hug in one scene and ruins all the motivation for revenge. Well, more than that, take it a step further. Guts kills a lot of people in Berserk. The story addresses that he does that and it's not a good thing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's willing to say, yes, killing people by its very nature can be very, very dark and dangerous. Uh, you know, it's not willing to just, you know, it, it doesn't just say, oh, he killed some people, but that's it. You know, it, it acknowledges it as a thing to think about. Yeah. Same thing with Farnese, same thing with a bunch of other characters. Uh, Tumblr sexy man syndrome is very real. Yeah. So true, chat, so yeah. true. I never forget, uh, Netflix Castlevania argued the geometric angle, uh, shape of cross is what scare vampires. Yeah. yeah, that, that was, that was retarded. Anyone who says, oh, but that's clever subversion, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about your subversion, it doesn't make any sense and it's stupid. It doesn't make any fucking sense. No, no, you don't understand. Alright, vampires are actually genetic offshoots of elves from the Elder yeah, Scrolls right? universe, okay? And you know how the elves in Elder Scrolls, they, they, they just, the way that they're, yeah. they're so good at arrows is just they don't see the curve of the earth, okay? Now they see a cross, and yeah. they... Uh, why are you tying a noose? Yeah, right. Josh McKnight for five bucks. Never forget, Castlevania argued the geometric shock uh, creates uh, what scare vampires. Very, very stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, geometric angle part is from a book. Yeah, it's, it's fucking a bad dumb. book. It's fucking dumb. Bad book. It was never clever. Like, it, when you try to scientifically explain vampires, you just get stupid shit. Yeah. Uh, don't forget for, for five bucks. Uh, thoughts on these bands? Uh, Low Lethargy. Chat Pile and Seven Dust. All of them are metal bands, by the way. I think you chat would love Chat Pile in particular. Uh, I've never heard of any of them. I've never heard of them. I might listen to them. Mm -hmm. it actually, sounds pretty cool. I forget they massacre Hector uh, from Curse of Darkness. Yeah. How they made him a whip bitch from a vampire bitch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, God explicitly exists in Castlevania universe, so if nothing else, you could at least go. It has to be blessed to explain crossworking. Season one did that. Yeah. Season one literally had Trevor asking the actual fucking priests who weren't evil to to like bless holy water, bless salt. Uh, his whip was made from consecrated uh, rope, if I remember right. Like, yes, blessings do, in fact, work. Yeah. Like, in the Castlevania universe, there is no ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, you know, like, God's real. There is a hell. Vampires are functionally demons. Yeah. Season 1 and 2, holy magic works. Season 3 and 4, religion, religion is dumb, use magic. Yeah, I hate that crap. I, I hate that crap of you get such a hate boner about religion, you will not give it any credit. Yeah. Like, at, you know... Fucking, the church can be evil in your story. I mean, there were evil churches, so fuck it, who cares? But it's the fact of, like, you you just refuse to lend any ground to the point that you are actively making yourself sound dumb. You you refuse to allow it even the slightest chance of, well, yeah, maybe you want to use this to kill fucking vampires. Yeah. Demons acknowledge the existence of God. Yeah. Uh, Ultraviolet, uh, Ultraviolet UK TV series did scientific vampires, and it was good. I think I remember seeing an episode or two of, of Ultraviolet. Yeah. Still see that they got Anthony Hopkins to play Death and gave him such ship, uh, 
such a script. Uh, haha, he said fuck. Funny word. Yeah. It was not. Uh, it was not Anthony Hopkins. Ooh, yeah. It was Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell. Equally prestigious actor. Mm-hmm. And yes, it was painful. Oh, Dick Bro just said I'm trying not to blow up on the fucker called FF7, the Avatar of Gaming. <laughs> Wait, who? He fucking saw someone say. Who said? Who said that it's an Avatar of Gaming? I don't know. I don't know. Is Dick Bro in chat with us? Is, is Dick Bro in the room with us right now? I've got the Ouija board. We're going to find this out. Don't care. Church is evil. That holy shit works. Exactly. It's like... Yeah. It, it, you've set up the rules in, you, in your universe, and it's God is real. Holy shit works, motherfucker. Yeah. You need to abide by your fucking rules. You can't just stop it because uh, you, the writer said, you know what? Actually, uh, I think religion's a joke. Fuck off. Yeah, it's like, I hate the Bible. Hate the Bible. Let Christians bad. Yeah, sure, whatever. Christians can be as bad as you want. God's real, motherfucker. These are demons. Yeah. Nothing will be as metal as, as the fucking Dracula book when, when fucking Van Helsing looks at everybody and says, we are God's crazy men. Yeah. You know, it's like, no no Reddit jerk-off shit. Just let people be cool. Yeah. Stop getting in the way of you being cool. Being serious is way, way, way better than just fucking taking the piss out of everything because you're not yeah. talented enough to make it work. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Bible. Mm, this is the Bible. FF Seven is the Avatar Gaming. Fight me. Meet me outside. Meet me, Meet me outside, outside. Right now. Meet me outside. Here's my address. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy. Yeah, on our own green tech shit. Yeah. Uh, one only scientific thing I like about vampires: UV lights harm vampires. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Uh, below, we learn of all predator species. Lions fuck with them, much like the apex predator <laughs> for chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the writer said uh, Lisa has permission from God to uh, visit Dracula in hell. They acknowledge God behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. That's why Father Anderson from Helsing's based. Yeah, Helsing has some outright fedora tipping moments, oh, yeah. but then they let Anderson be cool. Anderson is allowed to be cool. They let Anderson fucking play everything straight. Yeah. Straight as a fucking arrow. I hope Randy Bitchford loses all the money on that awful looking Borderlands movie. Yeah. Yeah. Vampire of the Masquerade does the best by just having to be belief in the symbol. Yeah, uh, belief in pretty much any any spirituality. Yeah. If you believe it works, it will work. Uh, Buddhism works. Uh, Islam works. Christianity works. So long as you believe it will work. Uh, and to be fair, Gut saying, tell God leaving the hell alone was the most Reddit line ever. No, that was awesome. Like, I, I thought that line was unironically good. Because he's playing it straight, man. Yeah, he's he's playing it straight. Uh, does the Torah work on vampires? If you believe, it works, yes. Yeah, if you believe. Yeah, that that is my one exception to the, the cross don't work thing. If, if, because I've grown to just hate the trope of, oh, the cross doesn't work. Because every fucking vampire movie does the same thing. They hold it up and the vampire walks up to it and just crushes it or goes, ha ha, you thought it would work. It, fucking predictable shit. I like it if the, the Fright Night remake did it well, mm -hmm. where the vampire said, you need to actually believe in it. Yeah, like that. That works. I like that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just like uh, I just like believing hard enough. Uh, believing yeah. hard enough. Um, uh, it, it goes off of the base of the basis of faith, but like uh, movies that do vampires in the way of like you, you're doubting whether or not it's even a vampire. Yeah, yeah. Um, like uh, Martin does that, and uh, my heart doesn't beat unless you tell it to. Also fantastic, yeah. Yeah, did, did, did that as well. Both fantastic vampire movies, and both have that, that doubt where you're like, uh, there's a period of time where you're like, are they fucking actually vampires? Or are they just crazy, yeah. 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 My heart doesn't beat until, unless you tell me to. Like, that movie actually made the sympathetic vampire thing very well. Oh, yeah. Because they acknowledge he doesn't want to be doing any of this. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to be doing it, and, like, he's sheltered enough that he doesn't really know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't want to question it. He doesn't want to think about it. His bag, the bad guy was the sister. Yeah. This, yeah. The sister and the brother. Uh, or the person has to be, you know, baptized or the first communion to be, uh, believe the cross of the vampires. Yeah. Acknowledge the spirituality aspect. It is a spiritual creature. Uh, can I enter a house? There's no door. Good loophole logic. Well, <laughs> another thing I liked, uh, the lost boys. Lost Boys acknowledge mm -hmm. it as if you if you invite the vampire into your home, nothing works because yep. you gave it power. That's what I liked because that was the ending. Yeah. Yeah, and that was fantastic. Uh, Zero feel for Alucard and Anderson used the holy weapon and became a monster so close to finding a human to defeat him. Yeah. 
There's an aspect that's supposed to be in faith, strong convictions to the power of soul and belief. Yeah. Yeah, I hate making vampires meaner the crosses. Yeah, because that's it. It's never clever. It's oh, no. never clever. Fucking From Dust Till Dawn had, like, a subversion of that subversion <laughs> where they say, listen, if hell exists, heaven has to exist. So fucking, fucking believe. Get, you know, get off your ass and believe. Mm hmm. And it worked. It actually worked. That that, that brings up a that brings up a, a thought that I I have, uh, in the in the Scooby Doo, supernatural crossover. Uh, All right, guys, <laughs> thanks for showing up. Uh, All right, we're we can't handle this next one hour rant. All right, in the Scooby Doo supernatural crossover, they they have the moment where where Dean and Sam are are talking to the gang, and they they're like. Uh, they just they just uh, beat the the bad guy, and they have the realization that hell is real. Yeah. And and Daphne starts fucking freaking out, and she's like having a mental breakdown because she's like, "Am I a good person? Am I gonna go to hell when I die? Do I go to hell? <laughs> I want more of that in media. Yeah. I want I want I want people to find out that God is real and they're going to hell. And on top of the, and on that, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave you with the knowledge that a member of the Scooby Doo gang is genuinely terrified of going to hell. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba.